This document not only created a free nation, but far more important, it declared freedom for the individual. Its meaning is clear and well defined, that all men are created equal before the law. All individuals have the same rights, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and that the government must get its powers to stand. This is the firm foundation upon which American individual freedom is built. Yo, how is it going, everybody? Welcome, 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 welcome to Ultimate General American Revolution. We are diving in with the game. Super excited to go ahead and play some more on stream. I was having so much fun playing in my video yesterday. So I thought I'd mess around and, uh, you yeah, know, we'll turn the music down just a tad. Okay, cool. How's it going, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's it going, Rob? Uh, Khan, good hook as well. Good to see you guys here. How's it going, Frank? How are you guys doing today? Welcome. Hold on, let me just sort my camera out again. And then we will get started. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know where to put the camera. Bottom, no, bottom left, bottom, probably top right. Yeah, let's do top right. Boom, and then boom, cool. Awesome. How's it going, guys? Welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, yeah, this game is, like, really, like, I, I was, when I first saw the gameplay they recently were dropping, I was a bit like, oh, okay, it's, some stuff looks great, other stuff doesn't look great. Um, but, yeah, no, I was, I was really impressed with it. Um, yeah, Seji, I mean, I, I don't know if the key from Early Access will move over to Steam. Um, I can only imagine they will. Um, like, they'll just, if you bought it in Early Access, they'll give you a Steam key. That's what a lot of companies have done previously, but I'd make sure on the Discord, I guess, if you're worried about buying it. Has anyone managed to take Boston during the campaign? Yeah, um, the, <laughs> the balancing is definitely brutal, I've heard that. Um, yeah, the, the balancing is absolutely brutal, um, at the moment. But again, I, I can't, I think they said as well that, like, yeah, balancing is, is fucked right now. And it's something they need to really work on. But we'll see, we'll see if we can do it. I imagine, you know, come closer to release, it's gonna be, uh, yeah, much, much more balanced. Also, obviously, the, the main campaign is going to be so much larger as well. So the British aren't going to have their forces so condensed, I guess, as well. But you're going to probably have to do some, like, Patriot ambushes to whittle down the British numbers at the moment, I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, but today, the developers said that they're planning on releasing this to Steam um, early summer 2024. So about probably about nine months of, like, internal development, probably for them to get, like, the British in the game. Um, and the majority of the larger campaign map in the game. Um, and yeah, I imagine that's, that, that would probably be the, the Steam release would make sense, right? The larger scale campaign alongside the British. Because yeah, like the, the battles are great. Um, the campaign is great, like from what I've played. So 
but yeah we're gonna really get stuck in today i i want to give it a go um yeah cool uh so let's we just dive in should we just start um we also have skirmish battles again i'm sad to see no multiplayer uh being here hopefully that's something obviously i don't expect it to be in for like early access release in next summer but man i would love for a multiplayer i understand that it's so much work and these are small indie games and stuff but oh it'd just be so good real-time campaign map with like fog of war and oh, all that stuff oh yeah how's it going panda welcome i'm sure you can help me through any any questions i have <laughs> or if you just want to sit back and chill, I'm sure you've been answering enough questions on the on the Discord. <laughs> yeah, how's it going, football fam? Our historical battles. So yeah, you have skirmish battles, so you can play all of these, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, you have a lot of battles you can play. Naval battles alongside normal battles as well. So yeah, there's actually a decent amount. And you can see the, the size of the battles as well. Nice. I didn't think there was this many. I thought there were only a couple. This is like how many battles um, the beginning of Gettysburg started. Back in the day. Uh, cool, let's dive in then. person is born to do something great. Every day they have a choice. To take a step closer <laughs> to their destination. To yeah, you're not, you're not wrong, Khan. You're literally not wrong that this is before release is going to come out before 1.2. I'm tempted to tweet uh, Banner Lords and be like, yo, or I'm going to ex banner lord and be like yo is it coming out or what i was the first child in the family uh cool so we're gonna name ourselves jackie fish again because what i'm gonna do is i played the last campaign on youtube i did it on hard difficulty uh, and i think people have realized that that difficulty is As just fucked. Child, uh, and you should be playing on normal difficulty for my younger brother so i'm gonna sisters. like do the same as I did last time on, on my episode yesterday. And then we're going to save it and then carry on. But then I can go back and do other stuff in my YouTube uh, playthrough. Um, Bannerlord 1.2 is a myth. Yeah, yeah, that is very true. Okay, cool. So what is perception again? Perception is range attack efficiency. I feel like we don't need to kill people. I'd rather my army just holding again. So probably perception and... No, perception is damage, right? Yeah. Intelligence is like, yeah, so let's do, I, I made my younger siblings do what I needed At to do. At the age of 11, I lost my father, and the responsibility for all family affairs passed to me. Plantation management and financial matters became part of my daily routine. Okay, spotting range, commander aura, and own speed. I mean, own speed is probably, uh, own speed, yeah, this is by far the best one. From my time playing, commander aura seems way better. Spotting range is like great. I can, I mean, it's actually probably quite important in the larger scale campaign battles, uh, like in the larger scale campaign. But yeah, own speed. And again, own speed is probably really good when you're playing on the full size campaign map because you can get around faster. But yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll do tactics I again. My adolescence studying and managing the family's plantation. Artillery is really good in this build. Yeah, we're going to have to get some for sure. Died during our trip to Barbados. His loss affected me greatly. So our dad is dead. Um, and then we can reduce some other stuff. So let's reduce charisma. I mean, our charisma is already pretty low. So let's just say I shut everybody out. At the age of 20, I was appointed commander of the Virginia militia. In part due to my organizational talents. Tensions over control of the Ohio River Valley eventually sparked the French and Indian War. I was able to apply my skilled management to help prepare my troops. Uh, I inspired my soldiers with speeches about their duty, stamina, or firearms. Do we just go like no? I I think I think we just go willpower again. Firearms could be pretty good actually, because I assume that just means our soldiers are better. And maybe that's what we actually need to do. Yeah, maybe that's what we need to do. Like we need to make it so our soldiers are just better. Like, oh, yeah, maybe, yeah, but I guess you're right, Gut Hook. Uh, stamina is just important, right? Having your soldiers being able to, like, outlast the enemy. Stamina, yeah, stamina is so important. If your men are exhausted, they're French basically forts, useless. In spite of some setbacks, we succeeded in driving out the French. My attempts to secure a commission in the army were thwarted by English officers with little respect for my abilities. Goddamn so English, eh? Design. Always my out here doing one. their pointless stuff. Uh, yeah, how's it going, Jiggy? Welcome. 
was the aim of the game. Um, so right now, the British aren't in. It's just the Americans. So I guess the aim of the game is to, to throw the British and liberate the 13 colonies. <laughs> Uh, money was nice. Yeah, I guess we'll just go money again. I feel like money's probably pretty good. But we also have a lot. Reputation. What do I do with reputation? I saw you could spend it to get research. But what else can I spend reputation on? Will it allow me to do anything extra? This is the fourth time you've watched the intro cutscene. I mean, it's, I like I like how simple it is with some like you know kind of basic uh, you know kind of basic animation and stuff. It kind of fits for fits the, the the vibe. Yeah, I mean the tensions. I feel like we don't need to worry about until the full campaign. I imagine the natives are going to be like yeah, way more important later on. Reputation, I saw you could only really spend. Oh, let's just get money. Let's just get money. I'll take the cash. To the Virginia House of Burgesses. In 1774, I was elected as a delegate to the First Continental Congress in Philadelphia. There I helped secure. Um, so an extra warship might not be a bad idea, but yeah, recruitment campaign to expand the militia. You said to take the extra militia unit, and I think that probably is a smart idea. The extra guns are nice, but also I felt like we had a lot of guns when I was playing. So yeah, let's take the extra militia unit. Tensions with England have reached a breaking point. In the near future, a confrontation will break out, and I will have to use all my experience to fight for the independence of the colonies. Cool, we'll just play on normal difficulty. Um, yeah, we'll just play on normal difficulty. So let's do it. Let's dive. Oh, I forgot to change my picture. No. Ah, oh, I forgot to pick the old Jackie Fish American picture. Oh, that's fine. So. In this current build of the game, keep in mind the game is still very early access. Um, like pre-early access. So the balancing is awful and in this scenario basically the british just keep on spawning which means which means time is of the essence you know we have to kind of abuse it i think what we're going to try and do is we're going to take the southern regions and then i'm going to start laying um ambushes for the british soldiers coming down from boston and i'm going to go like all full a patriot on them no general big mac <laughs> Hey, yeah. Who cares about George Washington? Jackie Fish, the true liberator of the thirteen colonies. Uh, welcome, Brown. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And how's it going, Coxie? As well. How's it going? So here we go. Arrival. I have hired two regiments, one from Pennsylvania and one from Virginia, uh, to support the Patriot cause. I travelled to Massachusetts with two regiments eager to join the fight against the British. The Patriot army was in need of reinforcements, and the arrival of the two hired regiments is a welcome sight. I must quickly integrate the new soldiers into battle plans and lead them into action. Easier said than done. Uh, so here we go, our two regiments. I guess we get another third one? Oh, we get another one here, right? In Hartford. Okay, so we want to bring this one out immediately up to, to, to Leicester. Does the, uh, does the map expand in this build? It does, right? Or does it not? Because in, in the actual, like, full-on... Oh, in the actual proper campaign map, like, it's going to be, like, the entire West Coast. Which is really, really, really cool, obviously. Um, in this build, though, does the map expand or not? Is it is it just this or is it does it actually like expand out a little bit? I assume it's just this, but I could be wrong. Um, so yeah, here we go. So basically, our goal is to move towards Leicester. Uh, then we have to obviously move down south after fighting the main battle, engagement Newport and Providence. I mean, we could take uh, Providence and then immediately move to Middlesbrough. I feel like if we hold this, like if we hold like this. Then we can probably, like, push north. Like, yeah, if we hold, like, these, and we can maybe force the British to come down, lay ambushes out of these two a bit, and kind of go from there. The map does expand. Yeah, I thought it did, but I wasn't sure. Awesome, that's great. 
because yeah you, you're basically playing as a loosely george you're, you're basically playing a loose george washington right you're basically playing like a loose george washington like following his early career in a sense uh, we also have some more upgrades as well in our unit. So again, we're going to run through the tutorial missions and battles and stuff. So it's going to be a little bit slow, but then it, then it expands out quite nicely. So willpower or stamina? We want to take endurance, right? We want to take endurance. Uh, yeah? I think we do, right? Endurance just means that our men will fight harder. They'll be at their conditioning. will be as good as possible. And we obviously want this division to get up here as well. So what I might do is I might hold here with my army. Yeah. Oh, I need to join these guys as an army. So I can just do that, right? Yeah, you guys... Oh, yeah. Get that way. You guys hold there. We're going to wait for this unit to make it through the forest. And we're going to get up. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Yeah, well, I guess he won some pretty crucial early victories then for the, the British. Uh, for the Americans. Yeah, yeah. We haven't applied them. I was just waiting to see if you guys agreed with me. Also, how do 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 so do, do units just automatically resupply? Or is there something I have to do? Because I was a little bit unsure about that. Um, but yeah, let, let's do endurance on all of our guys. I need you guys to last longer than I can. Oh, and this is just an automatic one? Okay. So, Concord and Lexington. Um, so, Urge in Command, uh, the local Patriot Force. So, you have to garrison units to resupply. Awesome. I appreciate it, Panda. This is so interesting as well. The British Army seems unbeatable at the moment. And if we get defeated, I risk losing much of my reputation. Like, who? Why would you ever click this bottom one? Are you a loser? I guess maybe if you have some, like, grand strategy or something. Need to be in a city with supply on a supply line. Awesome. So we'll check that out probably when we take Newport or something. Um, but cool, we have our first uh, battle. So this is like a scripted historical battle. The British are attempting to advance uh, to Concord and seize Patriot stashes of weapons and ammo. Uh, the stashed weapons and ammunition are vital for our cause and must be saved at all costs. We have reports that patriots from all nearby counties are on the way. We must slow the British down until they arrive. Good luck, General. So here we go, the battle, the battle system. So we have these skirmisher units. I want to get this one into the forest immediately. Um, and again, you guys can fight a bit of a fighting retreat. Again, we just need to slow the British up a little bit. And then we have these divisions as well. So we want to get these guys immediately um yeah you guys immediately get up there as well and then we'll slowly get more reinforcements until we inevitably outnumber the british but yeah let's immediately get into here <laughs> the british regiments are fierce look at them you can just see how much like of a rabble our patriot forces are okay you guys fall back fall back don't engage them fully and you guys are gonna get in there i hope oh my god the british is recharging me fall back I mean, not bad idea by the British. Can we fall back? Yeah. We're going to take a rear volley, though. Wow, that was brutal. Yeah, let's just keep on falling back then to the forest. Uh, you guys, yeah, you guys actually take up refuge in there. You guys are making your way up as well. No more reinforcements. So this is what we have to protect. And I, I do really like these spawning defenses as well. It's like mount. I think that's a nice way of doing it. So we have another regiment there. You guys go there and then this, yeah, this actual kind of like sturdy regiment go there. You guys are in the cover. Good, good, good. Into position, boys. Are you guys in that? Yeah, you guys are now mounting into the forest. That should give them good cover. 40% cover. Yeah, I mean, the British are well known for their, 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 you know, bayonet charges marching very effectively towards the enemy. So our, our whole goal here is just to basically hold. Uh, it does seem like they are being a little bit smart there. Actually, let's set you guys up here. Yeah, you guys get in there. And you, you guys are already doing that right. Oh, that right flank hitting me. But again, we're in good cover and they're out in the open, so we should win... Bad off, you guys are forming up there, please. And we do have two more 
Yeah, two more skirmisher regiments coming up. So you guys can probably form up here on my left flank. And then we also have some more regiments over here coming in. Two more, again, reinforcing. You guys can probably take up residence here. One thing as well I wish they would, they would do is like, hopefully something they add as well is a better map. Like, I wish I could zoom out way more. But they full on charged me there. Yeah, units being routed. We're holding here very nicely. Okay, we're about to get a good volley off here. But again, they're in the forest, so... That forest is providing them just as much support. Uh, and then this unit has to come over here, actually. I mean, you guys are rushing. Okay, we've got a proper regiment now. So we're going to start setting up our, our rear defense here. If we can, you guys reinforce. Because I'd love to hold this townhouse for a little bit longer. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this is, like, very unhistorical when it comes to, like, casualties, for sure. You know, like, these, these are, like, what, minor skirmishes rather than a proper Napoleonic battle. But it gets you into the feel of the game, so I understand why it is the way it is, you know. Oh, but you can just skip it if you want to? Yeah, that's fair enough. But also, I feel like 10 reputation is nothing to, to sniff at, right? Okay, so our units are here. So you probably come in here. They're charging me. Are they? Yeah, fall back a little bit. You guys go in there. We've got some more skirmishes as well. Let's take up residency here. And I guess we're going to send one of these over here. And then this unit just like hold here. And then you hold there. Okay, we're in a little bit of cover there. Perfect. It's nice. It's nice. You've got another proper division making their way in there. And you're already on your way here, which is good. How are we doing over here? God damn. These, these are goddamn American heroes right here on this right flank. Good old Deadham Minuteman. Oh, that's just the unit, right? No. Yeah, this is Holmes. This is Harold Holmes right here. Him and his 40 men holding off regiment after regiment. Able to rout a British supply wagon. Goddamn American hero if I've ever seen one. Okay, we're exhausted now on this flank. My actual proper regiment is exhausted. But I think they just hold. I think they hold. For as long as possible. Because we're delaying quite nicely. And yeah, we've just received a lot of... Yeah. We've just received basically our relief force here. And let's set up a, a regiment in the forest as well. I'm tempted to bring this unit back. We've got 72 kills. Oh, they're exhausted. Do we just bring them back? Okay, let's maybe try and resupply them here. I mean, we're losing loads of casualties now. Yeah, okay, let's get out of there. If you, oh, we, should have, we should have probably sent this unit a little bit sooner in. Yeah, the British immediately make their move. Wow. Get out of there if you guys can. Yeah, the British, as soon, that's pretty crazy by the AI. As soon as I start to fall back, the British, like, jump in on that aggression and just overrun this position. That's really cool to see by the AI, honestly. Oh, my God. Harold Holmes is still holding. And he's fighting the British, he's fighting Smith as well. Okay, everyone else, well, we've got our first division holding. Everybody else is still here. Guys, don't, don't fall. I mean, they are trying to skirmish, right? Yeah, you come back here. They've overrun our position here. Fair enough. They help. They've helped for a long time, though, right? They help for the majority of the time. And now, these, as soon as these guys get cemented in the farmyard, we should be okay. So the idea is to bring these guys in there. And you guys fall back and kind of get your, get your energy back. Maybe kind of come back here. Mm, do we have time? Don't know if we have time. Yeah, we have time. Let's just mount up. So you guys get in there. We can send one of maybe one of these divisions all the way around. And then you guys kind of get in there. I'll let these Minutemen continue to skirmish. How are we doing? Oh, Harold finally broke. I mean, what a hold though. Harold, what a legend. I will remember him to the bitter end. I really will. Okay, more reinforcements are arriving as well. Okay, our first proper division as well. So we'll continue to have these guys on the flank. And then you kind of come, yeah. You can kind of come. Yeah, you kind of come like in here as a reserve battalion. Okay, this could be brutal as the British charge, this unit. Now, fall back if you can. Fall back, fall back. Because they're going to get hit by all of these soldiers mounted. 
I really don't want the British to take this. Okay, these two divisions, honestly, just hold here. Hold here and kind of like rest. Because a lot of these guys who have been running to the battle are exhausted. You guys are still pretty tired as well. So let, let's just set up here with these reserve units. Because we are being outflanked. And just let them get their breath back, basically. Same with this unit. Okay, more skirmishes have arrived, which is good. This unit's done a pretty good job as well. Um, personally. Okay, okay, lots of more reinforcements now arriving. Okay, there we go. Yeah, a lot of reinforcements. That's kind of why I wish we would be able to, like, increase the map size. You know, like, zoom out a bit more, you know? Or, like, kind of just go more, like, top down, I think would be really cool. Okay, so you're going to probably have to come in... Try to, like, draw like this. Yeah, you're going to probably have to just come in here because the British are being very aggressive. So, like, set up your, your regiment, like, here, I guess. God, look at how, like, scrabbly these Minutemen are as well. We're getting some good energy back, though. Um, so I don't think you can kill generals in this. I don't think so, but I actually don't know. Yeah, okay. The big boys have arrived now. So you guys basically come in here. Are you walking or running? Yeah, you're walking. Keep it. You guys are pretty fresh, honestly, now. So let's, let's bring them up. Like so. We have some pretty tired regiments here as well. So you kind of get behind these guys and immediately take their position. We have another fat unit here. So again, so both of these two units are going to come in and fill this up. We've got a fat old division here. So what are these? Are these regiments? Again, I always mess up like depending on the error and stuff. So it, this the individual is a regiment. And a like a group is a bit... Italian? That sounds like it's way too many, though. A division? A division is like what we will be crafting. They're companies, okay. And then what a regiment is like the overall overarching. Okay, good. Set up now. Yeah, we have a lot of reinforcements. These guys can kind of just kind of come back now. You can push up a little bit. Okay, you fall back and then you immediately take that. You fall back and then you immediately take that. Hopefully the British don't seize. This is an opportunity to push on. Okay, you guys are probably fresh now. Yeah, okay, cool. So you guys kind of come around here. Can the infantry as well shoot over out of interest? Like, if I was to... Okay, you probably need some support as well. Like, the, skirm the smaller skirmisher units, do my bigger units shoot over them or not? Okay, both of you guys shoot that. You kind of come in here. And you can kind of come around as well. A battalion is three to four companies. Yeah, okay, cool. So the battalions are what we build. And then the companies... Whoa, what are you guys doing? Get him, please. Yeah, him. You guys are wrapping around. So you guys keep on going. And you're going to fit in here perfectly. We have these reserves back as well. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I, I like the length of the battle. It's like Lexington. I know it's like a tutorial battle, but this side, this is a good length for a battle, I feel. You know? It gives you opportunities, a lot, lots of back and forth. You know, and there's a good scale, you know, for these divisions. Oh, we actually lost a unit. Wow, okay. Oh, no. Okay, we actually are losing some men. They're chopped. Okay, there's no way they're going to break that, surely. This unit is relatively fresh as well. Okay, we need some of these straggler units to get in. Yeah, this unit needs to, like, wrap all the way back in here. Like, I'm smashing this flank, but I'm also, like, dramatically losing other flanks as well. Like, same over here as well. We're, like, breaking this. Yeah, that's going to exhaust this unit, though, is a problem. The British are coming. The British are indeed coming. Yeah, how's it going, Black Wolf? Welcome, my man. How are you doing? Good. Let's just send all these other infantry around. Reinforce here. This unit is very close to breaking as well. Good job, Isvo. They've broken them, which is nice. So you go focus on that. I mean, these guys are exhausted. I need to rest them, but I also can't let up. Can we charge ourselves? Yeah, charge them. Give them hell, boys. When you focus that. 
Okay, you guys have fallen back, but just rest here. Okay, you guys are 100% freshness, so you make your way up now. Yeah, all these guys are fresh, which is good. You're not really that fresh, but still. You can bring them up to help support. Are we winning this melee? I mean, I'd char- Okay. Note to self, probably never charge a British again in melee. That was an absolute slaughter. I had a hundred and something units in that. In that group. You guys, just hold, just hold, just hold. You guys are fine. Just hold, just hold. Okay, this flank has been completely wrapped up here. Oh, we have some more reserves? Oh, no, this is the, this is the unit I sent all that came from all the way over here. It took them that long to get here. That's crazy. Okay. I think we've got the British now, though. Oh, we should have... Uh... Yeah, a few of these guys have come back from routing. Okay. I mean, again, we need to let them, like, rally, come back. This unit's going to break. Let's fall them back if we can. No, we can't fall them back. That's okay. We've broken that. Good, good, good. Okay, let's take up uh, positions. I mean, we're just so tired. Okay. I mean, we just have to keep on pushing, but it doesn't matter if we're tired. Okay, this unit just get here, the barn, and rest. Only 21 minutes left for us to hold. I mean, we might actually just win through, like, defeating them. Guys, 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 what are you doing? Just hold, 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 hold. Hold there. You guys are firing there. Reform. Reforming your scraggy position. You're exhausted. You have decent morale. That oh, volley it took my morale down pretty heavily. There's only 40 of them, right? How much damage can we actually do? Let's push up these guys now as well. We're firing down the hill of them. They're really pushing this right flank, though. But we need this unit to be rested. Oh, we, we literally have infinite ammo as well on this flank because of the supply point, which is nice. Okay, both of you guys, you're blocking each other. So come down a bit more. Come down right here. Yeah, this unit is taking an absolute smashing wow. Okay, let's just get these guys like, on here and ready to switch out. Okay, this unit can probably replace this one now. And you guys can fall back. No, wrong one, sorry. Fall back, fall back. You guys are back from routing. You guys are 100% conditioning. Okay, get up here. You guys are at 12%. You guys are at 19. Let's come up here. Okay, so these guys fall back. And then you guys take up position. Is what is there a hotkey for this? A hotkey here for fullback is F. What's that? That's hold fire. Yeah, I imagine C's charge. P to hold. And run is R. Cool. Perfect. Okay. Broken out flank again. Let's continue to push. Yeah. The British are breaking now. The cowards. God damn it. Okay, these guys are basically up to full full HP now. Hopefully something as well. Um, I really hope they do is they allow you to basically name generals, like all these minor gen generals of the companies. I think it'd be really cool to just be able to name them, you know? That'd be such a good YouTuber thing. I know obviously you don't make a game for YouTubers, but you know what I mean? Like it'd be a really cool, cool thing. Okay, these guys are actually fully back up to 100% conditioning. Let's come around. Moving in this game is brutal. Just like how like these, these guys haven't been doing anything and they're exhausted. Just trying to like function as a I guess it's because they're such a big unit that probably does debuff them. Like having reserves is the way to win for sure. Okay, cool. We're about to win. We got six minutes, six in-game minutes left to basically hold. But I mean if we wanted to, we could kill some more. Now, question. Do I, like, do I get any bonuses from, for killing more British in this battle? Do I get more loot? Do I get more experience? Like, is there any... Because this is a tutorial battle, obviously. Oh, they charge me. They charge me. Uh, let's reinforce here, then. 
And luckily these guys can help. I mean, they're friendly firing, but still. Oh yeah, none of the militia have the extra endurance that we gave to our units. That makes sense. Nope, just win. Okay, cool. So there's no point like sticking around. Because I imagine in a normal battle, like staying around and fighting them is, is actually a little... Oh my god! They are doing it full! The AI is going full on! Charging! Counter charge! Oh my god, I can't... Literally, that's so awesome to see the AI. Like, the battle is over and they're doing their last ditch effort to, uh... To stop me. They just went on a full on charge there. Wow, that's cool. Push up, push up. You guys will shoot in there. You guys wrap around. I mean, to be fair, I think I've basically beaten the British here. That's cool. Literally, that was a final, like, the day is over charge. Type of deal there. Can you guys still not shoot? And look at, all, look at all the British surrendering as well. Oh, get out of here, boys. Oh, can I get rid of these at all? No. Okay, we can't fire into these guys, or can we? They're actually breaking me annoyingly. That should allow me just to fire in and they'll be exhausted by this point. Yeah. Oh, we, we won. Sorry, I didn't even notice that we won. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, we finished. Do we just click it? Is it over? There we go. Cool. Yeah, so uh, as you can see, a few more casualties than I imagine the historic... Like, how many people actually died at Lexington? And, oh, sorry, Concord. Probably not 2,000 people. I bet you it was like 100. <laughs> Still very cool, nonetheless. Yeah, I mean, the 18th foot, the 10th foot serious skills. We also killed quite a few as well. Yeah, I, I agree with you, uh, Zombolic. You know, like, it's a very cool way. And the nice thing is, it's got, like, it, the, the art style has actually improved a lot as well. But it's got, like, it's got, like, very, very, like, easy to enjoy graphics. It, it does enough to basically allow the tactics to talk. And that's where the game shines is in its depth. Like, it has some really cool mechanics. Um, that, you know, you just don't... Like, you just don't get as much of that in, in modern strategy games, which is such a shame, because it's a goddamn strategy game. The game should be deep, but it's also accessible because of the graphics and the systems, you know? It's cool. Uh, wasn't there, like, 300 casualties? <laughs> yeah. Like, 43 Americans died at Concord and 80 British, goddamn. <laughs> Yeah, but in, in a proper battle, not a historical battle, like not like a tutorial battle, it's, uh, yeah, you get more loot and stuff for killing more British, which makes sense. Nice, 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 nice. So we managed to push back the British to keep our supplies and pick up loot from the withdrawing enemy. Moreover, we now have a full regiment of militia patriots willing to fight for us. Perfect, cool. Uh, okay, okay. So, our next objective, right, is to capture Providence. So, I think we just want to rush down there as quickly as possible, right? I assume, like, it slows us down going through the forest, but screw it. Uh, I'm also going to take this opportunity. Oh, we can't. I was going to say we should raise another unit of militia, but we can't. So, where's our other unit? Is it garrisoned here? Because it says we have five, but I only see three. Cool. Let's make our way down there. Uh, and then this unit needs an upgrade. Again, we're gonna go. We're gonna go endurance. Yeah, we're gonna go endurance. Okay, cool. I mean, we could also no. There's no point in resting. I assume the max regiment size is four seven five. So all right, time to rush uh, Boston. Yeah, imagine. Yeah. So another really one thing, but I oh, it's up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, this is actually a good question, Panda. This was something I had. So, this unit, like... Like, so why... So, yeah, so this unit isn't in command range, I assume, but I own it. So, how... Like, does... does it? Is it, like, a messenger? And is it, like, delayed? Like, if I do, for example, I do this, is it going to take... Is it, like, delayed because it's not in, like, my command range? Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't move immediately, right? 
because it's not in my like my Linus and my fog of war or does it just move immediately or is it just uh, you give it a karma but you only get updates periodically it starts moving okay so it starts moving immediately but I just can't see it moving because it's not a general that's cool I like that. Yeah, it's delayed. You can see above its port uh, report updates. Yeah, I like that. So, like, because I don't have, like, a commander here, this unit is kind of almost acting independently, in a sense. So, you don't actually know what's going on with it. Okay. I like that. So, yeah, you guys come down, then. You guys come down. We probably won't need you. But I'll be fine. And I think what our goal is going to be then is we're going to engage them here and then we're going to immediately go to Middlesbrough. Oh, here they are. Okay, Polks right there. Good. Again, endurance training. I'm hoping they're going to make it down in time, but I don't think we're going to need it. It's only 250. I and mean, again, the British might literally just retreat. If we just do that. Name of the game is in the title, my boy. Uh, Ultimate General American Revolution. It's not on Steam at the moment. This is like an early access period. Okay, we haven't engaged in a battle yet. Or have we? So this so this battle is too one-sided to engage? So yeah, why can't I initiate this battle? Is it, yeah, like, what? so why doesn't this battle initiate out of interest? Is it because I have too many soldiers, so it just kind of, like, skirmishes it off? Also, aren't I missing a division? No, we have everybody, okay. Or is it because I'm not, like, close enough? It's too lopsided, so you can't fight it. So, like, in my, my video yesterday, I did... So my video yesterday of basically what should have happened instead of them just coming in and routing immediately. But it's also kind of annoying though that I can't fight this, right? Because like, it's slowing us up massively now. Like we're being slowed up and like reinforcements could arrive to support this even when I could just like fight it and then immediately win. So it's a bit interesting. Like I'm taking a lot of casualties here. Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army. Nice. <laughs> Your Continental Congress commissions you as Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army. Uh, you were selected over candidates based on your previous military experience and the hope that a leader from Virginia could help unite the colonies. Double-click to charge unit. Oh, okay, cool. Ah, okay, good to know. And that's like a proper battle. Okay, good, good, good. There we go, good. I'm going to get these guys to, I guess, set up here. Because as I said, I want to immediately go for Middlesbrough if I can. So yeah, sit there. You guys take provenance so we complete the mission. And then we're, everybody else is going to rest up. Obviously, Newport's going to be important. But I think if we can hit, if we can hit Middlesbrough before they can, like, secure, like, before they can cement it, that's going to really, like, affect the British control over the area. Um, what's happened? Uh, yo, how's it going, Brett? Welcome. Hey, Jackie, just watched your first video on the game. Um, what would you say you don't understand about the game? Because I might be able to help. Uh, I mean, for the most part, I understand most stuff. It's just kind of, like, when questions come up, just feel free to, um, to let me know. Like, when I ask a question, basically, that's when I appreciate the advice. Are you able to zoom in and see battles that way? What do you mean? Oh, no. So you don't zoom in. It's basically like you initiate a battle. Okay, let's go. So we're conquering the city slowly but surely. So we need to leave a unit there. These regiments, I'm going to just basically position here. Because they need to rest. They need to get this um, conditioning back up. The British are coming again here, which is fine. They're basically giving me Newport. Wow, okay. Yeah, I mean, they can charge me if they want to. Ideally, I want to rest these guys, but yeah, you can maybe, you can maybe support that. I and mean, then you guys set up there. You guys set up there.
Okay, continue to capture that, which is good. I need you guys to rest, though, as well. Because the British are also going to be supplying themselves there. How are we sitting on conditioning? Conditioning is going back up, which is good. Boom, we just got some more rifles. Oh, can't go back. He stopped capping. Okay, Baldwin's just step in front, Ben, because I don't want him to stop me capping. So Baldwin stay there, Edis stay there. If you guys are fresh, I'm going to push on Middlesbrough, I think. Almost. Okay, cool. You guys are very close to being fresh. And we might just be able to conquer this entire area, like, immediately. Oh, yeah, crap. We can also assign... Okay, I missed out. I messed up on, like, a day by doing this. Okay, cool. So we are now on our headquarters. This is basically technology and bonuses uh, that we can adjust. If we increase our salary, does it do anything? Doesn't look like it. Attack Boston. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm paying. So this increases my unit morale? The more salary I have? Okay. I mean, how much money are we making? So income is 1,800 and we have no expenses at the moment. And then bounty is if bounty is like recruitment. I mean, let's boost our salary up for now. Um, we also need to do a tech. Um, an engineering department is what we want to do, right? Because when we get the recruitment house. So let's grab that. 10 days. We just finish it, though. Like, what, what else am I spending my reputation on? It's salary for the men. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, like, what, what am I spending reputation on? Can I just, should I just grab this? Like, why not? I imagine the more tech you have, the better you're going to be. Um, either way, we will continue on. Are you guys fresh yet? Uh, Massachusetts Patriots. Massachusetts Patriots have formed a militia unit at Leicester. Massachusetts Bay, they're eager to fight under your command. Well, welcome. And you guys are fresh as well. Okay, cool. So you guys push towards Middlesbrough. Uh, we have another regiment here, which we're going to immediately bring down, probably stick them into Boston. Yeah. I just don't know what else we spend reputation on, but I think it's worth it to, to rush that. Get out some regiment ports. Okay, cool. Yeah, like, I feel like it's worth doing that. It's only eight days now. There's only eight reputation as well. Okay, they're going to help support. Get you guys engaged at that. I guess we can probably be, like, here at both. It's another battle one. I mean, you guys just like in lightly skirmish here. Start whipping down that garrison. You guys come down here now. Okay, you guys need to rest for sure. God, Boston has 4,000 men. Okay, we also did just complete that, right? No, not quite yet. Okay. You guys rest up. Get your conditioning up. Providence is now on ours, which is good. And the British are marching, what, to take Hartford? Well, you move down there. British reinforcements. Uh, enemy reinforcements are coming from Boston. The British are sending additional units using their powerful fleet. So 720 soldiers are going to arrive by sea. The British have flanked you. Yeah, so, sorry. So, uh, we've also done our engineering department. So, you can now develop your infrastructure and economy and the production. So, we also unlock new buildings of military equipment for your army by using construction and production tabs. Engineering department research has also unlocked artillery department research project. Artillery allows you to develop heavy range weapons. Okay. Uh, and we also conquered opponents. We gained some more rep. Uh, and they want us to construct a recruitment house. So, the British are coming down here. The British are going to be launching an assault out of there. People also said that I should probably keep... I can't recruit. Okay. So, okay, cool. So, what we're going to do is we're going to send uh, po uh, Edis is in. We're going to conquer this and then rush back to Leicester. We need to obviously deal with this unit as well because I imagine it's going to come for Hartford, annoyingly. Oh, okay. So, we also have unlocked building, which I haven't messed around with. So, we have construction... 
which I guess is so that's infrastructure. Oh, what do you want me to do that? My bad. Can I cancel that? Yeah. Cancel that. So we have construction. Yeah, so we have construction so we can build up the roads. Does it tell me what? So infrastructure. Increase the efficiency of all buildings in the region and can be upgraded. Okay. And then we have food. Agriculture is more provisions. Industry is more production. I imagine shipbuilding is more shipyard points. Mining is increased production minerals, which are raw. Yeah, produce so they you kind of need them. And we also have a military infrastructure. Okay. So that's the infrastructure screen. And then we also have pro, uh, yeah, production, which is where we build muskets. So ideally, I want to probably build some cannons, right? How do I see how much copper and coal I have? So this maybe... Is that all of it? No. Let's maybe build, I don't know, 10 cannons on the go. We have ships we can build, and we also have ammunition. Can I see? Like, can I see... So I guess... We... Oh, there you go. There's my production. How do I see my ammunition? Like, is there a... A tab where I can see how much ammunition I have. Uh, we should also be doing this as well, right? Uh, we can also do a chief engineer. Uh, I mean, this guy's by far the best, so we'll do that. Okay, and this is the tech screen. Okay, cool. That's a long one. So first, engineers of a revolution. So is that... No, that's... Project pool, and then this is different to that, I guess. I need the market to be unlocked. Okay, cool. So what's the difference? So these are project pools. So we probably want to do quartermaster, get that unlocked. Boom. But then there's also this as well. I mean, I imagine we also take, or can we not do these? Or oh, we can do these. So there's a tech tree and there's projects. Okay. Good to know, good to know. So, I mean, I guess we'll grab the research rate first. Uh, okay. Okay, let's just keep on going, then. You guys need to come down here. You guys need to go and engage them, basically. We need to take Middlesbrough, like, now. Can we just, like, charge them? Because we're about to engage, probably, in a proper battle. Yeah, let's get everybody up. Here we go. Okay, so, but we've taken Middlesbrough. You guys have now broken them, which should send them back to Newport. And then we rush north into Leicester. And we, we basically garrison these buildings. Kind of have our forces around. Yeah, I mean, then it's really only Salem we need. And we can kind of keep on pushing back for British advances. Oh, yeah, we need to build that building as well, right? Was it a recruitment house? God, there is a lot of, like, there's a lot of stuff to do, right? Like, I'm having to manage... I'm not saying, like, I'm overwhelmed because I'm a pro gamer, but like, I'm having to manage all these research slots, the army of a real-time battle. Like, there's, like, all these individual building stuff to worry about. There's projects of building industry. There's all of this infrastructure. Like, that's pretty gnarly, no? That's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so Hartford, it wants me to build a... Construct production infrastructure in Hartford. Okay. So, Hartford, we want, yeah, Hartford, and we want production infrastructure, right? Here. Boom. Okay. 30 days. You can assign a factories to the engineer department, it seems so. What do you mean? I can assign all oh, factories. And then what does this do? So, assigning. Is it speed this up? Because, I mean, we have a lot of money, right? We're still making 1400 I'm going to probably raise my the salary of the men as well. No, it doesn't seem like it changes it. Okay. Or maybe it does. It's just real time. Yeah, it's probably just real time. Uh, I'm actually going to spend that prestige as well, I think, to unlock the quartermaster. Because I imagine the sooner we unlock this, the better it's going to be. And then, obviously, the better research we can do. You need factories to boost. 
to boost what to boost in to, to boost research to boost like what what do you mean by boost okay you guys are the new continental army sorry you guys try and you guys try and set up like here around Middlesbrough please I have no idea, bro. Bear. That's just a boost. But a boost to what, sorry, is my point. Okay, let's reform here. I mean, these soldiers are pretty tiring on the conditioning. So this is going to be a proper battle or not? So why, why, why isn't this initiating as a battle, though? Because it's not like I'm not that outnumbered, right? Or not that in favor. It's a thousand versus whatever. Like, I want to fight a battle. Why isn't this initiating as a battle? Is my. Might be a bug. Should we reload, maybe? Oh, fuck, I never saved it as well. Oh, oh, I'll just play it again tomorrow. It's fine. Um, okay. Uh, I mean, I could just save it here, maybe. Maybe we load and see if it initiates. It does seem a bit weird, right? That should be a battle. That should be a battle. That should be a goddamn battle. Oh, nice. Our quartermaster is now done as well. There we go. Yeah, it was obviously just a, a bug. Again, keep in mind, this is like pre-early access, so you're going to run into these issues. Not only we did lose some extra men, but it is what it is. Okay, you guys go and take Newport um, if you can. I guess we should probably build some buildings here as well. Loyalty, I imagine, isn't a problem. Um, Construction material. The thing is, like, I just don't know... What we need. I guess better recruitment houses will increase the available men. I need to increase the army level, right? Ammunition storages, officer points, materials, recruits, production. I need to improve. I need to increase my army size. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Don't worry, I'll click it. I just want to do this quickly. So I guess... We have plenty of recruits so far. Materials, horse production, schools. Okay, let's let's put an ammunition storage here then. I think that'll be a good little start there. Uh, we can't recruit any more soldiers. We are. Yeah, I think it wants me to recruit in a recruitment house back here. We have just got a quartermaster. Um, so we're looking for these steps. Maybe Samson. No. Fitzpatrick is way better. Cool, Fitzpatrick. So this will be forage payments are off and on. It's kind of crazy how there's like, even like in these individual things, there's so much stuff to do. Um, So we're, so we can we, can we like joint research stuff as well to speed it up or not? Oh, they're doing engineers. So yes, yeah, do Sons of Liberty. Oh, I mean, every, everybody has their own skill tree as well. Oh, that is, that is amazing. So, like, everybody has their own skill tree. That's really impressive. Um, well, we definitely need to probably get this, this get on the go, right? Can I not do it? Assign, can I not? Okay. We'll get wagons there. Maybe it's I need to do that, right? I mean, our research speed looks really good. I can't believe that. They're like, every department has their own tech tree. That's impressive, man. Yeah, I wanna I wanna grab this. Can I not? How do I get how do I get out of that? I, I don't want to research this anymore. Do I just spend it for the extra research feed, I guess? That one is yeah, that one's for the chief of army, but I, I can't get rid of this now. Uh screw it. Let's just let's just spend our reputation. The extra research speed is nice, so. We'll just we'll just spend it and then we'll grab it, whatever. And then over here we're doing more research speed. I guess that's what you want to grab early on. I can replace it. Oh, it's too late now. It's too late now. 
Uh, and then we'll grab that, okay. Um, so we got our buildings building. Newport's about to be ours. Half has got the recruitment house. I don't want to build anything at Leicester quite yet because I'm scared the, the British will go and take it. But I think they're busy here. So let's just fight. Let's just do another battle. So it's what? It's, a, it's 1100 versus just over 1100. I have like 1300. Artillery department will need to be done before by the artillery chief. But I thought the artillery department gives me that. Okay, let's dive in. Oh my god, so I'm just immediately breaking. That's a good start. <laughs> so then regiments are just immediately breaking. Don't like to see that. And we have these guys here. Okay, so are we on the defense? What's the objective? Secure farm, secure farm. What's the objectives of the engagement? Can I see? Because, yeah, they have artillery as well, which is a little bit scary. You guys are all in decent cover. Okay, so let's bring you guys up to the flank then. Oh, okay, no. So the reason why these guys are routing is because this was the engagement, you know, when it was like being messy. Um, you know, when it was like, when it wouldn't initiate the battle because of a bug. And these guys were routing on the campaign map. That's why they're routing now. Makes sense. Okay, cool. I mean, I guess we'll just bring these guys around. Um, ideally, I want to fight them in this forest, right? So let's just do that. Uh, the objective markers give a boost to the power scale, so holding them can convince the AI that they're going to run out of time. Okay, cool. So basically, by holding these, it's giving me points here, and then by me having points there, I'm more likely to win. Got it. These guys, I might coming back. So yeah, one thing, um, one thing I wish that we could do, I... I'm not a big fan of this bottom UI bar. I think it's fine like now, but I think in bigger battles, it's just like, it's just an annoyance because it's there. I have no idea where like this guy is or where this guy is, like in a massive battle where you have so many units that it's like a scrollable bar. So I think what they should do maybe is like just have the commander, like just have Albert Morris here as like this unit card and then maybe you double click elba it takes you to him I and mean, then it also expands out like like it is now so have like these commanders as a like a i don't know what the word is but have them like so you can close it just to the commander or open it up like toggle it open so then you can see the soldiers he's commanding because i think it's much better to like click on albert and be like oh okay albert's right here that's how i kind of like it I think that'd be a cool addition. Because, like, right now, like, this is fine here. But when you get into, like, the big battles, I think it's, yeah, an absolute mess. Okay, so these guys are still routing. But they're taking a big portion of the British Army with them, which is nice. But again, like, this is the whole point of, you know, this early access before it goes on to Steam, right? Is so that... Is so that they can kind of come up with the, these ideas, you know? So let's bring up uh, my boy... Uh, and then we'll bring these guys up here. You guys are back. You guys here are just basically here to fight like a, a fighting retreat. What is that? Join units. Ooh. So join up to nine units to total 390 men in combined, new combined units in command by a single officer. Combined unit will be more effective in melee and less likely to shatter. So should we just try this out? I mean, you guys should keep on falling back. Take that unit with you, I guess, for now. If we click this, all of these guys join? Or do they just join like this, I wonder? And then what happens afterwards, I wonder, as well? Okay, we're going to take the forest here. That should give us some good cover. You guys are a little bit out in the open here, but it's fine. Out of interest as well, do the British have better rifles than me? Or not? So you guys push up here. You guys kind of come in there. Yeah, you guys are dragging him back, which is fine. We should actually probably engage. But I want to get in the forest. Okay, and then we need to focus down individual British units, of course. And I want to try and get like in this gap so I can buff as many people as possible. They are shooting me in my flank. 
But we have a lot of units on him as well. We have to win this battle. If we lose this battle, it is devastating for us. We basically lose the campaign, I feel like. But we're in... Okay, you're not in good cover. I'm going to push you up just a, a tad. They're running. Oh my god, they're straight up charging. The British are coming. I don't want to press anything because I don't want them to mess up. They got cannon as well. Yeah, cannon's going to be a little scary. Let's get fish over here then. Oh, we're already breaking here. That's so bad. Yeah, they broke me as well. I think we lose this. I'm like over here trying to buff these soldiers up as much as I can. Broken. Yeah, I mean, we're not even winning this one either. They're just charging me again. I mean, Fish is here to help buff. What does that do? Hold. Okay, let's just hold. Yeah, I mean, probably focus this down then instead. We're, bra we're, we're doing a good job here in the center. 22 man unit is holding. Double tap spacebar to kneel your front rank to gain some extra cover. So I change spacebar to pause. So is it double P? Okay, cool. So, double tap P bar to kneel your front rank. Yeah, double try P. So, what's the negative there to, to doing that? Does it mean, am I like not able to move as efficiently? Okay, you guys are broken. Which is fine. Like, does, does, it, does it then take a long time to then move? It's like, I'm, I'm not moving from here, so we should just hold. The negative is that you slow down. But then surely that doesn't really matter too much, right? Oh god, I, mean, I am losing men from this unit as well. Probably some different fire. I guess we're going to start making our way back here. Okay, so then if we do that, but then like as soon as we move, we then like get out of that position. Is it like if we get charged, then it's a little bit bad? Okay, so we actually are breaking this. So let's maybe come out. I don't want to come out the open, but... This unit's going to break. It's fine, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we're firing everything we've got into this British unit. I think we're going to win, but, like, by the skin of our teeth. Say that. Locks their orientation, okay. Okay, let's try it. We can basically encompass the majority of our force now in our commander aura, so... God, you guys are still skirmishing. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, you guys should then definitely be holding men. Because, yeah, you go up to, what, like 80% cover? Okay, you guys have come back. Okay, just slowly make your way back in, man. Don't run. Are you guys running? No, don't run. Just walk here. Yeah. Covering pretty much most of the units here. And we got a pretty gnarly flank here as well. <laughs> Men are exhausted, though. Uh, by the way, guys, if you are enjoying this, please drop a like. It really does help out the channel. Uh, I'm very grateful to everybody who enjoys the content. Uh, could you rush their flank with cannon? I kind of feel like I need all my men, though. Like, we're so, like, one thing. Like, we're low, we're low on ammunition now as well. Like, we do, of course, want to push that cannon. Because, we like, conquering it, I imagine, would be amazing. But I also want to be... I'm very aware that, like... I need kind of every unit I have. Are you guys rested? You guys are rested now. You guys just take up their position. And then this unit fall back. You guys are, yeah, very low. So, low ammo. So, is this game like, um... Is this game like the American Civil War one? Where if you run out of ammunition, you're not actually out of ammunition. You just fire very reduced shots, basically. Or is it like... 
Oh yeah, literally, Sigma is is talking, uh, literally answering my question. Uh, ammunition in the last Ultimate G game was not really a problem. Like you shot slower, but you could still shoot without ammo. Is that the same in this game or not? Yeah, I mean that's why we need to get the war the the ammunition at wagon unlocked. Okay, you guys just to set up here. Okay, yeah, you guys fall back, which is fine. Correct, just slow. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Yeah, I mean, I guess it... Okay, we broke that good. Okay. So, yeah. So, you probably go after that cannon now. Uh, and then you have some conditioning. You break around now. We've retaken up the forest here. So, you guys hold now. You guys hold. Yeah. Hold. And then we start wrapping around. We need these guys to break a little bit of conditioning. Oh, this British unit on the flank, man, is refusing to leave. Uh, a bunch of our units now have two stars, though. That's good. Higher rank opens up new perks. We might be able to get new perks. Oh, yeah, the British is basically reformed around this cannon. I very much want to try and get it, though. Um, let's just keep on pushing. I'm going to push my gem up a little bit. Yeah, these guys are re uh, basically out of ammo now. I want to try and conquer that cannon. Is this also kind of like a, if you try and take it, like shoot a cannon, you're just not going to do... Oh no, that did a lot of damage to the cannon. Nice. Yeah, I would very much like to have that cannon unlocked if I, if I can. You guys are still fighting. I have a unit back here as well. It's good to know. Yeah, I, I wish there was a, like a, a zoom out mode, like a tactical mode, you know? I think that'd be very cool. You guys need to engage that then. You're exhausted, but... We are starting to break their units here. Get a little closer. I don't know if they have access to canister. But get a little bit closer. So our rifles are way better at closer range as well. But we have such a big drop-off. Okay, you guys just keep on shooting. You guys are back up to 44% conditioning. We'll let them get a little bit more energy back. Oh my god, they actually are reinforcing over here as well. If I just... I'm going to click this. What happens if I click this? You guys just go into one big unit? Let's click it and find out. And also I'm interested to see what happens when like, we go to a, a normal battle. So we'll leave that for now. You guys are resting. We've routed one cannon. Yeah, we've broken that cannon. Turn and deal with the other one. You guys are rested now. Let's bring you guys back in. We are very low on ammo. Oh no, that unit's going to break. Can't take the cannon fire. Okay, so they do. I mean, I imagine they probably break down afterwards. I mean, you can demerge them as well. Oh, that's so cool. That's such a cool mechanic. So I should have merged them like right away. Really. That is such a cool mechanic. Like I can basically merge them mid-battle and then like split them when I don't need them. So they're going to be way better like holding a position like that. Yeah, uh, that's cool. Okay, we dealt with most of their cannon. You guys are basically rested. Now get to that wall. You guys are somewhat rested. Get into the forest. You guys are very rested. Get up here. And then you have you guys coming back as well slowly. Uh, do I need to like rotate you maybe? Yeah, rotate you guys out a little bit. Let's see, just hold, actually. Hold, hold, hold. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're charging me. Counter charge. Turn and shoot. Turn and shoot. God damn British, man. Okay. I mean, yeah, do, we just, do we just hold the line for a second? Like, reform and then just, like, rest? Let me, uh... You guys just literally have a second. I know the cannon's going to be shooting me and stuff, but... Everyone can take a hard-earned breath if they've overrun this. Yeah. I mean, we expected them. If we could have started the battle previously, it would have been pretty good, but yeah. So now it's actually a good idea to maybe just, like, try and kill some more of these cannoneers to get access to the cannons.
Nice. Good first bow, I think. I mean, a, a very brutal one. I'm definitely feeling like, you know, early George Washington, like, I am fighting for survival. Yeah, so the game, so right now the game isn't on Steam. It's too, like, early access to be put on Steam. And I think that's a smart way for the developer to do things, um, is to do it this way, basically, rather than putting it on Steam. Because the game has bugs, it has issues, um, and it's basically like a, an early backing of the game. And again, this is an indie game. Like, this is not a big studio. Um, so it's a good idea to maybe like, you know, um, open it up and, and basically people are paying to test the game. <laughs> like literally, they're paying to help develop the game. Um, which I'm more than happy to do because I want more games like this. Again, for you, that might not be the idea. Like you, you might be like, oh, actually, I'd just ra much rather wait, you know, wait until the game is 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 more developed. And they've said that it's going to come to Steam, or they're planning for it to come to Steam uh, early next summer. So early next year, early summer next year, 2024. Which I think is decent, but that probably gives them enough time to like flesh out the grand campaign. Gives them time to get feedback and, and fix obviously major bugs. And it also gets, you know, them enough time to... Uh, and it gives them enough time to like add the British, you know. And because again, the British campaign will be different to the, the Americans. You'll be fighting with different mechanics and stuff like that. Again, I imagine as well, you'll be fighting a lot with the... Like, you'll be using Navy way more as the British to transport troops down the coast. Which is a really interesting, like, supply mechanic, right? I have a nice one the battle. Good, good, good. $50 is too much for an early access with too many bugs. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think so. That's a very valid uh, thing, you know. That's a very valid thing to do, uh, to say. Okay, so we've smashed them here. Perfect. Um, that should be a lot of battle loot, I think. You know, like, do, do I think the game is worth its current price for what it is? No. But, like, I want to help support... You know, I want to support... the. I want to support the devs and hopefully get this function. Oh! Army size just jumped. Why did that army size just go up? Because of the market, I guess, maybe. Because of the market? Goods. Okay. Okay, so because we unlocked the Quartermaster, we now unlocked that. We have army management, which we always had. Oh my god, what the fuck is going on? There is so much. Um... God, there's there's all the colonies as well. So what the, f there's, the map hasn't expanded, right? No, the map hasn't expanded yet. So of all of this, and then what do we do? So this is this is doctrine. We can add doctrines. Oh my god, it's it's crazy. Like this shouldn't be such a big like wow. This is crazy, right? Like it shouldn't be that like that. But we've been so starved on good strategy games with lots of content for so long that seeing like... So let, let, let's just take stock of what this game currently has in a pre-early access phase. It has a real-time campaign map again the, the, in June 1st. The campaign map gets way bigger and then the final campaign map will be even bigger, be the entire West Coast. It has land battles. It has naval battles. It has city building. It has like workforce, recruits, slaves, etc. Um, prisoners, buildings, of course. It has a supply system with ammo. It has construction infrastructure, which is, again, pretty basic. Just buffs, but still nice to have. It has um, production. So you're building uh, guns, weapons, armor, ship, you know, all rations, etc. It has a marketplace where you can, again, purchase this stuff from the market. You have your army management. You have your colonial management, which is like applying edicts to settlements. It has general buffs, units, like... Gods. That's... Uh, and there's probably loads more as well. That's impressive. i got to say, that is impressive. Okay, so let's get to grips with this as well. So... We have six guns in storage, which is fine. We have no strat. We have good goods in wise. So with ammunition in storage. We don't we apparently have some wagons in storage. Are the wagons this thing that's moving? And like the more of these I have, the more my soldiers can get supplied, probably. We don't have any of this other stuff right now, which is fine. 
Okay, cool. So, again, this is where I'll need advice. So those of them are saying if I had any questions asked. This is where we'll have it. So, yeah, we, now that we have access to more units, let's, let's try and recruit units. Does it matter where I recruit them from? I imagine the recruits, obviously, is important. Uh, I also imagine... So, Leicester only has 147 recruits. Is that, like, actually, like, specifically men? So, if I was to try and form... Oh, we could form a supply wagon as well. Oh, my God. Yeah, and there's, like, an entire, like, supply network as well. So, right now, we need to take Newport to connect the supply from Hartford and Providence. Right? So, yeah. So, to connect our supply... Because right now, Leicester's supply isn't connected because we don't have Boston. So we need to conquer Newport, and that should link up all of this. <laughs> uh, then we have our mining resources, which is good. So we probably want to build, build up Hartford as our infrastructure base, because it has iron, wood, and wheat. This has salt, pepper? Which is ammunition. Okay, cool. God, I love it. I love it. With loyalty, control, and then naval regions. Okay, good. Okay, cool. So, yeah, this unit has to come in. I mean, I think they're already moving, but you guys have to come in and take Newport. We don't really have recruitable armies anywhere. Does Hartford have them? Yeah, Hartford has 400. Okay. So, let's maybe get a militia in Hartford. Uh, we need a commander. Samson seems good. And then we can build men. So we need 400 here. So let's maybe get one, two. And then do we have... We have some brown besses from the British rifles. That's it. Yeah, we, we can't do that. So let's add two of that and then maybe an artillery. And we have six there. Do we have enough? And then that should be the regiment for now. Oh, but it only takes one cannon. So we can we build enough? No, we can't build enough. Or okay. Change our equipment. We don't have the uh, we don't have enough in storage to change. I guess we could buy some. Um, there's not really a lot on the market though. But I mean, the short brown besses are way better. So that's melee reload shooting. Can I see the range of these or not? So if I was to buy like 150, again, this probably isn't worth it, but let's just let's just do it. Why not? <laughs> Nutritional nut. Yeah, so let's, let's buy some of those. Do they just, they just immediately come? Okay. Just like me, they immediately come. And then we didn't actually finish this one. So cool. So Samson. Oh, I may only be equipped by Cav. <laughs> God damn it! Okay, okay. Well, we now when we get cavalry, we now have them. So what we should probably do then is let's build some. Let's get some musk. Oh, we, we can't. We probably need to research it, right? Yeah, okay. So we're making more ammunition. That's fine. You're making infinite ammunition. But the question is, do we have enough resources for that? So we need salt, right? Doesn't show me... Yeah, so we're currently, we, we currently have some, so we're okay for now. Cool. Okay, cool. So there's no point worrying about rifles. We just have crappy rifles. But we're about to get a cannon, which is going to be nice. So Samson. Uh, so we go boom. We go boom. And then a, a battalion of artillery. And we create. Cool. So they're gonna. So it takes time for these guys to build up as well. Um, yeah, and that's all fine. That's all fine. That's all fine. And then let's assign that project. Cool. I'm actually just going to immediately do it. Because I feel like getting through these departments are really important. Uh, yo, Izzy, how's it going, man? Yeah, the game... I'm having so much fun. Like, the game has so much content. It's actually crazy. There's very few... Like, we've been poisoned by Total War for too long. So this battle is still going? Battle's still going. Okay. I mean, I guess we will fight it because I want to minimize casualties. So let's do it. <laughs> Hi, how's it going, Crisis? The thing is, though, people actually act like that. 
Like, it's my job to spell it out. You want, like, the the picture of the game? Yeah, see, I, I've, I've linked the... um I've linked the... The website you can buy the game. Um, again, it's not on Steam quite yet. I've linked the website where you can buy the game. You just come here. You can... $50 or, or $80. I did the general edition because I wanted to support the developers. Um, funny thing is, as well... Uh, the developer who's mainly talking on the forum, I actually don't know how many people make this, um, but it's, again, it's an indie game. Uh, um, actually sent me a key after I bought it. I was like, don't worry. Happy to support. Glad I could help. But yeah, you can pick up the game up there um, and help support it. Again, like, is it worth Is it worth it? I don't know. Oh, they're breaking. Okay, good. So I think we just win automatically. Either way, we'll push up and... Yeah, we're, we basically win the day, I think. We're so low on ammo, though, as well. We have, like, a volley. So this is something, as well, that I think, like, needs to be a little bit looked at. So I understand, because these units are basically routing in the campaign anyway, like, it seems like this, the, if the, the, they kind of rally back. They kind of, like, bring back their fatigue a little bit. You know? Yeah, we just win. Uh, let's maybe just fire a volley here and see if we get some kills. Get the cannon! <laughs> yes, take the cannon! I'll take that. Hopefully we stole it. So, like, it seems like this just shouldn't have let me fight this battle, you know? Like, the AI should have just routed. That's something that I think it needs to do a little bit tweaked from my time playing. Yeah, no, I mean, I think, again, the camp... I haven't actually got to it, but apparently on June 1st, the campaign map expands as well, which is nice. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I have no ammo as well, I know. Uh, so, yeah, it's nice. We have now developed your artillery that can be provide your army with heavy fire support. You can now research heavy range weapons like field guns, howitzers, and mortars in order to be able to produce them in your factories. Perfect. So we have this loot. Um, these soldiers need to rest as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to immediately send kids back to Leicester. And I think we're just going to bunker down in middle. We need to take Middlesbrough. And we need to bunker down in Middlesbrough with everybody else. You guys are. These guys are moving, right? Uh, supply moving towards regiment. Okay. So we also have these supply wagons as well. So if I was to make a supply party. We just do that. And then these guys can carry ammunition. But we don't have enough carts for that. Okay. But I could buy some carts. This game is awesome. I love it. I'm having so much fun. Um, I swear there was a cart I could buy. Maybe not. I swear I saw carts. Maybe there's none in the market. Okay, fine. Whatever. Um... Yeah, I guess not. Okay. I passed it? Really? Am I, am I blind? Wagons. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am blind. So let's maybe buy four. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And that's auto purchase this resource until there's five in storage. Cool. So we'll buy them. Do we need to buy ammunition? How, how are we looking at ammo? Ammo, we've got 19 in storage. Let's keep up to that. I mean, everything else I'm going to leave for now. I don't quite understand the construction quite yet, so that's fine. Uh, for those of you who have played this, should I be building more buildings right now? Or not? Should I be, like, grabbing up some more buildings? So, yeah, you guys, we need to take Muddlesbrough, and then we need to basically hold it. The supply wagons are coming. Ideally, I don't really want to fight a battle until, yeah, they arrive. You guys built up yet? You guys are built up. Okay, cool. So you guys start making your way towards there then. Um, we were building that. Do I get... So we're building a warehouse here, right? No, that's armory. We should probably also build a warehouse for more provisions. Yeah, let's also build that. We have enough production for it. I mean, I guess infrastructure I should build some more of as well. So we go here. Here we want to probably... In Hartford, we probably want to... So we're currently building, what, production, right? Yeah. We don't have enough resources for that. We don't have enough... Okay, we don't have enough building. Okay. Okay. 
Interesting. So mining. Yeah, so you probably want to build a mining facility here. Try and try and get some more industry. Do you do we mean like um do we mean like buildings or do we mean like infrastructure? For now though, that's fine. Let's leave it for now. I think. You, is that you guys getting ammo? Because we desperately need it. Yeah, I mean, I guess... Five, don't let them take the supplies. Holy crap. Get them. God, they're, they're rallying as well. Have you guys not made it to Newport yet? Come on. We need that ammo, like, ASAP, please. Come on. Supply me of resources quickly. That's just rifles though. I don't think we can win this. I think we're going to have to fall back, you know. They've just taken that. I think we're literally going to have to fall back. Like, I can't engage this. Oh, nice. We've got a new upgrade as well. Cool. So, we can have assault course. We can have firearm course. Or marksman. I mean, I kind of want to do a salt course for the, the extra stamina, you know? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're currently building. Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't finish building these guys. Fuck. I was, like, building them, and then I went off on a tangent. Yeah, we need that. If I had ammo, I would probably fight them. Uh, yeah, I think I think we fall back now then. Because these are pretty weak soldiers and we, we can raise men as well. But we got another 400 fresh men with cannons coming. Can probably raise a smaller regiment. Uh, do we just wait though until they have a few more? Yeah, so we are we are conquering Newport right now. I have Baldwin down there conquering Newport. I just if only we had like a couple more soldiers here. And like we actually had ammo. Can we fall back here or not? Yeah, Polk is just gonna get slaughtered here, unfortunately. You guys get out of there. Oh, we don't get our supply either. It's a shame. Providence now has our supply wagon though. Newport has been taken, perfect. Uh, which is good. More prestige as well. So let's bring up this division now. So that should mean that our supply network is back up and running. Boom. Love it. Okay. So our supply network is up and running. Perfect. Cool, cool, cool. That means we can now resupply our army at Provenance. So I guess we're going to probably stack up at Provenance for a little while. Oh, Polks is back as well. Good. Okay. Get out of there. I think we're going to garrison up at, at Providence. Resupply our men, but we really have them. Oh, that's a good thing we came over here as well. Yeah, kid, go back and garrison into Leicester. Um, I guess we'll make a smaller. Again, I don't want to use up like, all my recruits. But yeah, I guess kid, just go back and resupply. So to join a garrison, do I need to do anything specifically? Do I need to fall back? Morale boost. Okay. Yeah, the map does expand. And again, but the, the, the overall map, I'm sure it's... I think I saw it on their Discord. Give me a second. Uh, did they post it or not? Um, loads of people are talking about the overall size of the map. Let's see if I can find it quickly. It's normally in like general discussion. Uh, someone post it. Someone post it. Someone post it. No... God, people always talk about it and then... Yeah, basically it's like the entire West Coast. Should someone post it here? Eh, I can't find it, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, well, uh, it's, it's large. It's a large scale, so. Yeah, East Coast. Sorry, I keep on saying West Coast. I mean East Coast, yeah. Okay, cool. So we also have our supply wagon here, which is going to be good. 
So everybody join the garrison. Okay, I mean, they're going to join the garrison and also resupply, so... But we, we need ammo, and we need ammo bad. Newport has just been conquered as well. Has the dock... Can we repair that? I'm not sure if we can. Oh, yeah, also as well. Remember, we also now have our artillery chief. We actually don't have enough commanders. Okay. We can also assign projects, though. So we've already done Sons of Liberty. The barracks, we need the new, new general. A new general would be nice, actually. Oh, Polk as well. I did give him the order to come back, but I guess he just didn't, yeah, arrive in time. I mean, Fusiliers would probably be pretty good. Yeah, let's do army innovation, then. We don't have anyone. We don't have enough generals now. Can we still research? I don't know. Yeah, we can't research, but we'll leave that for now. Okay. Oh, wow. We just got, we got ambushed in the forests. Can you guys join the garrison as well? So the garrison should all be resupplying. They've got, they've got 900 men there in Middlesbrough as well. Wow. If Polk is still alive, get her out of there, my man. British reinforcements as well. I think we were maybe just a little bit too slow. I don't know. How's that unit still there? I mean, you have to pursue them, right? Can't just let them run around in Hartford. Hartford, we can still recruit more men, though. Question here is, do we have enough cannons? Will we have any commanders? Yeah, we don't have any generals. We need more recruits. Okay, cool. So I guess we have to build... Um, a schoolhouse and more officer points. Same in Providence as well. So we actually get a recruitment house here as well. We actually have... Yeah, we have no men left because everybody's being replenished. Okay. So we kind of do need a recruiting house here. Oh, God. We're already recruiting everything here. God damn. It's crazy. The army is resupplying, which is important. And you guys leveled up again. Uh, I guess we'll just get firearm course. Like, being able to shoot more is good. You'd recommend dismounting polks? Yeah. How do you disband? I didn't realize you could. Morale boost. How do I disband? Is it because I can't see them, maybe? They have to be a bit further back. Yeah, kids should be up here. So, yeah, you join the garrison there. Don't know how I disband. Anyway, hopefully they make their way over here at some point in the view. I mean, we have to chase this unit because they could just go to ha Hartford if they wanted to. Newport's recruiting. I imagine every tick we just... And this ammo as well. So we do have supply, like, prop... This is our supply system now, moving in and out. We're actually out of supply on copper and coal now as well, so we can't build any more cannons. Uh, okay, so we should probably should buy some more. No, we should probably build infrastructure to allow us, right? We don't have enough resources. We have enough, what, building? Yeah, we have enough building bricks. So we should probably buy building bricks. There are. There is literally no... Okay. So how do we make more of these construction? Probably buildings like armories and stuff, right? It's probably... Yeah, materials. There's so many buildings as well. Wow. Okay. I feel like there's a lot more buildings have just popped up. And I guess it's one at a time, maybe? It looks like it. Oh, it paused, though. Okay, we've broken them. Good. Take their rifles, please. Okay, the army's just got a big bit of recruits. So, I mean, I, I think we're going to have to, like, just resupply and just go for that big battle against the British. Is it stupid? Okay, our army at Leicester is fully stocked as well. I think we I think we bring these guys down. Yeah, I think we bring Kid down and we just, we go for it. Burns can also come in as well. I think we actually shattered that unit as well. I mean, they need to rest, but... 
Uh, Patriots have formed a militia unit in Leicester. Okay, good. And we also, they want me to produce muskets, which we can do as well. So muskets, I guess we make, um, okay, it's not making here. Cool, muskets, we can only make civilian muskets. I don't mean to make a hundred. We can't? I bet you go, cool. So we're now making a hundred muskets. We're out of them resources. Oh God, I forgot about this as well, God. There's a lot. There is so much. So, Hartford is our, our capital. So, what do we want them to do? So, this is like... This is not our capital, but this is where we're safe. At least for now. Probably building, right? Yeah. And that cost us a decent amount of money. And then... Oh, we, that's in like auto development if we wanted to. Yeah, which we don't want to do. We want to, we want to do it ourselves. Uh, then Rhode Island? Where's Rhode Island? Is it? Oh, it's like state, right? Provenance, Boston, Leicester, Hartford. Where's Rhode Island? Uh, well, I don't think I own Rhode Island. I assume it's like this, maybe? Okay, either way. Whatever. Uh, then we have New Hampshire. Oh, that is that. Okay. What does it tell me? I'm not American. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Thank you for letting me know, though. Um, so here... Again, you just go building? I mean, recruits isn't bad either. Yeah, let's go recruits here. And then in Portsmouth... Yeah, we actually own this as well. You guys just hang out for now. Okay, yeah, I mean, we're going to go for a big push. We're going to have to. All these guys are going to go for live. They're sending another 300 men as well. I think I have to go. Oh, but these guys aren't even fully replenished yet. How are you looking at ammo-wise? Ammo-wise, we're fully supplied. Okay. And we have this regiment as well. Yeah, we need these guys over here ASAP. Kind of want to wait for these guys because these guys, are they just infantry. So who's my cannons? Kid? Yeah, kid, kid is my cannon. Fuck me, that's insane. Does Newport have reinforcements as well? No, it doesn't have anything. So we'll take that. We're going to bring up Wilcoxes. We're just going to have to go for it. Can I encourage him to maybe meet me in the field? 2,000 men, like... Burns is my cannons, yeah. Wilcox is arriving. I mean, I will have about 2,000 men as well. And I guess we'll just buy as much time for this recruit thing to go up. Uh, yeah, we could push up to Salem as well. Um, I guess I'll make us... Oh, we don't have any commanders, yeah. The AI goes for Leicester. There's not much I can really do about it. But I assume right now the AI is pumping everything they've got in Middlesbrough. We also have our ship. Should we send out our one one ship, the USS Obedience? Yeah, I know I have men up in, in Portsmouth, but I don't really want to bring this unit down if I can help it. Uh, yeah, let's also maybe try and buy some rifles now as well. Okay, there's enough Chevys that we can replace an entire one division, one company's worth. That's a lot of our money, though. We're doing fine here. We're lacking copper. I actually don't want to make as many guns as I as I said I wanted to. Four is fine, honestly. Just, yeah, literally. What is this bar? What does this bar mean? Like, how far it's done? Yeah, okay, cool. So what's our best division? It is this one, right? Yeah, this one's our best. Okay. But they're like the most wounded. Fuck. Uh, then you guys need to like get priority, I think, for everything. And then how does one change weapons? 
edit unit, and then you'd select them and change. Okay. It's how many factories you have on it. Oh, okay, cool. So right now, I don't have any factories on... Okay, makes sense. Thank you. That makes sense. So I guess we want to maybe have, like, the majority on muskets. Well, I mean, there's literally no point doing that. I mean, someone ammunition like this, and then that at the bottom. Cool, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, that makes sense now. Boom, we've already unlocked one part of the game. Okay, you guys are exhausted. We're going to have to, like, rest up here. Nice. Pennsylvania militia have arrived at Hartford. So they are giving me men, which is nice. Okay, I mean, run up, boys. We need you. We need everybody at the front. Middlesbrough's up to 3,000 men now. Okay, we need to do something about that. So I'm going to take Jackie. We need to stop any more reinforcements from arriving. Also, I don't know what's happening here. Like... I don't know why our boy is all the way over there. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna have to take some men now. So let, let's form up a list. We, we have basically have to stop more men from arriving at Middlesbrough. We'll take the supply wagon, of course. This is, yeah, he's basically fully stacked now. And then the other two have time. We might also stick Burns is in as well, and then Wilcox as well. So that's about 3,000 men we'll have. And the supply wagon has a decent amount of, has enough provisions could do with some more stuff we have that extra 450 men on their way I thought we should scout salem so the problem is that we can't scout salem because we only have line of sight with jackie fish we only have line of sight with our general that's the only way so right now we don't know what's really happening at leicester we don't know what's happening at fort stephens we don't know what's happening in portsmouth because we can't see it. And yeah, we have no cavalry. I don't know if cavalry provides that. Yeah, I know I need to use roads, but I also want to avoid... I want to, like, set up here. But Burns is fine as well. That's our cannon. So this is our army. We have 1,500 men. Okay ammunitions, okay provisions. Only 1,500 men. Like, that is not good, right? And they're, they're sending some men out to engage us. Good. Good, Anakin. And all that time, these units are replenishing. Okay, Smuggler's Warehouse. Set up an ambush. Yeah, that's basically what I'm planning on doing. Our troops in Rhode Island have found a Smuggler's Rum Warehouse near the city. We can sell the cargo or transfer it to the city for free. Um, so this will just give us more morale. Loyalty in Rhode Island will increase. I mean, it's currently massive, right? Or oh, this will reduce loyalty. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, no. What? Okay, this is different. Okay, okay. For a second, I thought this was because I chose that. Something else bad happened. But we have dissolving of alliances. It has been reported that France and Spain have decided to dissolve their groundbreaking alliance they formed earlier this year. Dissolving comes as a shock to many as the alliance had significant of historical departure from centuries of rivalry. So this is relations between France and France become neutral. Tensions between Spain and France are rising. God, people were saying this, but like imagine this in a Napoleonic era, how crazy that would be. Captain Newport, how's our tech going? How's our tech going? Uh, so many buttons, tech. So we've also got officers, so we definitely need this. We need officers for sure. Um, you said I could replace it? I want to replace this. Yeah, I'll replace here, yeah. So let's do that. Copper we're fine with right now, because that has that can be over here. What I rather refill copper. I think we're fine for now. Uh, I'm actually going to spend my prestige on getting that. I think it's really important to grab that. We need officers. Because we're, we're lacking. We can't recruit more officers we have and more recruitment we have. Uh, Hartford has now got his recruits, which is good. And we're still needing to complete this, which I think we'll be doing, right? Yeah, 25 more days. And that's done. Perfect. Cool. 
production. We actually do have some rifles as well. Remember, we have a bunch of shivvies. Oh, we have some yeah short brown besses, which I bought by mistake. Oh, and there's some more. We actually have some proper brown besses as well. Nice. Okay, cool. Let's start giving some units some guns in. But we can't. We have. They have to be in a city to edit. Okay. So, I mean, let's just edit this then. So, we can give these guys shivvies. I guess you guys besses. And then, yeah, Jonas is, is they're ready to fuck. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. Fuck. Civilian muskets, civilian muskets. This unit has double, so they actually have the firearm course. So this is the regiment we want to improve. So you guys can have the brown besses, and you guys can have the shivvies, and that's all our guns. Oh, there's a few more brown besses. Nice. I mean, yeah, you guys. Okay. So Jonas is. Jonas Baldwin. So has it lived up to the hype? Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, it is, it's still early access, but I think the game is, is slapping right now. Like, I think there's so many, like, different mechanics and stuff. Like, it's been a while since we've had a strategy game like this where I'm like, oh, god damn. Like, there's a lot. And again, the campaign, like, this is like a tutorial map. The campaign opens up soon, I think, in like a couple months. I didn't confirm it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, shivvies. Wait, did I? Where's all my other muskets gone? You sure? Because... Oh, was it this one I did it? So where did they all my... Oh, no, I think I bugged it out. All my guns are gone now. Well, the game still has a long way to go. Don't get me wrong. But it's still super cool. Did I just lose all my guns? Or do they not transfer over? I'm not sure. Uh, okay, cool. So let's... let We have to stop this army from getting there. So let's just push in here. Yeah, we have to initiate a battle, basically. I think. But like, we have to engage them now. Otherwise, we're in a bit of a trouble. You guys push up. Okay, that should be enough reinforcements here to help supply this. And our church is still building, man. But that should be enough supplies to reinforce both these uh, divisions, the companies. Okay, let's push up now. Oh my god, that's a lot of men, right? How many numbers? I wish as well it would tell me the numbers. But that doesn't include the 600 here, right? So they have a thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Oh, it does include everybody. Yeah, this has been a mistake. This has been a big mistake. Fall back then. Yeah, there's no way we can do that. Let's fall back. Ideally, we want to try and game it so that we don't have everybody in. So let's draw them in. We'll scare them. We'll draw them in. Oh, no, no, no. How are you guys exhausted already, man? <laughs> yeah. Huzzah! We've gamed them. I mean, there's still a lot of their men, right? But still, a bit easier. Oh, it also brings our mums from men from Providence as well. <laughs> so they have 1,500 and then more reinforcements, right? Basically all of this, but not these guys? Yeah, not these guys. I have another 700 men on the way. What can men do? It's still the same. But then we're close, right? No. Yeah. Still too many, right? I mean, an extra 400 men probably won't make a difference either. Then we'd have, what, like 1,500 and... I mean, if we can engage them, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, and because we're not using the roads as well, they're just going to resupply that. <laughs> the game now wants me to capture Boston. Yeah, sure thing. I'll just capture Boston. Okay, you guys are fully supplied now, though, which is good. So you guys can leave the garrison. Is anybody else? I mean, this is our army, right? The supply wagon needs to go back and join the garrison. So leave army. Go back. Burns could do with a little bit of resupplying, but.
Yeah, I mean, this is our army, right? And then you come out as well. And then you join my garrison to resupply. Oh, these men get exhausted so quickly. Okay, we'll rest everybody up. Because it is increasing. I mean, I guess we're just going to start a fight, right? How many men do we have? We're not missing anyone, right? This is everybody, yeah. Oh, yeah, we also did our chief officer. Cool. So we can now do that. We're going to assign a project. So we continue on our, uh, on our, yeah, ambitions. We have 29. I mean, wagons wouldn't be bad to be able to start building them. Engineering is just research speed, so we'll leave that, okay. So can we recruit more men here as well? We have we have another officer, right? Okay. I mean, this is it. So we have what? 4, 8, 12, 16, 2. I mean, we're not far off. We're not like far off. I mean, we have to defeat this though, right? Can we like try and maybe bait them out a little bit, you know? No, you guys are fine. I need you guys to, like, rest. So just P to hold. P to hold. No, P doesn't work. Okay. I wonder what happened to that division as well. We believe in you. I appreciate it. I also need just my conditioning to go up as well. Because I imagine whatever these units have in the conditioning-wise is also what they, you know, end up with. So maybe we just fight like a very defensive battle and we just engage them but pull back. Or we just like go for Boston, you know, like Boston is 4,000. This is a little bit less. Could march north. Yeah, I mean, we could march to Salem, but then what's to stop them from just like rushing in Providence and just conquering us, right? And there's British fleet out there as well. I do agree that we are focusing pretty hard here. Divide your forces. Go north to the Steph Fort Stephens. But like, what does this give us anything by conquering this? There's no general. Yeah, there's no general here either. Oh, God. I didn't mean to do that. Um, do we have any more rifles? Again, I'm just trying to maximize this. I mean, our money situation isn't great. There's not really enough on the market. And we'll buy them. More cannons as well. There's quite a few cannons on the market. Okay. And we just need regiments. So maybe let's buy six of them. Okay, cool. It's most of our money. Um, we also need to make sure we try and build some good buildings as well. So we've got our naval stuff here. So... Over here, we're going to probably build a blacksmith house because we need to start getting production points. I probably should have built them first, really. And yeah, we're, we're really lacking officers. Can I sell the civilian muskets? Uh, yes, I can. I can. Don't, we don't need to right now, but that's, that's a good idea. When we, when we are running a little bit low, maybe we'll sell a couple of them. Yeah, you can. Nice. That's really cool. Like that. Uh, yeah, there are four battles in the game, Jose. There are. Um, okay, cool. I think I think I'm gonna drop a save, and I think we just we just push for it. Um, yeah, I think we just push for it. Uh, okay, let's. Okay, there's my save game. Or at least, at least we push up and we try and draw them into a bit of an engagement. Let's bring you in a bit more as well. So we try and do this. Try and drag a few of their divisions out. Okay, now probably fall back. So that's a media battle. 
So if I can get if I can get half their army to come on as reinforcements, but I think we can we can like consolidate and smash their initial forces. We have a supply wagon in reinforcements as well. So let's fall back a little bit. Because we don't want... Oh, they already are reinforcements. Okay, well, I think we engage this, right? This is it. I think this is where we hold them. So they have 1,000, 2, 3, 3.5. Three we have about 3,000. But we can annihilate these two regiments pretty quickly. And then we just move on. Yeah. Here it is. And we have a commander as well. Our men should be relatively fresh, condition-wise. And remember, it's... Who's the good one? Yeah, it's this one right here. So it's this. The second Connecticut. They do have a lot more artillery. But maybe what we could do is we could, like, smash these initial divisions and then just retreat. Is that is that a good idea? Like, do you think we just maybe push on this initial handful of regiments and then we just get out of there? Maybe. Okay, let's see what we'll, we'll see what we're working with. So I'm over here. It's got me the wrong way around. We have to take that point. Okay, I'm a British. Oh my god, how is that? How is that a thousand men? That looks so much more intimidating. Thing is, though, the balance of power bar is very much in my favor. So, and we just have to, we just have to win this balance of power bar, right? So, our first initial goal should definitely be to take their point. They don't start in command of their point. So, ideally, I would love to maybe hold this forest line, but I guess we're gonna push up. Um, you guys can push out there. We have one on the extreme flank as well. Yeah, you guys push in reserve here. And we have all of this back here. God, yeah, this is what I'm saying. Like, this is as far as we can zoom out. The game really does need to allow you to go further, especially in a battle like this. And, like, I can't, I can't imagine this is, like, one of the biggest battles you're going to fight, right, either. So. so this is our good regiment, right? Was No, this was it this, this is our good regiment? And this is, this is again, my point with the, uh, the UI down here, you know? Like, this just all of a sudden becomes so, like, too much to, to manage. I'm not utilizing these at all. And I feel like what they should do is, yeah, just have, like, the icon of the general. And maybe, like, if I click this, it expands it to what you're looking at now. And then if I click it again, it de-selects it. That would be really good, I think. Oh, yeah. Multiplayer would be incredible for this game. Absolutely incredible. Um, unfortunately, but I don't think we're ever going to... I mean, it's going to be... If we do get it, it's going to be a long time, I think. Uh, we also have, what? Yeah, me as well. Okay, so the, the, the way we win this, I guess, is by taking this bar. And by doing that, we're going to have to score that. We can't see the British now. So the game does also have an entire line of sight thing as well. So if you look at it, like, this is what my men can see. So right now, I have no idea where the British are. But yeah, no, I would, I would love it. I, I would love multiplayer in this game. It'd be so good. Oh, the British are already there. Fuck. Okay, well, we're taking up positions. I think we have to. Who are you part of? You're part of that, yeah. So I think we have to try and take this capture point. Before they do also, I need to get out of bed to help buff the men. Where are you guys going? Is there like a... What's this? This is firing arcs? I don't know why you're going there. Oh, because I had you selected. Okay. Baldwin. Yeah, you guys just go like here. Okay, set up, set up, set up. We've got reinforcements coming in. Yeah, I think we have... Oh, yeah, the band's power bar sorted now. They're going to get the first volley off. Are we in cover now? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I think we have to try and take this, man. I mean, we have to push this advantage whilst we can. Time fire, obviously.
We have, what, three regiments here able to push around. Yeah, you guys go into there. <laughs> We're about to get absolutely slaughtered, I can already tell. Get up here, get up here. The British are condensing a lot of their forces here, okay. We've got our artillery coming up as well. Good, good, good. you guys fill in. So what we're going to probably do is we're going to probably retreat these guys back once these guys arrive, once their conditioning runs a little bit low, so that then these guys can take over. Remember, these are our good soldiers, I think. Um, No, who has the good rifles? There's nobody because they disappeared, didn't they? Yeah, forgot about that. They disappeared, so I don't think anybody has the good rifles. So annoying. Could really do them extra, uh, them extra guns right now. God, look at it all. I mean, we're in cover. What more can men do? Our artillery is about to arrive as well. Our one gun compared to their however many. Can we see if they're in cover as well? Do I know like if they're in cover if I hover over maybe? Uh, open area, it says. Okay, that cannon is already going to start ripping me apart. Okay, I mean, ideally, I mean, how are you guys looking? Pretty fresh still. Okay, I think you guys wrap all the way around. The British are flooding into this capture point. Makes sense, right? Again, we're in the open here, but we need to maybe try and drive them out of there. Is that smart? I don't know. God, the British are flooding into this objective, man. How are we looking here? So we've got good cover, right? Like we, 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 40% cover is decent. But, oh yeah. Don't know what the British are up to here. I will accept it. Keep in mind, of course, this game is still very much in early access, pre-early access. What can men do against such reckless hate? Honestly, think of the children, somebody. You guys keep on firing again. How's our ammo looking as well? Oh, that's going to be something as well. Yeah, so you guys have to move up now. Yeah, so Morris's move up. I mean, I guess you guys just move up and deal with this cannon. If they're going to leave this cannon undefended, we deal with it. We have reserves. Oh, we have our own cannon as well. Perfect. Nice. Okay, our own cannon. I mean, our own cannon. Focus on this blob. Hey, hey, hey. The AI, the AI is having its issues. It's early access. You know, like... Hey, not my problem. The British are spamming hundreds of units. Thousands of units into Middlesbrough. We take this, okay? If anything, I just don't want to unstuck them. <laughs> Remember, though, this isn't even their main army. They have reinforcements coming on at some point. I don't know when. Is there a way we can see when their reinforcements come on? I'm not sure. Okay, push up and deal with this cannon, please. Get as close as possible. Wait until you see the, the, the whites of their eyes. They're charging me. Oh, God. Shoot, 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 shoot. Volley, 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 volley. Oh, I only got a brutal volley off there. Okay, these guys are now exhausted. Okay, the plan is, we said the plan was to have these guys hold this line. Then, when they're, they're tired, we push with these guys. So these guys are going to take this position. They are fresh. They are eager to die for Jackie Fish. Well, I gotta just charge this cannon, right? Yeah, I think we just charge the cannon. We've managed to route that unit back good. We are taking the farmhouse a little bit as well. Again, these guys are tired. Oh, no, they're not. They're actually fully fresh. Well, not fully fresh. You guys push up. We have... Okay, you guys need to turn now. Because they are charging me. Oh, no, I've unstuck them. No! Okay, you guys probably fall back now. We dealt with that cannon, which I think is worth it. So, yeah, I think we dealt with that cannon. Ideally, I'd love to deal with this cannon. They have so much. 
Is this Fitful Army? I feel like this is Fitful Army. No? Fucking hell, look at them just rap. Okay, okay. So we're bringing up reinforcements and then we take whoever this is. Yeah. Then we take you and we bring you back. Again, we have we have fresh units. So I think maybe the cannon can stay there, but we take the rest of you guys and even you guys fill in here. Like so. And then we'll take Johnson's back again just to rest up a little bit. Yeah, I'm so sorry, boys. Fuck me, that cannon. Yeah, so then probably you guys fall back as well. Back to here. I mean, we've broken this section. Like, I feel... Okay. Our supply wagons have arrived. Ammunition, boys. Get up here. This is their full army. Yeah, they got their army way quicker than I did, Jose, didn't they? Oh, they charged me here as well. Fuckers. I mean, they have the numbers, right? So why not? Fresh units, though. The brown coats. So what are these guys? Are these guys different units? Oh, these are proper soldiers. These are fusiliers. These are actual proper infantry. So they have good firearms? Yeah, oh my god, their stats are incredible. Is this what I'm fighting right now against the British? Look at this. Melee 6, firearm 5, reload 12, speed 2. These guys are 1112. <laughs> wow. Okay, so these are actually proper regiments. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're losing that left flank. Yeah, these guys need to break and come back. Uh, probably going to fall these guys back as well. Yeah, fall back a little bit. Keep the distance. We need to keep our distance, basically. Uh, you guys now can hold to get extra cover. You guys wrap into there a little bit. I mean, ideally, we do want to drag them out in the open. Yeah, both of you are smashing the right unit. How's our cannon doing as well? Cannon is still bombarding all the way back there now. Okay, focus down these in frontal units. And then you guys, yeah, you guys just retreat back a bit. We have this unit who's routing still and then the supply wagon's coming up. God, I wish we could zoom out more. That's, yeah, my, my biggest complaint so far is I wish we could zoom out more. I mean, I guess I'm going to bring fish around to help supply this left flank. So there's, there's an argument to be made right now. Do we, like, push Fish over here, our commander, to help buff these guys? But these are the guys who need the buffs the least, right? And it's mainly a morale bonus? Yes, yeah, mainly a morale bonus. So I think we push Fish over, over here. You can fall back now. So you from John Jonas's can fall back. I mean, you guys are pretty fresh, honestly. And I guess you just move in there. How are we looking ammunition-wise? Ammunition-wise, we're doing good. I mean, you guys are obviously all getting your energy back, which is perfect. Oh, we have a couple actual proper units. So we have all of this, which is a problem. And then all of all of Jonas's as well, which these are all proper soldiers. Okay, good. How's it going? Um, we're fighting basically a make or break battle against the British. And it's, it's looking a bit break right now. I'm not going to lie. We rotate you. This is just a loose unit now. His the rest of his units have been broken. Any conditioning we can get though is big. Yeah, we just need to make sure we focus as well. Oh, you guys are fresh or not? Yeah, you guys are fresh. Get in there. I need you guys like here. So I think we probably put fish like here so we can affect both units. Because like this is going to be too much for this militia unit. It really is. But you guys come back. Hey, you guys have come back from routing good. I think your officer has been shot. Oh, they're, they're bringing back soldiers as well. Okay, well just hold. Just hold. Just hold. Keep your energy back. We're delaying a large portion of the British forces here. Yeah, it seems like once the unit shatters, it loses, like, its cohesion or something. Could you move your reserves on that left? Prepared to hit the flank? So, yeah, but these are our reserves, and they are pretty much replenished now. Yeah, I mean, that might be a good idea, right? The British are focusing. I think in the center, we're getting the better hand of it. Like, where our good soldiers are, 
where our actual proper soldiers are, I think we're actually getting the better hand of it. I mean, for the most part, I feel like we're doing good. The cannon is what the problem is. So yeah, I think I think it's a good plan. I think it's a good good idea. We send these reserves. Can we, who is it? It's the whole of Thomas's, right? Yeah, the whole of Thomas's. And this is something as well that I think the game should lean into from my time playing it. Is like lean into more of this like division, the division regiment regiment style of gameplay. Like I think it's way cooler moving like regiments around than it is moving like com like mo moving companies like individual units companies around. I think it's way cooler, like, moving the whole of Wilcox's, you know, as a group. You can, like, yeah, like, I'm not saying you can't then just, like, micromanage them individually, but I really like the way of just, like, moving everybody around. Uh, I don't know, Jacob. I don't know. We don't have any other firing. We have release crew and then hold, and that's it. But as we saw, there's a lot of tech. Every single department has its own tech tree, which is pretty big. They're charging me here, and we're exhausted. Worst timing, man. Oh, yeah, they're going to rout us there. Um, but you guys are fresh now, so who are you again? You are Samson's battery, okay. So we'll leave one Samson's units there. Um, you guys are firing them there, and we'll resupply this flank again here. You guys should. You guys are just firing, so you should all be on hold, right? So, yeah, hold your position. That'll give you an extra 10% cover. Everybody who's just here should be on hold. There's like, it seems like, feels like there's no reason not to be on hold. Does it tell me like what the debuffs are here? Hold position. First rank will kneel and the unit will remain in current formation and facing unless it receives a rear attack or morale becomes crucially low. So yeah, it seems like you always want to basically be in this. Because it just gives you an extra, what, 10% cover or whatever. Oh god, that's bad. Yeah, the British are coming there. Have you come back from routing? Ah, where are you? Here. You have 80 more men. Okay, we're bringing these guys around. You guys kind of rotate, I guess. Oh, but because you're on hold, but you can't? Yeah, I guess that's one of the debuffs. Okay, well, we should have this unit of British dealt with pretty nicely. This unit has kind of come back. Yeah, over here. You guys just fall back. Honestly, just retreat. Fall back, fall back. Draw all these away. That's like an extra 200 British. Um, how's our command aura as well looking? Command aura is up to here. I probably need to throw myself on this left hand pu pu push now. Right hand side still could do with some help though as well. Yeah, but I think we need to be over here. I'm sorry, men. Hold firm. Uh, cannon? Yeah, cannon focus this then as well. You guys are rotating. Uh, honestly, you guys just fall back. You guys can set up there. I want, I want to drag them out of that forest, though. And then you can kind of come in here to help supply something along them lines, yeah? We have two units here? No, just one. And then we have what? Reserves here? Oh, no. No reserves. We have one unit of reserves left, basically. Okay, I mean, we are breaking the British, though. And one unit back here. Yeah, you guys keep falling back. You're here to... I want to get them out of that forest. Okay. Okay, question, guys. Do we... It's time to fall back. Do you think so, John? I don't know, though. Like, I feel like there's not a lot... Like, there's not a lot left here. If we take out, like, these, these couple hundred-man regiments, like... There's not a lot, and we still have, like, good regiments still. Stay in the forest. Yeah, I think we stay here for sure. This is our defensive line. And we have, like, this center's a little bit scary. I'll, I'll say that. But that's why Fish is here, right? To help buff up this flank. Oh, can we not get them out of there? Oh, we're going to have to push then, I think. Oh, they charged me. They charged me. Uh, that's what I was saying I was scared of. Edison, you're just using civilian muskets as well, aren't you? More men are being thrown into it. I don't want to be thrown into it, though. Okay, 
Yeah, they're breaking this flank now. I mean, you guys can try and turn. To fire into the back of it. Yeah. Uh, again, maybe it is time. Like, we have this advantage, yeah. But is that it? Because they're pushing me there as well. Do we just lick our wounds and fall back? Send the cab into it? I wish I had cab. I mean, my, I have my general, but I don't think he's a fighting unit. Rip Joffrey. Yeah, like, that's very bad. Guess our last unit of reserves. Cannons obviously focus that down. Now they've taken the forest from me. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the British, right? So you can, like, so you see the difference, right, between my infantrymen, which have 6, 5, 12 stats, and then the militiamen, who just have one stat. You guys get around the side. Yeah, I think we fall back now. So how, how do I retreat now? Do I just click this? Are you sure you want to leave the battle? It was a good effort. Like, we came close, I think. I think we came pretty close. Because, like, this is very depleted, right? Like, there's, like, 20, 20, 20, 20, 25, 9. Like, we're so close. I just don't think we have enough. Ah, oh, but I want to keep on pushing. Is this which is the problem? This is the biggest problem. Our supply wagons are about to arrive. Are you looking good on ammunition? Yeah, okay. So spend one over here. Oh, I think we carry on, honestly. We need to break this. Oh, they're just charging me again, though. Ugh, oh, yeah. I think the British have me. You guys are going to turn in friendly fire. That's not going to be good. Yeah, we just end up routing. They're pushing more men forward. We're getting rear flanked. Yeah. I think we get out of here. But it's the charges which are brutal, right? Yeah. So if we do that, let's just see what happens. Does that just... That just brings us back, right? Does that end the battle? Yeah. They, the British, that was a good move by the, attack, the, the British, though. They, they saw our center and... Oh, nice. We've got donations. <laughs> uh, three artisans in New Hampshire rising, raising money. Good. We'll take that. Uh, Patriots from New Jersey, more ammo, good. And we tried it. So now we just basically need everybody to fall back. Um, so I think you guys fall back to Leicester. Because again, we have the, the men there. And then you guys fall back to uh, Providence, to New Hampshire. Um, do we have another general yet as well? We don't. We need new generals. Uh, how can you play this game? Yeah, so it's only released in early access pre-Steam. The game's not coming to Steam for like another nine months. Because <coughs> it still needs a lot of work. But you can buy it over on their website. Um, I've left a link to it down below in the description. Yeah, I think we just fall back. Again, I feel like that system's kind of gamey as well. Same with like the, the battle box as well. You know? So I think Fish stays here, if we can help it. And then you guys just all join the garrison. Because, like, I could just, like, exit the battle at the most perfect time, you know? I feel like that's a bit, like, yeah, a bit ratty. Tell you what is also ratty is my goddamn rifles that I never got. What happened to them all? Oh, no, we do have, no, we just, yeah. That's so annoying that we just lost all them rifles and nobody got them. Yeah, so this recruit pool is going to be taken away very quickly. Yeah, you guys go to Leicester, please. Uh, nice, we produced five rifles. Cool, can we purchase any more? I don't know what else we spend our prestige on. Is the thing. Revolutionary artillery. Who's just research? Training level. That takes up ammunition, okay. 
requires yeah we don't have that much ammunition a day but we're producing but it allows them to train that's not a bad idea then if we can give up a little bit oh and that's how many okay cool so it's making a bit more sense now it just clicked in my head so the more i have on my engineering the more factories we have here so yeah the more i spend on engineering it costs me money but then i can produce more i now have more factories here to produce ammunition okay that makes sense so we can't make anything else, right? We can't make any other... I mean, I guess we should make maybe some muskets. We're about to produce... Yeah, let's just do that for now. We're about to produce our final cannon. Yeah, I mean, you have your factories there, your resources. Okay, cool. Makes sense. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and you guys are going back to Leicester. We'll leave Fish just here, chilling, because he doesn't need anything. They're going to resupply as best as they can, slowly but surely. That church is almost built. Town Hill, sorry, is almost built. Got our recruits here. Okay, I mean, that was a good effort, right? That was a good. I feel like that was a good battle. And again, they only have, what, 2100. So yeah, you guys join the garrison now to resupply. So that way, at least, I guess we're pulling from two. Have we fought a naval battle yet? No. I mean, I only have one, one ship. The American Navy isn't too great. I have one ship. There's a 12-gun ship as well. Don't really want to just go out and lose it. Okay, so let's resupply, hopefully, up. Again, I'm so annoyed about them guns, man. We just lost them. Oh, okay. So these guys can actually have some more men, or they can't. They can't. It's because we don't have any to give, maybe? Yeah, no recruits, I wonder. So can we actually add some soldiers? Or could we, like, replace them? We can't replace them. If I was to delete them and then replace them with proper infantry, would that be better? Because it was Baldwin's unit we were giving the good guns to, right? Yeah. And they just all disappeared. That's so annoying. We literally just lost like 200 of our best guns. Yeah, how's it going, Steven? Uh, by the way, guys, if you are enjoying this, please drop a like. It really helps out the channel. It goes a long way. Yeah, so let's just do that. Okay, so everybody's resupplying. I mean, I feel like we came off better. It's annoying when we left that battle as well. It didn't give us um, anything. Um, so we're currently doing engineering, right? And we will probably want to move on to better factories. I need, I need stuff that gives me... Uh, not generals. I mean, Benedict would be nice. We need officers. That's what we need. So we can have more more units. That's what's really slowing us up right now. We're about to get another schoolhouse, which will give us some more soldiers. But yeah, we don't have any officers right now, so we can't create this. Yeah, we've run out of resources, I think, here as well. Yeah, for the cannon, I assume it is. Yeah, we don't have enough any shipyards right now either. Okay, cool. Hey, <laughs> I appreciate that puzzle monkey. Yeah, what happened to Providence small box? Oh, I don't know. So are we up to full strength now? No, almost. Okay. So all these guys are going to be ready. I was saying we don't have enough resources, but it says we have 11 here. Oh, we actually have a shipyard as well. Nice. Okay. Or we don't have enough of this resource for this, or... Hmm, I'm not sure. Okay, we're just waiting for more guns to come into into play 
Because we have money to buy them. Oh, there's a lot of Spanish rifles. Okay, how much? So let's maybe get... So we have... Oh, no, that's what we have? No, yeah. That's what we're buying. Okay, cool. So let's just think of this. So our units... So we want to probably buy 100... Well, 150 at a minimum. We don't have enough. Okay, what if we sell? We sell maybe a foul Down to a 1,000. Because that's basically enough to supply a single company. With good guns. Yeah, boom. Okay, so we just bought some more rifles. Let's save... It. Oh, okay, for a second I thought the British were moving then. That would have been scary. Okay, let's... Uh, new save guns. Okay, cool. Uh, so then let's find... Uh, we want our um, proper men. So again, we'll try Baldwin. Now, who's the dude with the good... The two stars? Or is he gone now? Or is this guy right here? Let's give him the Spanish. And that's, that's all we have. Okay. So yeah, that's... Adamus. Okay, cool. So you guys have the good rifles, please? Yeah, you guys have the Spanish rifles. Okay. Can we add as well? No. Why can't... I so said, no, we can't add anymore. I wish we could, man. Oh, you can actually rename the regiments as well. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. I like that. Okay, we're just waiting for everybody to be fully supplied. And then I think we just go again. We just have to keep on smash smacking away. To be fair, this is going to be done, I imagine, very soon. And then we can hopefully raise another unit. I thought I built 100 rifles. I guess not. Okay. The uh, game wants me to build some more muskets, so we will. And I guess we'll just make continuous amounts, right? Just have, like, two on muskets constantly. Something like that. Because they'll be good. We can sell them as well on the market. Uh, the undercover intelligence officer. No, we lost soldiers. Oh, no, more. What can Maine do? Uh, we have undercover intelligence among the British naval ranks. The officers gather critical information about the British plans, communicate it back to us. He helps report British sending fresh troops. Okay, well, we can't allow that, can we? These guys are... I don't know what that zero means. Like, does that mean they're fresh? I think it means they're still supplying... Yeah, there they are. So yeah, this is going to be the major thing with the British, is just that they constantly get to use the, the ships, especially in the Grand Campaign map, where it's so big as well, like where it expands out so much, is like, that's going to be your biggest problem, is like the, the British are just sending soldiers so much faster from one place to another. Do a naval battle? Um, I think you'll find I can't actually leave port, because there's a British fleet of 190 guns out there. My ship has 12 guns. If we get the opportunity to, sure. And I am building a ship as well. Like, I am building a, a cutter. Trying to. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, if I could maybe get to this. But even that, the bath is a 12, 20-gun British ship against what is like a supply ship. That's a 78-gun. That must be like a first-line ship. Uh, how are we doing here? Okay, so we can now get some more. So, good. We definitely want to do that. So, switch value. I'm actually going to spend for officer uh, recruitment. Yeah, I need more. I need more officers for sure. Let's immediately grab that. We need... Yeah, we need that. That gives us an extra... That gives us an extra, like, 400 men. And I think that's when we push. I mean, makes fucking 500 men there is brutal, but... Are you guys... You guys are all fully stocked up, right? Right. 
Uh, poachers. Our patrols come across local poachers who are harvesting furs. Forbidden places. We can confiscate their booty or let them go in peace. So this would give us furs, but decrease for loyalty. And this would just increase loyalty of New Hampshire. I feel like eventually, like, loyalty is actually going to be a problem. So let's just do that. And we also have the Second Continental Congress. So this is also another thing as well. Like, early on in the war, you're supposed to be really struggling. Um, and then I imagine, like, as you progress on, you get more events like this where they start to take control. Yeah, it's a civilian. So the second country is going to meet in Philadelphia, realizing the complex of the situation. Wealthy patrons of a member of Congress decide to send you help. What do you need the most? Um, I think we have plenty of ammunition money. We're actually, we're actually running a negative in money right now. So, yeah, funds. And the more money we have as well, the better it's going to be. So, cool. I think we just got another officer. Or it was something. We should probably definitely get the um, intellectual department as well. Yeah, we have no money, so let's grab that. Are we losing money as well? Yeah, we're actually losing a lot. Wow, we're losing a lot of money now as well. Why? Fleet, civil expenses, production. God, we are making no money. Holy fuck. Okay, okay, so we need to sort that out then. So let's cease all production for now then. Because we don't have the money. So we don't have the money for that. Let's stop all production. Can Hartford recruit another regiment as well? Okay, we have another officer. Good. I mean, I say that as I immediately build more soldiers, but yeah, and we'll probably lower salaries as well. No, so we need Membo. Um, and we have no extra rifles. We have a few. I assume it won't work if we do that. Uh, we should have enough cannons as well. So let's maybe do a, maybe let's make this into a double cannon if we have it. We can't create this, or we can. Yeah. So maybe actually let's get rid of that and have. We can't. Are oh, we only have one cannon per regiment? Okay. Um, how big is the map? So yeah, the map. So the map. God. Again, I'll just quickly try and find it again because they do keep on post. Like I have seen it so many times. Oh, there it is. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Yeah, so the overall map eventually is going to be this. Can I, like, do that and zoom in? So, yeah, this is going to be the overall campaign map. I think right now we're playing, like... Where even are we? Where is Boston? Boston's, like, up here somewhere, right? Like, right now we're playing, like, this. So, you know, the map is going to be a lot bigger. <laughs> a lot, lot bigger. But can you guys even see this or not? You can, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, right now you're playing, what, like, six regions? A bit to the right, so it's more up here. Like here? Here? I don't know. That's, that's Canada, right? Up here. <laughs> yeah, like, it's over here somewhere. So you're playing, what, like... So, man, just look at this. Like, every one of these regions is... Again, this is the planned one. Who knows if it'll be this big and how long it'll take. But, yeah. Pretty juicy, right? Pretty juicy. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying it, please drop a like. Let's see if we can break 200 likes. Um, also, uh, feel free, as I've just found out, you can name regiments and companies. So give me some names. Give me some names in chat, and we can actually rename some. I think they have to be garrison, but we're, we're in quarters right now. So give me some names for, for units, and I, I can name some units after you guys. I think. Can I? Does it, oh, does it have to be a... Does it have to just be the regiment? Yeah, I think I can only rename the regiment. I can't rename generals as well, unfortunately. You should be able to. God, they're moving in again. I think we have to push out to try and engage that, no? Not that we're ready, but... An extra 500 members? It's going to be impossible. Oh, I never built that unit as well. Let's build it. Artillery, guns. What guns do you guys have as well? We have some six pounders. I'll take that. Oh, but because, yeah, they grow, so we, we'd actually need way more. Yeah, let's just get the three pounders then. 
Are there any differences between these militiamen? So these are militia skirmishers. These are normal men. Oh, so then maybe let's grab some just lower skirmishers as well. And now we don't have the general. We lost our general. Oh, the bugs, man. They're killing me. I think like if you don't click create, it like messes it up, maybe. Oh, so annoying. Yeah. As I, think it's, I think the same thing happened to my, my muskets as it happened here. Such a shame. That's going to hurt. Can we try and drag these Britishmen into an engagement? Or are they going to escape in time? Yeah, they're going to escape. Okay, just hold up in the forest then. We got 3,700 now as well. Okay, I am tempted, Ben, to leave a smaller garrison at here. Uh, take. Take the other soldiers and move north and maybe try and do something here. Maybe try and take Selmy. Because we ain't, we ain't taking that. There's nothing we can do. It's not happening. Oh, we can build though, which is good. Um, yeah, let's start boosting production. We need to get this production up. We're, we're starting to make some now, but we need way more. Um, yeah, we're doing intelligence. Let's grab that. That'll be useful. Let's just boost it. Why not? Yeah, I think I'm just going to go north. So I'm going to take my crack soldiers and we're just going to go up to Salmi, I guess. Salami, Salmi. And I'll take all of this with me as well. Can we add... Can we add? Oh, we can add. Nice. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, I mean, just another unit of militiamen. Maybe we just add skirmishes to it. The skirmishes have decent stats. Obviously, there's less of them. Give them some better rifles. Yeah, do it. Let's do it. We'll leave. Yeah, we'll leave these guys here. And I'll take everything here. And we'll, we'll push up here. Nice. Okay, so we have now... It's Salem, 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 Salem. Okay, cool, Salem. Got it. Got down Americans and your weird names. Why can't you just name things after English towns? You know, like Middlesbrough, Leicester, and Portsmouth. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, you can now develop an advanced intelligence service that will allow you to collect valuable information about our enemies and their movements. And we've also got the diplomacy tab. Oh, the game just keeps on giving, eh? The game just keeps on giving. So we have, obviously, us. The French, the Spanish, the British. The Native Americans as well. What do... So can we do anything with them? Doesn't feel like there's anything I can click. So right now, the British are winning the war. <laughs> uh. So what does this do? We can trade. Oh, does that open up our market now, maybe? Like, does this now get... Middlesbrough. Well, Middlesbrough is a perfect name. It's the middle of the borough. <laughs> yeah let's take our good army and we're gonna push north i think because we just can't take this this is too many too many soldiers i don't think you guys just come back and join the garrison again craft a peace treaty yeah we might have to oh they're pushing they're pushing out okay cool this is good this is good okay back we go back we go um, so yeah, you guys join the garrison. God, the British are coming! The British are coming! I need to get down there ASAP. We can maybe engage them in like two different ways now. Problem is our army's gonna be exhausted after marching. Okay, now, are you guys getting in the garrison? Yeah, join the garrison. 
And then we've got all of this coming as well. So if we could like engage like this part of the army separately, that would be huge. Divide and conquer, baby. This is where we hold them, push in. No, it's fucking everybody, isn't it? And for some reason, their regiments are immediately in the battle and mine aren't. That's annoying. Like, why? Everybody's here. I guess this Providence is just out, but that's just in. I mean, we'll fall back a little bit, try and bait them in, I guess. I am the balance of power bar is in my favor, though, as well. They're retreating, they're retreating. Okay, keep up, keep up, keep up pressure. Come on, let, let's, we actually managed to break them. Okay, good. Can we engage them here? Oh, come on. Regiments, hurry up, get there. Engage, engage, engage. This would be such a good battle. No. Okay, we need to come down then. That is still a lot of men. We push out now? Because that's what... Bunch more men. Yeah, I think now we engage. I think now we bring out the boys. Because that's only 2,700. If I'll supply wagon there as well. Um, do we have any more officers? Like, did that officer respawn or not? No. Oh, that's so unfortunate, man. Oh, we have counterintelligence now as well. Good. Uh, let's get this guy. And he can start doing projects as well. God, I love that every single department has its own tech tree. Uh, yeah, we just continue on our army innovation. I mean, the extra copper actually is probably a good idea. Oh, that's over here, though. No, we don't do that yet. Yeah, once again, we just don't have the, the manpower because they're just going to reform and... Fuck it, some men from Boston are coming down as well. Like, we'll, we'll try and drag them out. I don't want to fight their entire army, but... Yeah, they're just going to fall back. I will stand here and see if we can drag them out. Can you play as a Briton? No, you're going to be able to when the, when the game goes to early access, I would imagine. But right now, no. But they are planned. And they'll be very different in their play style as well, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, I mean, let's try and drag them out into like a prolonged engagement. We need officers. 100% of the people recruits want to join you. But yeah, we just don't have any men to lead them. Oh, so sad. We would have had an entire another unit. How big is that ship? That's a 104 gun ship. I guess we just go back again and like resupply like the units that are a bit wounded. We are losing men to like disease and stuff whilst we're out here as well. Let's try and entice them forward a little bit. Our unit is resupplying as well, which is good. And if we were to engage, it just drags everybody in. Because these say they're reinforcements, but I imagine they come in, like, immediately. But I feel like we are winning this war of attrition, no? Like, I feel like we are winning this war of attrition. Like, a lot of these British regiments are not full strength at all. I think, again, the British must be struggling with supplies. Okay, I think we engage this, then. Again, it's just because our men suck, basically. But we do have... Oh, we don't have enough cannon. Again, because that officer despawned. Fuck. Um, so let's maybe try and feint a little bit of a retreat. If I can get these guys to, like, retreat that a little bit slower, that'd be great. Or are they just going to accept that? I mean, it says reinforcements. I just assume they come in, like, immediately. 
I think we go for it again, honestly. I think we just go for it again. Because I think we resupply our army way quicker than they do. Problem is they start off with really fresh regiments is the problem. Victory favors a bot. What do you guys think? Do you think we go for this? We are we are bleeding money as well. We're out of money. <laughs> we can't pay the troops. Yeah, I think we do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. If we lose, we lose. And and now that we found out last episode, that oh, sorry, the last battle. Oh, come on. They start off with both positions as well. Oh, that's a, I mean, we are attacking them, I guess. Okay. Oh, it's nighttime and it's raining. Okay, so this is where we have to go. The British Army is starting here. Okay, so... And it's annoying as well that I can't move these around. So we have... These are our best units right here. So who... Oh, we also have people with proper rifles as well. So you have Spanishes and that's it. We have one unit. One unit with a good rifle. They're our best unit, though. They have the, the firing course. So I guess our goal is to, to take this forest line. Because our point is here, right? So we have no real advantage. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's do this then. So, I mean, we have to... We're going to push up these guys first. We need to take this forest. You guys are a good guy. You guys are like a good soldiers. Again, remind, remember as well that they don't have all their soldiers right away. You guys act up and obviously conquer that. This is our good regiment, so you guys should probably sit in the center as well. And then we have these guys. And we also have, we have an entire regiment turning up afterwards as well. If only that unit didn't, that general didn't despawn and we would have had an entire extra stuff. An entire extra thing. Oh, this guy can... Oh, I can level up as well. Nice. Didn't see that. Oh, my unit is a proper unit as well. I have a Dragoon. I have Carbines. Okay, well, give me liberty or give me death in this battle. Because I'll be charging in, I guess. Uh, can you only play as the Americans? Yeah, in this current build, you can only play as the Americans. However, you are going to be able to play as the British when the game comes into early access and Steam. Okay, secure the farm. Oh, the British, the British are going to beat me there. They really are. We don't have line of sight right now, right? Yeah, we don't have line of sight. So just, just stay there. Stay limbered. Stay with the guns. The British are literally going to beat me to the forest, which is really unfortunate. Kind of need these riflemen up here as well. Come on. Okay, there they are. Uh, kind of. They're going to kind of beat me to the forest. Okay, that's fine. I mean, yeah, you guys come in here. Perfect. That's really good. Cannons are set up. Okay, are we in? We're not in the forest. You guys need to push up a little bit. You guys are in the forest. Yep, and you guys are as well. Cool. Hold now. Hold the line. You guys turn and hold. You guys are in the forest now. Perfect. We have this extra guys. Cannon is firing. Good. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh my lord. Did you just see that? I guess it was grape shot or something. Are they going to get back up? Oh, they are going to get back up. That's doing... Okay, cannons are OP. Cannons cannons are OP. That's just done more damage than like six volleys of my guns. And it's not even a joke. I mean, it was in the flank as well. Yeah, I mean, you're right, Z. It was in the flank. Makes sense. Can you still move units and drag them? Yeah, so you, what you can do is you can go... Uh, this one's a little bit finicky. I've like messed this up, but you can go, oh, I want you to do all of this. And they'll obviously follow that path. Or you can just do that and they'll they'll go to it like, you know, like that. Or you can go with the division and do that. God, who even are you? I probably just moved a unit. Yeah, fuck. I just moved a unit. I did not want to move. Uh, yeah, just hold. You guys are turning, which is fine. And then you guys hold. Cool. And our good units, are you guys in cover? Oh, sorry. I was literally... I should have named the units before. My bad. I should have named the regiments before we fought this battle. I do apologize. After after this battle, we'll name them. So maybe think of some cool names for proper units. And this is the unit with the good rifles. 
Okay, so you guys need to get up like that. And you guys get in like that, I guess. And then we hold. We have reserve lines, which we really need to utilize. So what we're going to do is we're going to send... Who are you? You are Johnson. So yeah, these are the good units. You guys are going to basically fill in this gap. And our entire sent line is going to be proper infantrymen. Which means that you guys probably should start pushing a flank. Or we just leave reserves. Like, I think having reserves is really important. God damn, that cannon was brutal, man. Again, they're in the forest there. So what we are going to do is we are going to take Morris's though. And we're going to bring Morris's like here. And they'll start putting pressure on this forest. Okay, you guys should all be set up now. Hold. Hold. And you guys are already holding. Because we, we are in the forest. So we have at least that cover. Oh, as in deploy units? No. So the battle does just start. And I think it's tied. I, I think it's tied to where they are on the campaign map. So wherever your units are on the campaign map in your armies is where they're going to spawn in. In the battle is what I assume is, is happening. That what the hell was my unit doing? Idiots. Okay, so you guys can move up a little bit. They got some skirmishes as well. Look at that. Some British skirmishers. That's cool. Uh, hit this. Oh my god. The main British army is on the way now. This unit's taking a pounding. Okay, I mean, we've taken the forest. We've taken it. Push into it. Oh, we've kind of taken it. And we have, what, three regiments, five firing here. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is... Oh, they pushed us here. But these are these are soldiers. These are proper soldiers. So we should be okay. And we're like, we're breaking them on this flank as well. So it seems like they're pushing pretty much their entire army down the center. If we can break this flank, then we can maybe send... Again, these are our good soldiers. But maybe we start sending... Who's this? This is Cutlass. Okay, cool. We're going to bring back the rest of... Wilcox's as well, right? Yeah, Wilcox's is two units. So let's bring Wilcox back. Let's take the whole of Johnson and we'll bring Johnson basically into the forest. And again, these are our good soldiers. Remember, the brown coats are our good soldiers. And then we're going to take all of Cutlers and we're going to bring Cutlers around here as well. I do kind of like having some men in reserve though. Yeah, no. Actually, Cutlers is going to stay. Cutlass is gonna stay, and then we're gonna we're gonna send Wilcoxes because these are only two units. We're gonna send Wilcoxes around the flank. I think that's our plan. We need if we can break the British out of here again. Their skirmishes are gonna be hurting. Crack shots probably, but I, I need to take this forest. I think they're charging me again, but again they're charging like proper soldiers, so I'm not too worried. Oh, okay, I am worried. I am very worried. Fuck me, the British charging man is just unstoppable. And now we're going to get shot in like the side as well. Oh, they just charged me. They literally are just charging. That was a good side volley, but is it enough? Uh, okay, Fish needs to get over here as well. We probably just friendly, friendly fired the crap out of my own units there as well. Okay, I mean, we are friendly firing here as well. Bru I mean, at least we got infantrymen and not crappy soldiers. Because if they charge my militia... I think it would be over. I think it would be so over. Oh, man. I really want to get into this forest. I'm going to push it. This is so risky of me. Is it worth it? I mean, this is what the British are, are famous for, though, right? Like, this is what the British were known for in the war. It was just marching towards the enemy and then just using their discipline to break them. Um, and we were bringing over... Yeah, I mean, I wanted Wilcox to kind of rest a little bit, but that ain't going to happen. Okay, you guys can push up a little bit more now as well. Really cement yourself in the forest. We need to make sure... We're... And this is, I guess, why... Fucking flanking, man. I have to turn to deal with these guys, but... 
Then they just, like, again, that should be fine. We break the British back. But again, every charge that they do really does exhaust the, uh, the soldiers. Luckily, again, it seems like the, the, the AI has a bit of uh, trouble at the moment as well. Oh, we have reinforcements as well. Fuck. Yeah, they, the nice thing is as well, your reinforcements are actually walking on as well. So these are fresh soldiers. Good. You guys are sorely needed like here. And we also have our supply wagons as well. I mean, I think so far, like, again, it helps that a lot of the British cannon is, is messing up there. We take those. Everybody lock in here as well. Does holding make me more vulnerable to melee? First rank will kneel and the unit will remain in current formation facing Irrevis. Rear attacks or morale becomes critically low. Okay. Containment in the U? Yeah, we're trying. But yeah, that charge was just so brutal. Like these units are exhausted. Okay. I think it's time to commit my reserves to the center. These are fresh. So I think you guys go in here now. Get out. It's, it's this guy's regiment, right? It's, yeah, he's dead now. It's Edison's, I think. Burns and, yeah. So now's not a bad idea to try and combine some units together. These are the guys with the good guns as well. Yeah, these are the guys we want to basically constantly be shooting. God, they're just committing more men here. Okay, we have taken the forest, though. We have taken the forest. Okay, I'm going to rest here. I kind of almost don't... Oh, I can't even fire. I almost don't want to move up because I feel like as soon as I move up in this forest, this entire blob of 1,000, 2,000 men are going to immediately turn on me. And I'd rather give my soldiers some time to rest because they are currently exhausted. So I want these guys to basically just regain some energy. Are they just charging me again? Oh, my lord. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, you come around. You are fresh. I mean, Baldwin is slightly fresh. I mean, in you go, Baldwin. Charge, run. Okay, so these guys can't combine. What if I do that? Yeah, maybe it's a good idea to combine a few of these guys together. Yeah, I mean, this is obviously just a bug, and as soon as you kind of do some stuff, they do sort sort it out, and they, they get scary. I mean, right now... Oh, a cannon shot ran through them. Please get a volley off, because you're just militiamen. Fire. Ah, oh, come on. We did get a cannon fire off, though, which is nice. Okay, rest of the cannon fire hit that. They routed, but not even shooting. Okay, we, we did manage to break them. Good. I guess take, take up residence. I know you're tired, but what can men do? You get around there. You're coming up. Now, re reinforcements have now arrived. Perfect. They can re re reinforce the center. And we're breaking them. We are breaking them. Okay, I mean, you guys, you're, you're tired enough, obviously. Your job is to resupply that, whilst you guys just literally hold the line again. You guys hold up there. We're going to combine these two units together. I think this is a really cool feature, how you can combine units together. God, there's more British coming. What can men do? And everybody else, just try your best to, like, resupply. You guys are looking pretty good, actually. Yeah, I mean, rest of Cutlers, just resupply. Like, re, again, you are my reserves. We're going to probably bring our reserves over here now. I mean, you guys are just here all to get your energy back. You're actually looking pretty good. Okay, we can actually start pushing with this unit. Fuck me. Look how many men they have. And they just broke me here. I mean, luckily we were bringing over our reserves anyway. Oh my God, the British, they're just too much. And we just have no morale. I mean, I guess we try and come over here as well, maybe. I'm like over here right now. You guys are okay. Don't know why you guys are so like close to the line, but it is what it is. We've been completely routed. So just fall back. Fall back from here. We've been overrun. We have some soldiers who are back, but yeah, just try and re reconsolidate. We actually have some fresh units, I guess. Some wagons as well. I don't think the wagons are really that needed. 
Who are you part of as well? You're part of Wilcox's. Where's the rest of Wilcox's? Are you what's left of Wilcox's? No. We have that as well. Okay, cool. I mean, I am back over here to help out where they're charging. That's basically all we need is just, like, my soldiers wherever they're charging. Okay, I mean, you guys can probably just join up again. Yeah, you guys join up again. Let's start Let's start combining our, our units together, you know? Okay, our good riflemen now have energy. Maybe push over here and start taking out some of their cannon. I'm just a bit scared of this line here. Cannon is low on ammunition, so let's give a cart over there. And you guys are fresh. You guys have now combined, which is good. I mean, you're exhausted, but you have now combined. I, mean, I guess you pull back as well for now. Are you guys fresh yet? No, still need some time. I'm going to bring these guys in as my reserves because this is about to break for sure. Can we fall back here and kind of like mess them up a little bit? Uh, yeah, let's put, I mean, we've taken one of the capture points. Can we just, like, cheese this or not? No, the AI is immediately reacting. Oh, yeah, you guys have to come down here then and help out. I mean, you guys should be able to shoot them in the flank, no? You guys are low on ammo. Kind of committed them a bit too early. Uh, just charge that. Charge that cannon. And don't get cannons to shotted. <laughs> Uh, and then this supply wagon, I guess, can come over here. Oh, my God. This is this, this the British charging. Yeah, I mean, I'm very lucky the AI bunched up, but now they're not. <laughs> but now they're not. You guys are shooting them. And, I mean, yeah, again, the, the enemy army is so good. Oh, we've got some more men back here. Everyone must serve. I think the British Army is now separated. We have one line of reserves now. And these these are fresh. These are fresh men. They have a lot of ammunition. And then we have to bring them over to this left-hand side. Because you're part of... You're still part of Wilcox's, which is here as well. Yeah, so I think you guys... You guys hold here. Like so. We've charged that cannon, which is good. Where's the other capture point? All the way back here. I mean, hold here, I guess. Draw some sort of... They have no ammo, which is the problem. Yeah, this is these, these charges. Yeah, this is for British charges. They're going to overrun my cannon soon. Um, retreat these guys, maybe? I mean, try and fight. I think they're just charging me here as well. We need to reserve. We need more men over here ASAP. You guys are trying to go over here. This could be another battle where we just fall back again. Full retreat. Yeah, I don't want to lose my cannons. Do you guys think? Oh, we're so, I feel like we're so close to breaking them. Because look, like 32, 24, 37, 30, 28, 26, 27, 78. Like we're so close to breaking them here. Like we are, we're like, we're like, oh, we're so close. Like, oh my, again, a lot of my men are shit. They're just Minutemen. So they're awful. They're not proper infantry or the militia. But we're like, oh, we're just like... We're so close to breaking them. Like, there's not a single unit above 100 here besides this one here. Yeah, I think we do. So let's, I guess, full on retreat. It is kind of, I guess, a bit silly as well how, like, there isn't really many consequences for just leaving the battle whenever. Like, I feel like that's something, again, that they should try and implement. Like, there should be, like, a, oh, you've retreated. You take more casualties for, like, getting off. And because, like, boom, we're just back here right away. Again. 
So we just do the same thing again, I guess. I think we rush back to there. Unless they want to pursue me, then that's different. Then we can engage them again. They might as well. They might. So we just got some more ammunition. Uh, we need to change our uh, pay as well. We can't afford to pay the boys. I'm so sorry. Because we are losing money. I did give us a lot of money there as well. Oh, another officer. Okay, I mean, we have to do that. And then we probably also have to raise funds as well immediately. I'm going to spend the money to do that. And then we're going to then immediately raise funds and probably spend the prestige on that as well. But I think we can break that. Like, their army, like, they, I, I can't imagine Middlesbrough is going to resupply as much. And if we can just get, if we had, like, one more fresh regiment, I think we'd be okay. Um, I should also probably sell, we don't even have that many m rifles now. Either. Well, we sell these for sure. I didn't mean to buy them. If they push, I'm fine with that as well. Can you guys make it back to Leicester, please? Um, yeah, so did we get that? Did the day pass? Day hasn't passed yet. It was fine. Oh, yeah, we should also stop some of these buildings as well because we're obviously just not building them in time because it's like one at a time, right? Nice. So that's all built, which is good. And um, that's going to be built soon again, which is good. God, Burns is down to like nothing now. Holy. Yeah, I mean, these recruits are going to be going down a lot. Uh, musket production. Nice. We managed to complete that or not? No, it wants me to do it again. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, whilst we're waiting, let's let's push fish up and let's just take a look. Provenance should be fine. I doubt they're going to push me immediately. I did just immediately see an order, though. I am interested. So we only have 700 men at Salem. Salem. So maybe that is our goal. The reason as well I'm sending these guys over here is so that we can use the recruitment pool from different cities. I want to break them at Middlesbrough though. I feel like we're so close. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh, we don't have enough prestige now either. <laughs> okay, uh, so we must have enough men now. Do we have an officer? Okay, remember, if you leave this screen, it is going to crash. So let's avoid doing that. So let's add militiamen. Militiamen. Cannon. Some skirmishers. And create. Okay, good. Good, good, good. And then you guys also join as well. Okay, I think with this army, we should be able to outsupply them. Like, we should be able to resupply our soldiers faster. Um, yeah, we'll keep on the loyalty, I think. Connecticut. Uh, no. I don't know what furs are, but I think we need them. Um... Oh, no. Okay, here they come. The British, the British are launching a full-out assault. It could be over, boys. It could be Jova. Oh, my God. They even have cavalry as well. Join the garrison quickly before they attack me. Okay, here we go. Okay, this regiment is very close to being able to leave. I mean, this is it, right? Okay, I surrender. Cav is so strong. Yeah, I saw in the battle they did that Cav was really bad. Okay, cool. Let's. Can I name units? Um, okay, give me some names. This will be our last stand. The British were just like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Time to end this. But, and the fun thing is, though, like, okay, we lost, but we learned so much. I think next time I'd be able to do this way more. I would obviously have built my units better. I would have bought b better weapons early and obviously not messed up. I would have known the buildings to, to build and I, I think we could have taken Middlesbrough. We were we were we were so close close to taking Middlesbrough in that first but we did take it, they just counterattacked. Okay, cool. So let's start from the left. So this is the second this is our best unit. This is hands down our best unit. Um 
So let's uh, let's name this one. Kurt Hook says Republican God. I don't know how I don't know how long I can make these, so we'll just see. Republican God. Okay, that's our best. Um, then we have this. Wait, yeah. Then we have so it's a Republican Guard led by Edison. Then we have this one, which is uh, let's see, the Fall on Hope. I like that. Fall on Hope without an R. Fall on. Um. Oh, we got some other names. 69 cheeseburgers, sure. The, six, the 69. Oh. Oh, the 69th it should be, I guess. The 69th. And this will be this will be our biggest battle. If we win this, then we probably throw the British back. Oh, that's as long as it can be, unfortunately. Um, the eleventh American foot. Let's do that. Uh, we have one more. We have one more regiment of the Little Caesar Legion. A proud American. They will hold Providence. <laughs> oh, we can't do that. So we'll just do Little Caesar LG. Okay, I mean, this is the best time to attack, right? Because it's just these. It's just this. And this is decent odds as well. Like, the cavalry is going to be insane. But we're defending. We're defending a village. We're garrison. That should give us something. Let's do it. All or nothing, baby. All or nothing. And if we break this, we still have to deal, of course, with the British arm, the other north forces in the north. This is such a bad positioning. I mean, we have the forest line, actually. Is, these three, I mean, is this cavalry just going to charge me and it's going to be over? Okay. So, we have the forest, which is good. I'm so scared of that cavalry. And are they just going to go and conquer this? It also seems like you can't, like, garrison any of this stuff as well, which is a bit annoying. Could in the first one. So, yeah. So. And everybody's just under one general as well, it seems like. Funniest kid, apparently. Everybody's just under him. Do we have what? So these are our best units, Kate. And we actually have some of the good rifles here as well, okay. So we hold the forest. So do I take, like, my best? I'm just really scared of that cavalry. But I think our best has to go here. Like, this is the line we hold here. Because the, the main, we saw the main British army is coming from here. Yeah, the main British army is coming from there. And then I guess our second best, which is this, takes the forest line here. You then take... God, these are such small brigades, regiments, whatever you want to call them. You guys push up here and I guess conquer that. You guys make your way over here. Oh, we can join these guys. Okay, we actually, we actually join a few of our smaller, uh, smaller companies together. That's actually... It's such a cool feature. I like that so much. Okay, let's just get everyone in, in position. Obviously, the, the supply wagons come come back. I'm a general. Where? Why am I all the way back here? I'm coming, guys. <laughs> yeah, where's Mel Gibson when you need him, okay? I mean, I'm hoping if we're just like in the forest, that cavalry is going to get wrecked. We have enough ammunition to last us for days as well. Okay. It's another fresh regiment. Or company, sorry. Of course, obviously, I need to take this. I'm, I'm sending quite a few just because I'm a little bit scared of their cavalry.
Yeah, they can't. I mean, smart by the AI, right? They push their cavalry up to take the capture point. Surely two will be enough to conquer it, though. You guys just kind of come in here. I wonder what these guys are. Like, if they're like heavy cavalry or what. Okay, the supply wagons are back. You kind of come in reserve on that left flank. You, I guess, get more in the forest. Taking the point now, but if I have to, like, deploy this many units to, like, hold this cavalry, I'm a little bit scared, you know? I need every man, woman, and child. This is some really dense forest here as well. Supply wagons are fine. The thing is, though, also, I don't want to just leave, like, one unit here. Because, look, their cavalry is circling. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit scared. Okay, you guys actually aren't in that forest again. I, I feel like there should be, like, a little icon on the tooltip to show that you're, like, in cover. And, like, I think ultimate, um, ultimate battle... What is it called? Not ultimate general, that's this game. Um... The uh, General Tactician, Ultimate Tactician, General Tactician, American Civil War. They have a little icon to show you how good of a cover it should be. And, like, just a little, like, kind of, like, fence or something that's, like, red if it's bad cover, but you're in cover, and so on and so on. And, like, yellow if it's okay cover. Grand Tactician, yeah. Okay, they are pushing this left flank, which is fine. I guess we're going to turn a little bit more. That cannon is going to hurt so much. Go over here as well. Yeah, I mean, that cavalry is seeming very reluctant to, like, fight me. I'm fine with... Question is, do we start to send these guys round? Yeah, because, like, as you can see, like, you already have this eye to show you that you're hidden. Like, it'd just be cool to kind of have it. Or, like, have something that's toggleable as well. Man, I wish I had any cavalry to go after that artillery. I imagine the AI isn't very good. One thing to keep in mind, though, it looks pretty scary here. But look at these divisions. Like, look at these companies. 80 men, 60, 24, 24, 94. And they're all marching, so their conditioning will be going down as well. They are kind of marching, like, towards us here, though. I guess we'll, we'll kind of push up into this forest a bit. I'm going to make sure I'm over here, actually, I think. Turn a little bit. Like a lot of these uh, companies have, are they charging? Or are they just engaging? Okay. Please be able to fight them off. Please be able to fight. Fire! Oh my god, they couldn't even fire. Can you guys, I don't care if you friendly fire. I need that cavalry gone. Get over here to boost me. Oh my god, and they immediately charge me. I mean, it's not bad by the AI. The AI is doing some smart stuff. Okay, the main line is engaging. I think I'm going to have to send these reserves over. Or at least one of these reserves over. Um, really? Can you, like... Because the thing is, as well, the quicker we, like, commit to a flank and deal with it, the quicker we can break these small units. Just shoot them. Form square, goddammit! <laughs> I'm just going to come in my back here. That cavalry is going to like solo win the battle, I feel like. They're literally chasing down my units as well. Fuck. I mean, 2v1 this one. Like, I just can't do anything about it, right? Like, you have to turn and face that. Get my general out of there. Let's just bring my general back. Screw it. We lose a victory point. We lose a victory point. It's fine. For now, I'd rather win this melee. Okay, yeah, 
Okay, you guys have to come into that forest now. Like, keep in mind that we... Oh, God. Ah. Keep in mind. We have good cover. They are out in the open. We have 63% cover. They're going to run down that unit. It is what it is. I can't stop it right now. This is what we have to focus down. <laughs> I haven't researched square yet, apparently, no. If one more spare unit, I mean, they're really pushing that left flank. I, I love the fog of war. Like, I now just don't know where this unit is. It's so nice. Wherever unit, the one unit with good rifles are here. God, vultures, man. Make sure my generals here, they are charging me. This unit's taking so many casualties. No, you have to fire there, right? God, they even broke me there. That was proper infantry as well. I mean, we broke one of them. Just shoot them if you can. Don't don't get engaged in melee. Can I, like... I, if they charge me, can I just fall back and that's, like, a good way to deal with it, maybe? I think so. Okay, you guys need to turn. You guys need to turn. That gallery is coming. Then they just said, can we just, like, fall back and that, like, messes them up a little bit? They charge me here as well. God. Yeah, <laughs> what can men do, right? Like, like, yeah, like 30 men can break me because their rifles are just so much better. I can't, yeah, I can't reach, it's going to rip up my flank. Don't think there's anything we can do. Rip, the, rip the revolution is over. George Washington is dead. Like, do we counter charge maybe? Like, can we counter charge? Does that, like, make it more effective maybe? It's good to test this out. I mean, I feel like counter charging. Yeah, we're doing way better on that counter charge. Okay, it seems like counter charging is where it's at. But you like. I mean, it's over, Anakin. So, uh, what do you guys want to do? I mean, I'm down to keep on streaming. We have tons of people watching. So, do we just speed run the beginning part of the game? We skip. We just so we start again. We we speed speed run the beginning part of the game. Um, we we just don't bother with the Battle of Lexington or Con Concord, and we just yeah, we we take everything we've learned. We take everything we've learned, and we just let it sort stuff out. The chat still wants a naval battle. Um, yeah, okay. I can show a naval battle as well. So let's just give this up. I can just move my ship out so you guys can see how it works. How about that? We do that? Oh, also as well, I got a mystery package from, I think, from Frontier. I can open that op up as well if you guys are interested to see what it is. Um, yeah. I, I think if the British didn't sally out, we would have had them on the next run. Um, where's our ship? We have it here, right? It's here. Yeah, no. There you go. Let's just we can just sail out. There's a there's a there's a, oh there's only a twelve gun ship there. Can we engage that? Uh, but yeah, I have this big old package um, from. I have this big old package from Frontier. Don't know what it is. It says fragile on it. Can I open that up if you guys are interested? Oh, we got a naval battle. Yeah, so naval battle is the same, um, the same as, as normal. Well, God, our army is lost. I have been captured. <laughs> it's over, Anakin. Um, yeah, sorry. 
It's, uh, yeah, Providence has been captured. Uh, cool, yeah, so naval battles work very similarly um, to they do in Asia Sail. Coffee, look at my ships as well. You just click battle, you jump into a battle. I'm just to show this off. Uh, so yeah, same as same. Here you go, your ship. Oh my god, look at it. <laughs> Again, I, I do, I mean, I understand why it is like this. Like, it's to represent, like, you're going from the campaign map to the battle map immediately. So that's why you don't get any deployment. I feel like there should be some sort of deployment, though, you know? Um, so, yeah, this is just, like, Age of Sail, basically, with some improvements. So you have, like, your compass for the wind. Uh, you can give over ships to the AI. You obviously have the, the level of mask. I think this is, like, formation. Uh, this is matching speed. So, cool, if you have two very different speeds of ships you can basically slow down and shoot them which is really nice the default kind of like grape shot normal shot sail shot your uh oh that's really cool as well i like that so you actually have so you have a set amount of crew on the ship that's really cool so you have a set amount of crew on a ship and each of them take up tasks. So if you send soldiers to board an enemy ship, that's going to take some of your sailors, which might reduce the amount of people you have on sailing or the amount you have on gunnery. You can also add as well extra bonuses to ships as well, which is kind of cool. But yeah, just like that. You can see that obviously I see that's like the morale, the reds like the, the broadside and the um, the other side. What is it? Starboard? Star starboard? Starboard? Fucking hell as well. Look at the British ship as well. That is a big boy. That's what, like 72 guns? 36 on either side? It's a little bit choppy, though. I will say that. Like, the frame rate is a little bit jumpy. Look at that. Again, you know, pre early access and all. But still, yeah. Uh, the performance in this is a little bit. Consider Again, keep in mind, I've got a 4090. Can we go up to, like, full sail as well? Yeah, we need to be fast. There we go. Yeah, you can see it's, like, down here as well. Yeah, naval battles seem like they need some optimization. I want to just take a broadside from uh, from the, from the ship, the HMS uh, Levert. Did you guys know that Master and Commander, the, um, probably one of the greatest historical films of all time, did you know that the original story is actually about uh, an American ship during... The, the war of the revolution during the american revolution but it was changed in the script because obviously the main target is the american um is the american audience and they of course don't want to do a do a movie for america where they're the you know they're the bad guys um yeah i mean again Land battles have been perfectly fine performance-wise. Naval battles seem like they need some optimization for sure. Come on, I want to take a broadside and then we can start again. Now I'll speed run it through. Oh, maybe... Actually, maybe it was because I was on double speed? No, it wasn't because I was on double speed. It's still a bit... Yeah. Still needs optimization. It still needs some work. <laughs> Just don't know what that ship's up to as well. Oh my god. Yeah, we lost we lost them. We basically lost like a half our gun. No, we only lost one. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, we're doing good. Give them hell. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Main menu, let's go. Uh cool campaign, let's go again. Try and board, that would not work well. Okay, here we go again, boys. Um of course we will be the true revolutionary. I'm going to make this joke every time I fail. The true savior of America. The founding father, Jackie Fish. As the eldest child, we can just I skip through it, though. We don't need to. Um, so, again, we're going to... Yeah, perception, willpower, I think, was good. Command aura, I think, is way better. I think command aura. Though spotting range is actually pretty decent. Being able to command that way is actually really good now that we've done it. Speed is whatever, but yeah, we'll I do that. My adolescence studying and managing the family. My mentor. Um. 
Yeah, I'm constantly worried. I'm depressed, just like real life. Willpower, stamina, firearms. Let's do shooting training. Let's make our. Let's see if we can actually like exchange. Because I was so close to breaking the British a lot of the time. If I could have maybe got a couple more volleys off, then we could maybe have done some stuff. Reputation is actually pretty nice as well. The extra 10 grand though is huge. You can buy guns right away. Let's take the, the 10 grand is very nice. Uh, we can take an extra warship. Well, this is no point. We'll take the militia unit. Yeah. Tension in the near. Cool. Normal difficulty. Now we get to change our picture though. To the goat. That's why we failed last time. We didn't have the goat. Let's do it. What do you think of the game so far? Yeah, it's really good. It's it's not it's not worth if you're looking for a game to play right now. It's not worth the fifty dollars. It just isn't. The game has it needs way more work to it. There's you know obviously lots of stuff that still needs to be implemented, improved, developed. Um, still yet. But if you want to support a game that is on such a good path, and unless they completely fuck up the development, which I think is unlikely. Because the game is already in a very good spot. I think it's going to be very, very good. Um, and it has a lot of potential. Especially with the grand campaign map. The British, I think, will be very interesting. They ever decide to implement um, a multiplayer system. That would be incredible. There's a lot for sure. Okay, cool. Let's go. So let's push up. I, I think again... Willpower... So what does willpower do again? What is willpower again? So willpower is... Morale regeneration. Ooh, boost unit morale. Stammer and effect. I think we actually gotta try discipline training this time. Cause yeah, I didn't really I didn't really see that last time. That's just morale. And that's our biggest problem. Especially on these are these actual these are actual units though, right? Yeah, these are our actual units. Uh right can't see yet. I think these are actual, yeah, they're brown coats, right? So they're actual proper infantry. So maybe, maybe endurance is actually way better. Because they're not normally the ones to break. Ah, but just morale is everything. It really is. Okay, let's go. Um, so we immediately make our, oh, we also have this unit at half. It's as well. We can bring up immediately. Oh yeah, okay, cool. And these guys leveled up as well. Boom. So these aren't they are a little bit wounded, though. I might leave them back here. And we can also... We can't do any building yet. No, that's fine. Okay. So we just want to basically rush here. Can't recruit anything. Yeah, you guys push out here as well. Let's give it another go. I think this time we're going to do a little bit better. We just have army management right now. That's all. Okay. Yeah, we need better guns. So rushing. I'm going to spend all my prestige right away. Dealing with other stuff. Like to dealing with the other stuff. Um, so do we just not bother fighting this right? I feel like we just don't bother. Because it's a very long battle. And it, we only get 10 prestige. And we don't gain any battle loot from it. So that's fine. We'll just skip it. We've done it enough times. Push in there. You guys are obviously coming along here. We just engage. Wait until everybody's in range. Oh, you guys are already engaging down. That's probably a bad maneuver. Well, maybe not. Cool. Well, let's engage this one. This is a nice, easy battle. We should be able to crush them very effectively. It does seem as well like me not being able to engage last time was just a bug. Um. So... They might honestly just retreat because we do outnumber them pretty heavily. Um, don't know why it spawns me like this as well. Cool, let's push on the farm. This is like our good units as well. <laughs> I mean, these are proper British units as well, yeah. So I think one thing as well the game does need is them little defensive points. Like being behind like these, these stone walls and fences should give you some cover. Yeah, they do just decide to route. Take it. 
Like, that's a little bit annoying, right? Because it's like, why make me go into the battle if the AI is just going to immediately route from it? But then again, it is also like, eh, I, get it. I guess they kind of saw my forces and decided that we'll fight another day and strategically retreated. I don't know. Okay, let's immediately push into that. You guys are already engaging with Newport, which is fine. Oh, no, they're not. Okay, can we just engage them again? Okay, the nice thing is as well, that these guys retreated back to... Uh, we can get some good volleys off. Good, good, good. And we come down to Newport immediately. I'm actually going to not bother taking Providence quite yet. Um... Oh no! Not fighting the Battle of Concord is going to mess us up in the long run. Am I... Am I... Is it, is it Jova now? Have I messed up because we haven't taken this battle? Oh no. Oh, I think we just didn't get as many men maybe. Oh yeah, maybe we push for like... Yeah, maybe we push for like Middlesbrough right away. Actions have consequences. <laughs> when will you learn? Yeah, maybe we do just put... Oh my god. Okay, let's save it. Because maybe that is the play. If we can, like, cement ourselves in Middlesbrough. I also really want to conquer, like, Newport as well. But it's not that important. Okay, you guys go down there and then go there. Because they only have 200 men there, yeah. So I think maybe we take Anthony's and we push in. And then you push in there. We have 20 grand as well in the bank. Nice. Okay, you push up. You guys push in there as well. I'm not going to take provenance. I wonder if we don't... I wonder if a lot of the stuff triggers once you take provenance. Maybe. Okay, cool. We broke that British unit. Drive them into the sea. I mean, these guys are exhausted. They do need to rest. Yeah, just rest. Where are they going? I mean, I understand the British are OP and all, but still. So now we are Commander-in-Chief, so we immediately get this. What do we get first? Probably Engineering. We just immediately buy it. Okay, just rest up. Get some conditioning back. Yeah, I don't know where that British army is going. Taking Newport now, which is good. Um, we have... Can we recruit some more men? No, we're at our limit. That's fine. That's not done yet, so we'll wait until Saturday. You guys need to rest, but you can probably initiate the battle first. Yeah, let's push up. Let's push up. Okay, we're, we're blitzing this, okay? You guys obviously need to rest, which is fine. Uh, it doesn't seem like the battle's initiating again, so let's save it and load again. Let's see if that helps. Uh, yeah, this one. Is this a restart? Yeah, the British sallied out. And we did fight a pretty good last stand, but they had cavalry, and it just killed all my militiamen. Like, we just, they, they just, they fired a volley, they did, like, five damage, and then the cavalry just ripped through them. That's engineering department done as well. Good, good, good. So, that's allowed engineering. So, what do you guys think of me not... What do you guys think of me not... Because these are generals, right? If I do this, I can't then recruit units. So do you think it would be a good idea to maybe not apply these guys here? Like, obviously, we get some. We, like, we do this stuff. But Quartermaster is cheaper. Like, maybe we just do, like, two of them? He can then start on the engineering. Because I do want to grab some rifles. We have so much money. So production, we also want to make sure we complete that mission right. So let's go here and let's build it. Once we do industry right. I mean, I feel like production here would be really useful because of all the resources here. Uh, nice. We captured Newport, so we gain a bit more prestige, which is good. 
We immediately just grab that again. No, infantry are what you need. Get the quartermaster minister only. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I mean, we've already grabbed the chief engineer. We probably didn't need to. Um, but we do get access to, like, the market and stuff, right? So that's, I guess that's why. And then production-wise, we want to start making some muskets. So we start making a cannon. Could we get so many muskets, right? Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just start making them. Oh, it just costs us money as well to make rifles. Interesting. Let's just do that. Ten a day is fine for now. Oh, will the map get bigger? Yeah, uh, the map does get bigger. You do get, I think, a couple... Like, yeah, you can kind of see it here, right? Where it will expand. I think it expands up here. And to the left. Um, and again, I've shown it on camera. I can show it again. This is what the overall map's going to be. This is the plan for the overall map right here. Um, and we're fighting in, like, again, you can see these sections. I think we're fighting, like, here. So, yeah, we're fighting, like, this part of the map there, maybe. That's New York. Here? No, because there's a river here? No. This is, like, down into Virginia and stuff now. Up here? We're fighting here? Yeah, we're fighting here, right? Yeah. This is where we are right now. So, you can see the map is going to be way bigger. And it also does expand in this build as well. I just lost before we got there. <laughs> again, that's what's planned. Who knows if it actually does the spy. Okay. Go engage, boys. I mean, you guys, again, still need to rest, but it's fine. That's still engaging that. Can we, like, initiate a battle here or what? I can just charge them. Can I just join the garrison here? There you go. That'll give them some extra protection. Also resupply them as well. Oh my god. Anthony's actually broke? Are you joking me? Or debate. Oh my god. Anthony's. You trashers. How far back do you retreat? Because we don't own blood. We don't own bloody providence. So. Okay. We got polks, which is good now quartermaster is done which is good okay cool so what we want to do is we want to sign here yeah I and mean, we just keep everybody else are these guys infantrymen or are these like not officers they don't look like officers god damn cows so we have polks as well so let's bring polks down Anthony's is back. Maybe we just do take this. Oh, we also have another... Okay, I mean, everybody, we we, we, we rush. We rush for this. So leave the garrison. Leicester. Come down. Uh, can we raise any more men? We can... Yeah, we can. Cool. Okay, so we're going to need... Yeah, I don't think them guys are generals, honestly. So let's raise double militia. Do we have enough for a cannon? I think we do. Can we just... And then maybe skirmishers as well? We don't have a gun to that. Okay. Yeah, let's just do that then. So there's another division on the way. Okay, Polks is arriving. Again, you guys are... Yeah, so we'll grab that. We have Masons as well. Okay. So already we have like a decent set of forces here. I'm tempted to charge this, you know. Take it. Take it. Because now the British are immediately coming, right? Yeah, and we took it. Good. Okay, okay. So now we have to win this battle here, right? So Anthony's needs to arrive. You guys are fine there. Okay, so if we win this battle, we basically break the British down here in the south. We can then take Middlesbrough. We can take Provenance. And then we've got, like, this stronghold in the south. 
Because the British have another 720 men on their way. Along with, obviously, this. And then, hopefully, then they'll just send, like, probing attacks in Middlesbrough. And we can take Salem. We can take the fourth up here. And we're home by Christmas. I think that seems pretty, pretty decent enough to me. Uh, let's grab the copper, I guess. Oh, it's over here. Let's grab the copper. Why not? You might as well research that. Uh, and then, yeah, you start getting the, wa the wagons as well, please. So we can start producing wagons. Oh, Hartford's is done as well. Nice. Needs a few more cannons, I think, so we can buy some. Um, so we just need to buy, what, like two? That should be enough, I think. And then, ca can we, if there's any rifles? No. No rifles. Oh, there's a bad cavalry. Right, yeah. We could buy, like, a seventh rate. How good is a seventh rate? How many guns does it have? It's a brig, right? So there's only one deck. I kind of like that. You can just, like, buy ships as well. Like, buy them off the Spanish or something. I like that. Trade is impossible due to war. It says it's impossible. Oh, we can't export. Okay, maybe. Maybe that's why. 200% of merchant ships are intercepted by the enemy. So, I wonder... Yeah, I wonder what that actually, like, has gameplay implication-wise. You know, because we have, like... Because we're, like, basically blockaded. Like, how does this affect us, I wonder? <laughs> Can General... B General Big Mac will try. Okay. The problem is that is some scary units, right? Okay, I mean, here we go. Here we go. Um, it's two proper regiments. I mean, a very wounded one against everything I've got, basically. So, what, numbers wise, it's 1100 versus it's 1300. So, we outnumber them. They have cannon, we don't. But this is for Middlesbrough, right? Oh, what I could do is maybe wait for this unit to. No, this unit should just be routing anyway. Maybe we wait a little until this unit keeps on fleeing. Yeah, they have cannon. But cannon's not that difficult to kill. Because you can just, like, the AI does leave it undefended. Um, so, I'm going to let that unit route a little, I think. Boom, outplayed. Get wrecked, AI. Outplayed, outsmarted. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Oh, okay. But what we'll do is before... Uh, before we fight this major battle, um, which is going to really dictate the campaign, uh, I do... Uh, oh, sorry. I do... I have got a new package. I've got a package sent to me. A mystery package. Oh, we're really zoomed in there. How's it going, guys? You see, I'm trying to grow my beard out. It's not going very well. <laughs> uh, cool. Clean up my desk a little. Uh, yeah, we have this really cool package. So let's open it and let's see what the hell it is. Where did I put the scissors? I have scissors. Where did I put the scissors? I don't have scissors. Oh, there. Cool. Uh, we'll do this quickly, though, so no need to worry. We'll get into the battle again soon. I'm just, I'm just interested to see what the hell is in this, because I don't know what it is. It was sent to me by a gaming company, uh, by Frontier, I believe. <laughs> it's got fragile on the box, so that's interesting. And then we'll get right back into the battle. Oh, I've uh, sliced through the previous layer. You guys can't even see me opening it as well. Hold on. Okay, let's open it like here, I guess. But imagine if it was just like... I don't know what it could be. Just have my address plastered on it as well. <laughs> What's in the box? Okay, we just start ripping, boys. I mean, it does say fragile on the box, so... Right, here we go, we're in.
Da -da. So it says realm in a realm of ruin. Okay, let's get this bad boy out and see what it is. Oh, it's like a wooden box. Jeez. It's like proper, proper wood. Get out of here. Okay. This is like a topper. Let's get that bad boy. It's a big old box as well. Jeez. That off. God damn, look at the book. That's a huge ass box. You can hide so much stuff in there. Oh, and it slides? Jesus. Got a letter. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's a glove. Oh my god, it's a proper glove. It's like a proper leather glove. <laughs> By Sigma. Like, tighten it. Sick. That's funny. That's really cool. So this is to do with their new uh, Warhammer Age of Sigma game. This is like a proper, proper, like, welder's glove as well. Like, it's proper material. <laughs> Sigma's power fist. Anything else in there? No. <laughs> cool. I'll read the, uh, the note another time. But let's get stuck into this battle. This is kind of cool as well. Kind of a cool cloth. I'll read the note as well. That's so cool. The box is really cool as well. Cool. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is funny. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should wear it for the battle to beat the British. Don't snap it. <laughs> cool. Nice. Let's get stuck in then. That's funny. Oh my god, we literally start like facing them. Like literally touching. And we have reinforcements that need to get up here. I mean, a lot of our units are tired. Let's get Polk up here. Yeah, and their conditioning starts off really low as well. Let's get Morris up here. Uh, this this is, army is exhausted as well. They'll get 10% conditioning to begin the battle with. Uh, and then what's this? Yeah, this army is actually exhausted as well. I'm actually tempted. I'm going to fall back. Yeah, these guys fall back. Let's actually fall back. There's no point being here. We need to like pull back and regroup. Obviously the forest is where we want to be. You guys are like our freshest units. So you guys can kind of come in here. Obviously we're taking cannon fire. But let's get back. Yeah I think you're right. I think you're right. We fall back. That's really cool though. That's a really cool... That's like really funny. Like this is plastic, but this, like this glove is like a proper glove. <laughs> I thought it was like a shoulder pad at first, you know. Oh, we've got fighting. I think we keep on falling back as well. Yeah, you guys just hold now. I mean, you guys take this forest. Or this light forest here. The thing is, I don't want to, like, engage them in the, in the forest. So I want to bring them out of the forest. But the thing, problem is, as well, oh, God, I need to get up here as well ASAP. So I want my guys to, like, rest, you know? So this is a good side. This is a good amount of guys here. We're doing decent damage to them there as well. We can then hold and then hold. We have our reserve line here again. I'm going to probably leave this reserve line like here and just let them rest. I want these guys. These, again, these guys in brown coats are our good infantry. They have good stats. A lot of, we have basically three rifles focusing down this one unit, you know. That is a way to do it, though, is focus down in a single unit, you know. Yeah, it's a bit annoying, though. It does seem like, like being on this forest line doesn't actually help you in, like, any way. So I should probably bring up another unit here. Again, focusing down units is the name of the game. And they shouldn't be in cover, either. Oh, it doesn't look like they are in cover, maybe. Okay, we've got some scary units coming in there. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, this, this right flank is ultra scary. Wow. Um, but, I mean, again, I want these guys to be at least, like, 40% until we bring them over. But they're going to they're gonna have to come over here. So, let's bring them over. Bring the general over as well. Even though being over here is probably better because these guys' morale isn't great. Maybe we just keep on falling back here. Yeah, I might actually do that. Let's set up these guys who are like our freshest units like here. I'm literally just going to fall back here. I don't want to engage. No, don't run. Get off run. Fall back. No, it's shooting. Can I not fall back? There you go. Literally fall back. This way though, please. I'm probably not getting shot in the back like that. Oh my god. It's like, well, yeah, we've broken that. That's good. We have no more reinforcements though, right? Yeah, no more reinforcements. i just take up residence there. These guys are actually pretty fresh now as well. Okay, good. We've broken one unit. I think we need to keep on putting a lot of pressure on the center unit. Like, we need to make sure that we just try and break these small units. Okay, fresh units have arrived. You guys just hold here now. We'll come back. It'll be fine. Can you guys just rest as well? So here's the question. Do we push the advance? I think we just rest now. Oh, we just shattered another unit. I think that was one of the central units. Perfect. Okay, cool. So this unit, um, keep on firing. Oh, where the hell are you guys going? Idiots. You guys are just running. I'm trying to let these guys get a bit of uh, bit of energy back, you know? If we can break this unit, then that frees up so much of my army. I think these guys have to go. 22% conditioning. That's enough. We need to focus them down. You guys are back up to 60%. Good. Come round now. Maybe go all the way around the flank. Are you guys not engaged? I don't think they are. Oh, and obviously everybody as well should be uh, holding. Gives them way more defense. Okay, good shooting there. Three units focusing down this British unit out in the open. Soon to be a, another one as well. Get all the way around, please. Okay, I'm running out of ammo, though, which is going to be a little bit scary. You guys should be in the flank, please. Like here. Oh, yeah. I mean, we expected that unit to break. Nice. Another unit's been shattered, but it's really good. The central unit is very close to breaking as well. You guys turn and shoot. So, again, the question is always... I mean, we're running out of ammo here as well. The question is, though, like, are we... Are we... So, the question is, like, are we resting now? Are we resting these central units who have now defeated their foes? Or are we pushing the advantage? Because this is all the infantry they have now. We destroyed, we destroyed the smaller units for sure. I feel like we're doing a pretty good job on this flank as well. These, these guys have like barely any ammunition left. So it's almost like, yeah, we just, just let them rest. The AI, the AI is doing a pretty good job though. Like they reformed there. Oh, Selmy has been wounded. That's not good. This is commanding some of my good units as well. Okay, you got 50%. So just push right down the center. You wrap around now, I guess. Middlesbrough will be ours, boys. Nice. Yeah, I mean, flanking, focusing fire is the way to go. You really do rip through British units this way. And these guys are still sitting uh, quite nicely on there. Yeah, these guys are basically fully conditioned. Nice. You guys rest a little, I think. Pretty brutal. Let's make sure we're over there. I 
I mean, don't get me wrong. We are also taking a lot of casualties. English meeting there. This year, their unit is about to route fully. Charge them when you can. I, just, I feel like we just break though, no? Like, I feel like maybe the smaller, maybe that's like something I, I did wrong in the previous one. Is like I didn't charge enough of the smaller units when we got the chance to. Don't know what's happening here, but I guess charge. I not mean to do that. Because yeah, we just like instantly break when we do that. Okay, you fall back though. Is that F? Yeah, you fall back. Let them come in again. That unit's very close to breaking. We're just out of ammo. Basically, in a lot of our units. You just fall back now and survive. Okay, we're about to get some good shots there. Yes, this will bring this unit in, and then these two can take on this. That's two double good volleys. God, we're running so low on ammo, though. Okay, you guys have now finally won. They need a rest, though, for sure. I stand to like 30 men. I mean, at least turn, I guess. You guys at least take cover here as well. You guys need to hold. You guys are already holding good. So I'm at least going to turn these guys a bit. They should have that unit under their control. I'm resting these two big units. Yeah, I mean, it is very difficult. I, I, again, I think the biggest thing is just like the campaign is just a bit too much at the moment on the normal difficulty. Like the, the difficulty at the moment feels like this is like, uh, um, this is like what very hard should be like, you know, this is all like the hardest difficulty should be. And again, like I, I'm, I'm pretty good at strategy games, I would say. So for me to like have this much trouble is, yeah, obviously it's a big deal. Like, I can't imagine the average person. But then again, I guess the average person isn't buying this, you know? Like, they don't know it even exists. Oh, cannon. Oh, God. Yeah, I definitely want to go after that cannon if we can. I also want these guys to rest. <laughs> yeah, we should push. Because if we can capture them cannons, oh, them cannons early, that would be amazing. We just have no ammo. We literally have no ammo. We are firing, like, rocks at the enemy. Did I play the previous games? Yeah, I played a lot of Civil War, Gettysburg. I didn't play Age of Sail. That's the one game I didn't play. Which is surprising because I love the uh, the Age of Sail. That's like one of my favorite eras, I think. Like Hornblower, Master and Commander are some of my favorite films and, and TV series. So it's a surprise I didn't really play. I just I think I maybe missed it and then yeah. Just didn't um didn't connect. Uh, so another unit routing, right? Everybody's running off to the swamps. Okay, broken back, good. So, I mean, we ideally do need the... Uh, question is, do we need these units to go and win the battle? Or can I charge, chase some artillery? Oh, I just lost five men there. We'll send one unit to reinforce. The rest we'll have to do. With my, like, literally no ammo on my guns. Um, but yeah, I played Civil War, Gettysburg. Gettysburg, I loved because of the scale of it. Like, I feel like Gettysburg was huge. I mean, no, Civil War was just, yeah, a bigger version, I guess. But yeah, I loved the scale of the games. It was just so awesome. Yeah, again, and the, big, the biggest thing that turned me off from the game is that, like, we just didn't have any... Um, didn't have a campaign, you know? The battles, like, the, it was just, like, arbitrary, like, difficulty level. Okay, you guys are pretty fresh now, so you guys come in. We do need to break them 30 men, because them 30 men will stop me from charging this cannon.
Hold for battle line. Everybody hold, giving me extra cover. Cool. So now I should be able to charge this. I mean, it's going to exhaust them. <laughs> don't. Oh my god, please don't fire. Can if they fire, if they reload in time, oh, we won. Thank god. Can we still charge them, though? I want to make sure that we can at least capture them guns. Yeah, don't let the guns escape. Don't let the guns escape. Nice, we got them. I think we're only going to be able to get one, though. Uh, might be able to get two. The infantry will escape, but obviously the artillery is slower. Like, I feel like the AI should have this opportunity to, like, do this to me, if that makes sense, you know? Because, like, they don't. Like, I can just click the return back. So, like, I feel like there should be, like, a an hour or so of, like, extra fighting after you click. So, that, that's, like, a really, really, really good thing that Grand Tactician does. Is you click the I want to withdraw button. And then, it, then you still have to play, like, another in-game hour to kind of represent that falling back. Which I think is really cool. So, boom. I, I think that means we do capture the guns in the battle loot, which is big. Uh, yeah, cool. Back to the global map. Okay, Middlesbrough is ours, boys. Middlesbrough is ours. Huzzah! And now we just have to fucking hold it. <laughs> now we just have to hold it. Holy. Okay, cool. So you guys need to take prominence, like, immediately. You guys need to sit on there immediately. And then we get some more damages. Do are they getting the battle loot? Or is that their supply? Yeah, we need ammo and we need, yeah, reinforcements. So the nice thing is these guys are fully supplying. Oh, nice. Our unit over here as well is fully supplied. They still need a few more guns, I think. How many more guns do you need? I bought some, didn't I? Uh, market cannon. We have two in storage, so that should be enough to supply them. Maybe on the next tick. I think I, I, think I need this unit. Oh, this is a fresh unit, so you guys just obviously use the road. But we'll take Middlesbrough. Oh my god, they're going towards Leicester. Fuck! They're going to take Leicester from me. With 100 men. I mean, these guys have no ammo. We need to... So yeah, I mean, if we lose it, we lose it. Can I raise a unit? Or can I, ra can I raise a regiment? <gasps> you guys are just the crappiest regiment. I don't care. That should be enough just to save them, honestly. So also, why it's so big taking... Because this is... Yeah, this is Middlesbrough. Is this New Hampshire in total or not? But another reason why it's really important to take these regions is because it's just one place where the AI can't replenish soldiers either. Um, so you guys... Again, they've got 720 men who are probably going to be coming right towards me. So we need these 500 men here like yesterday. Um, so you... We haven't taken them as well yet. Cool, we have now. Uh, join the garrison. We need to take them supplies as well if we can. Join the garrison. Join the garrison. Okay, that's breaking. We need these guys here, like, very soon. Okay, and then Leicester has men as well. Good news. They retreated, yeah. Taking this as well. The, night, the, the other really good thing is, boom. A supply line hasn't fully connected up yet, but it will do very soon. And then we can get supplies all the way along here, which is big. They're still here, which is so annoying. Can I just charge them now? Their morale is full, so just charge and, like, to destroy these guys, I guess. I can't, like, get them because they're at sea. Okay, these guys have arrived. You guys need to get here. Oh, they have no ammo. Where's your ammo? Yeah, just charge them. Deal with this British unit here. You better be able to win that. Okay, soldiers are all replenishing. Uh, you guys should join the garrison in Middlesbrough as well. Yeah, run them down, boys. Kill them. No idea what's going on here. 
Um, I guess just go to that. Are we linked up the supply? Okay, the supply is now linked. Perfect. So we'll have stuff there. It wants me to build a recruiting house here, I think. Yeah, recruiting house and production infrastructure. Just build that. Uh, we're building some crappy muskets right now. Still not a brown, enough brown besses. Oh, we actually almost have... Wow, we almost have enough brown besses to give it to a regiment. Nice. To a company. Uh, yeah, I mean, not bad. We actually also stole a field gun as well. Nice. Uh, I'm going to buy a couple more guns as well. And maybe try and get another company of them. So Middlesbrough was captured. That was captured. Quartermaster done. We've done everything here as well. Perfect. Uh, do we want to send prestige? Maybe. Units can pay for forage or loot. Looting will affect loyalty. Ah, we'll go off for now. Salary? I think we won't bother with salary for now. The extra morale obviously would be nice, but we're just going to chill for now. I just need these men to, like, die. It's annoying. They've obviously, like, glitched out or something. But whatever. Hey, these guys need ammo as well, badly. Can we supply? How many wagons do we have? Are we have many generals now? Okay. Do we have enough wagons? Uh, we do. We just need a commander now. Okay, cool. That's fine. Okay, another thousand men are on their way. Which is fine. I should probably bring fish over here so we can see a bit more. These guys now have some ammunition and are replenishing. I need to see where them, them men are arriving. Because for all I know, they're at Leicester right now attacking. Hey, you guys just hold. You guys hold. Hold, hold, hold. Hold, hold, hold. Okay, Leicester is fine as well. Good, good, good. Okay, I mean, this is a pretty good start. Again, this is fucking annoying. Whatever's happening here. But the game is in beta, so that's fine. We need these guys all to replenish badly. <laughs> yeah, we just need men. Uh, we do have a bit of money. We have a bit more building. So infrastructure-wise, we are building... We don't have enough for production here, annoyingly. Oh, okay, so you can actually see the... Okay, cool, I see it now. You can actually see the settlements it is. So this, these are both Rhode Island. Okay, cool. Middlesbrough is Middlesbrough, Leicester is Leicester, etc., etc. Cool, I can actually see that. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, I, so yeah, I think we will maybe go north to try and maybe conquer that fort. Or maybe take Salem. Because we have the money. Maxwell's is looking good. Again, it's just literally all about just resupplying. The British have 5,000 men. Like, can we just break this unit? Like, come on. I broke! Is that a joke? How uh, similar is it Empire? First time hearing about it. Uh, um, so it's real-time battles, real-time... Can we stop them from getting that loot? Yeah, we did as well. Nice. So yeah, it's real-time battles, it's real-time... Um, yeah, real-time battles, real-time... Naval battles, campaign map. Battles are very different, though, to Total War, in a sense. Of course, 500 men shooting. Just finish this unit off. Like, I'm annoyed that it's not broken yet, you know? And we'll hopefully have a battle loot as well. We're so low on ammo. We're low on ammo. We just charge, okay? There's 600 of them there. That should be enough. There you go. They surrendered. Huzzah! Okay, cool. So, this unit needs to resupply. Um, we have an extra 450 men. Cool. Come up. I need you guys to the front. We have an extra 600 men here. Wow. That's a lot of guns. Do we actually have enough guns left over? Yeah, we're down to 14 guns of civilian muskets. 
Uh, we can buy 150 of these, though. Nice. We'll buy all of them guns. Well, has to be 150 because weird numbers hurt my brain. And we'll go up to 150 there as well. Cool. Okay, so we actually have enough to outfit a good regiment, like, right away. That's big, man. I guess what we'll do is this. Yeah? So these are our... The guys in brown are our good soldiers. Like, they actually have stats. Okay, you guys are coming. I guess you guys reinforce to the north. We're about to get a 1,000 men. So I want to see where these 1,000 men move. And then we'll obviously move to engage. Research is going. It's fine. Okay, cool. Uh, Newport is repairing. That's repairing. Middlesbrough is repairing. We have that building there. And we can build something else here. Um, well, I think the biggest thing is probably officers, right? At this point in the game. Yeah, officers, I think. Uh, do we have ammunition as well? How much ammunition do we have? Because some of our units are running out. So I'm just wondering if we don't have enough. We have 19 in storage. Okay. We should probably start producing at least a bit of... We're producing 10 rifles a day. So that'll complete that in, uh, in enough time. 10 days. We should probably also start producing ammunition. Um, yeah, just continuously. Uh, which means we probably need another factory. Boom. Cool. Nice. Two factories on. Um, so the thing I don't know is I can't actually add an additional unit to units. I wonder if it's because they're grayed out. Um, so yeah, you guys just join the garrison there and rebuild up for sure. You guys come up north. So let's see where these 1,000 British go. I mean, they have 5,000 men in Boston. And they're just going to resupply Boston? No, they're going to push out. Okay. okay. These guys are very low on ammo. So let's see where these guys go. I guess this... This unit just has no ammo. That's the biggest thing is ammo right now. What's the red marker? I think it means it's, yeah, not enough ammunition. Okay, that's what it is. Not enough muskets. Not enough muskets. Oh, God, we're out of muskets? Buy some. Oh, I get, I know, I know why. Okay, so I know why it says we're out of muskets. It's because as it replenishes soldiers, you then need guns to give to the soldiers. That makes sense. So it's basically just like, this unit is not ready yet. So at least that musket should be a bit better. We are, however... Yeah, so this this is our big bad boy unit. So we want to give these guys good rifles. So we're going to give them brown besses. And these guys Chevys. Apply. Make sure you click apply, otherwise you're going to glitch out and you're going to find out the hard way. We have, no, we have no more, okay. They also just give us an extra 120. Okay, cool. So our actual good infantry, our fusil is... Um, they have good rifles right off the bat. Okay, I feel confident with that. And we're already sending out, uh... We're actually not sending out that many men either, which is good. You guys have no ammunition, so there's no point in bringing you guys out. You guys are fully stocked, though, which is good. So, what, this is like 900 men? We can engage this. Again, we still need muskets, apparently. So I, I think also, like, the, the there needs to be, like, supply wagons as well. Because I have 500 in storage, but I think they need to actually, like, arrive, if that makes sense. Uh, yo, Dale, how's it going, man? Welcome. Where can you hire Mel Gibson? There should definitely be a Mel Gibson, like, uh, Easter egg. Uh, Pennsylvania Patriots as well have just risen up. Where did you guys spawn? Over here. Yeah, perfect. Okay. I mean, to the front, boys. To the front. My heart and soul to the cause. So I think what we do is we engage here. Like, we, we, we stock up. Enemy near low city. Not enough muskets. Enemy near cities. Okay, so it looks like the majority of these guys have muskets, but you guys don't. 
So we obviously want to take these guys with us for sure. We just have enough ammunition as well. That's a problem. We need like supply trucks to help reinforce. Okay, well, I think these guys have to come out and we take this battle, right? So that they've got what? Um, 369, 12. They, they have about 1,300 men. I have 12 plus like 8. So I have about 2,000. That should be enough. Even with low ammunition and no... Oh, but we've got a supply wagon here as well. Okay, cool. So, I assume that's about to resupply these guys. So, you guys come out. Yeah, you guys come out. Like so. And then we can probably just initiate a battle here. Yeah, we just need these guys in. These guys can come as well, but they also need to resupply. resupply. The great thing is, if we can kill this 1,200-man army, that basically gives us free run to, like, these guys resupply, have enough muskets and ammunition, then we can go up to Salem and just kick ass. Uh, we probably should pick up some wagons as well, though. Yeah, we have money, so let's just do that right now. Pick up some of that. Um, and then I guess... Back up, because it will resupply the best at Hartford, which is my capital. Oh, we have a general, though. That's why, yeah. Sorry, that's why we haven't done it. Um, but we can get another officer from here. Yeah. So let's just, let's just spend two prestige to skip two days. They're about to be resupplied, I think. Can I fight this battle? I want to fight it. Let me fight it. Um, I think, again, it's, it's done a bug where it doesn't spawn it. So let's just chop a save and give it a go. I think by saving and then joining again. Is that, I think that's supposed to be Mel Gibson there, you know? <laughs> How does it feel being an Englishman fighting as the Americans? What do you mean? I'm the greatest American savior. We're going to get an engagement here. Yeah, there you go. Oh, no. I want to fight this battle, you know? Yeah, I'm a, oh no, I not mean to charge. Sorry, oh fuck, that's not good. I just charged a scary, yeah, a scary. Okay, there we go. They might, they might just route immediately, but we'll give it a go. Yeah, I wonder why it wouldn't let me uh, engage initially. But it seems, seems, still seems like there's a few icks to, to work out there as well. We've run into that bug a little bit. Oh, well, how look at this as well. So I'm all the way over here. Then we have our divisions here and here. And I think I guess units going to come down this road to reinforce. So I think we actually start this battle outnumbered and outmatched. And low on ammunition. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, and then they have what a unit. They have that unit there. And they have units in my flank immediately. And then we have units in theirs. Again, we're low on ammo. So I think what we do is we immediately fall back. And wait for reinforcements. Here, I've just arrived. Yeah, there you go. Boom. So we'll just bring all of these guys up now. Again, look at everyone's red... So the red bar down here is everybody low on ammo. Fuck. We, we need to basically bunker down for a couple... Like, for a week or two to get supply in. I don't, I honestly don't want to give up these woods, but I kind of have to. They're running at me. Run, 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 run. I know you're tired, but get the hell out of the way of that charge. Okay, you guys sit up like that. Okay, we, 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 we outlasted their charge. Good. Yeah, I mean, they'll probably run as soon as they see all of this. But if they don't, then that's pretty good. I mean, we're about to hit them, like, directly in the side here as well. <laughs> oh, someone as well also brought up my Tau army behind me. Yeah, I clicked out. Oh, they're fucking charging me, aren't they? Can we just fall back? Can we just, like, run away? Uh, it's, what is it, F? Yeah, fall back. No, I wanted you guys to fall back. Yeah, they are falling back. Good. 
Like, this is the way to beat the British charging, right? Like, as they charge... Oh, God, keep on charging. Keep on falling back. As they... No, you guys got stuck. Can you fall back? Oh, okay. That's that unit gone for sure. I mean, the AI is, like, doing a really good job. Like, they're looking to engage me whilst... You know, like, they're trying to utilize this to their advantage. No, don't get stuck in. I mean, maybe anyone's going to do it. You guys are. And these guys do have my good melee weapons. Like, these are good melee weapons, so... Maybe they stand a chance. Oh, my God. They're just literally just charging me. Oh, my God. Just run. Okay, we broke that unit perfect. Okay. That is hilarious. Can we fall back? Fall back? Fall back? Oh my god, it's so funny. The British are literally just charging me. Like, I mean, why would they not? Are you heading out now, Jose? I see you later, man. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, before you leave, consider dropping a like on the video. If you guys haven't already dropped a like, I really appreciate it. We've had amazing viewership the entire day. Um, and I really appreciate it. Like, the fact that we're at 400 viewers is fucking crazy. Um, so I really do appreciate that. Um, and yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like on the video. It helps out massively, so... I appreciate it. Oh, we actually broke them. Nice. Are you guys got good rifles as well? No, just civilians. And again, just fall back. Fall back. Oh, God, fall back. You guys have just fought them, yeah. Fall back, reform. I mean, I feel like we're doing a good job when it comes to, like, dealing with this British assault now. That kind of yeah counter charge i feel like counter charging goes a long way i know we're getting friendly fire but i, I almost don't care like every casualty we kill of the british is better of mine if that makes sense like i don't really mind if i lose men okay we're about to come out behind them that's probably gonna force them to be routed uh if i buy this now would it come up on my steam uh not now i think they've said oh when it releases i don't know um, I don't know. I would imagine they'll send out Steam keys to people who bought it. That's what you would expect them to do. But obviously, I we have no idea. I would ask them on the forum. I don't know if there's been a, a definitive answer on the forum. Oh, we have cannon as well. What the hell? We have cannon in this army. Hell yeah. So, it's up to you. But also, like, it, the game is, like, super easy to, to play. Like, you just load a launcher and go. I think we've routed each other here. Bring ourselves back. Okay. Okay, they're about to come charging into me here, so let's fall back again. From my Discord, if you want to play Ultimate Gem Remake on Steam, please wait for the Steam release, which which could have. Okay, cool. So, no, it doesn't, then, I guess. You would think, though, that they would just send out keys, you know, to people who bought it. Like, they'll have a list and they'll just, like, you know, basically send out a key if you bought it on 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 thingy that's what i would do but maybe there's some issues with that okay, the cannons are set up now so we can start bombarding they did charge me there again okay more regiments are arriving got the cannon set up as well Yeah, the launcher really isn't a big deal. But I understand people do like their, their games to all be in one place, right? Oh my god, the British man is fucking charging me! <laughs> Just piss off! I can't wait to... I can't wait to be the... I can't wait to be the British and just kill the Americans. Just, okay, take that back. Don't take that out of context. I can't wait to be the British and just, like, have superior units. Having the weaker units really does not feel good. Having the weaker units, the less numbers, less artillery, less cavalry, really doesn't feel good. <laughs> oh my god, they're just charging me again! They're on my flank as well! They're gonna kill my cannon, fuck! If I only had some ammo, man, oh, I'd just dominate if I had any form of ammunition. 
And we're going to dominate anyway. It's just minimizing casualties, you know? As well. Okay, you guys are about to fire pretty nicely in the side. We also, like, the thing, there's also like a kind of a catch-22 as well. It's like, we want to have the, we want to have like the, the quality. Sorry, we want, we want to get close enough to the enemy because we have awful rifles and we do a lot, we do like the, the fall off, does it show us the fall off of the damage of a rifle? Yeah, look at that. So at like, what, 20, 30, 40 yards, like we're effective and then it just drops off massively. So we do want to kind of close the distance as much as possible. But also we have the morale to do that and the British will just charge us like so. So we're kind of almost good at like the initial... We're kind of almost like good at, as they as they charge us. Like this should be brutal. This volley here should be insane. Yeah, we kill a lot of them. That's a lot of men. Okay, you guys can tell me again. You have no ammo, but do what must be done. If you guys are wounded. Oh, these are prisoners. Oh, cool. We actually got captured soldiers here as well. That's cool. I'm surprised the British aren't running yet, you know? Yeah, we like actually captured some soldiers as well. We captured a lot of British prisoners here. Nice. Can we take the British ammunition? Oh my god, they got reinforcements? When did these guys arrive? Fuck. I need ammo. <laughs> there we go. They broke. Thank God they broke before these guys arrived because I don't think I physically have enough bullets to deal with them. Um, yeah, so there's no custom battle, but there's historical battles and there's about 15 of the historical battles as well. We'll take that. Start charging them back. But my units are militiamen. They have one. They have a stat of one in their melee. My not, my fusiliers, who are actual professional soldiers, have a stat of seven. So I can only imagine the red coats are even more. Oh, that's a lot of loot to go and collect. I love it. Okay, perfect. So yeah, finish them off. There's lots of guns here. Let's collect the winners. So I collect all the ammo and weapons and guns. Can I collect it myself like as a general or not? I mean, we still have 5,000 men. I'm not sure if I can collect that or not. We need ammunition. We just need ammunition. That's literally it. Do we, do we just not have enough then? Um, We have some in storage. Let's buy some more. Let's just buy some. We have money. So let's just buy some more. We are also producing it as well, right? Yeah, maybe let's stick like another factory on ammunition as well. Um, yeah, we'll go up to three factories. Yeah, I'm trying to save my money because we actually ended up pretty. And we'll probably... We have enough guns, actually. I feel like we have enough men for now. My mic's buzzing. Sorry. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, it's, I, I spilled water on my GoXLR and I think the cable's a bit messy. Yeah, no supply line in Leicester, so we need to basically bring these guys down to supply them, yeah. You're right. Actually, I'm just going to do that, and then you guys can go back. You guys can go back. Because, yeah, the supply line is really working now. Yeah, they don't have enough ammunition, basically. Yeah. Well, this has quite a bit of ammunition, but it looks a bit four in Newport. Maybe these guys go back to Newport. Capture Boston. Yeah. 
can't do quite a lot, but we are on, we are on the process, okay? So we can assign a artillery chief. We're not going to. I don't actually going to spend my prestige on that. I don't think. We're about to get some more copper, which will be nice. You do not have prisoners. Some prisoners were executed and some were released. Oh god, brutal. Let's just pretend like we because we don't have a prison yard. I don't think. Yeah. We don't have a prison, so we just killed or or freed of everyone else. So you guys just come down to Newport. Which means these guys are actually fully supplied now. Okay, good. Yeah, you can see our wagons on the campaign map moving as well, which is nice. Do you have to repair places? Or why are they smoking? Yeah, so they're, they're currently repairing themselves. Um, I can't increase it or anything. Oh yeah, speaking of which, we should also maybe do this, right? So Rhode Island, what do we want to do? Probably mining for more of the salt, because that gives us guns. Yeah. And then Hartford, are we just pumping building, right? Cream will give us more men. I mean, more steel and more wood is not a bad idea. Yeah, let's let's do construction in Hartford. And then New Hampshire is what, Portsmouth? Which is, yeah. Oh, it looks like we're going to lose Portsmouth, actually. Fuck. Yeah, the British have 2,000 men up there. Can't do anything about that. Hartford is the goal of the machine. Coal. Coal machine, yeah. Oh, I guess I have cutlers moving up as well. Nice, yeah. So you guys go in there and resupply your ammo. So I think we just literally just need to sit back and like let this ammo f flock out, basically. Resupply our men. Yeah, big fleet. I mean, there's no, yeah, nothing you can do as the Americans. <laughs> Early on, it's just is what it is. Can't believe we're going to lose Portsmouth, though. That sucks. We can't because we have an officer. But I also don't want to assign an artillery officer, I don't think. The game looks fun. Yeah, no, it's really good. Oh, nice. More ammo as well. Huzzah, Patriots from New Jersey. Offer ammo. 50 ammo as well. God damn. And they want me to produce muskets again. I mean, we already are producing, right? Just Ten days, we'll have that done. We're producing. I mean, we're producing. A, we're producing one bit of ammunition a day. We have a lot of it. Oh, we can maybe get some more Chevys as well. To 150. Oh, we're so close. But we actually, our militiamen are 120, right? Yeah, let's buy them. So where's our good division as well? Our one division that has like all good rifles. It's you guys, yeah. Needed Arsenal. We have a bunch more brown besses as well. Nice. Yeah. Because I guess we won that battle, so we just got a lot of loot. Copper are refilled, which is good. So you guys go back to just doing that. Research speed is fine. You have informed that our unit in Portsmouth, commanded by uh, Israel Brandt, was found dead nearby Portsmouth. Brave soldier. An American hero right there. An American hero. That is being built, right? Yeah, 26 days, right? Yeah. Oh, but sorry. That's being built first. Oh, okay. So if we do that, then it builds the industry. Oh, okay, I see. So the game wants us to build this down here, which we should probably just put to the top, yeah. Because we only have production in industry, which is this. Yeah. Okay, and we have Cutlers as well coming up. Cutlers is just a random division, right? Nothing special. Okay, I mean, so far, we have a decent setup, right? Well, we have... Um... 1,000, 3,000... Like, we have 4,000 men. That's not bad. We just need to obviously resupply everybody with guns and rifles and stuff. I don't know what this sign means. It just means they're... they're 
I don't know. And we'll make sure that we give these guys the priority for men and ammunition and supply. The actual proper troops. Yeah, I mean, we can actually start building ships, I think, at some point. We don't have a shipyard yet, but I think because we have Newport, we get like a 0 0.5 of a shipyard. So we can start building a ship. Oh no, once, sorry, once this dock is built, we can then start producing a ship. And that will allow us the uh, production screen here to actually build a ship. Not a very good one, but a ship nonetheless. Yeah. I'm trying to be a bit more frugal with my money as well. Middlesbrough is about to get resupplied. How are we looking ammunition-wise? Okay, everywhere is supplied ammunition-wise. Perfect. Uh, yeah, the good units are being supplied. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I think so. It would say if they're lacking something, right? I don't know what this means. Does it say? No, yeah. I don't know what this means. But yeah, I think we are going north. Either to, uh, I mean, I guess you guys probably would think it would be cool to see a fort battle. God. I also would love some more cannon, honestly, as well. We just don't have any generals. Um, so, yeah. Let's just spend the prestige to get that done. Before you said you needed 100 muskets. Where would it tell me that? Let's have a look. I don't think so. We have, like, we have 100 uh, Chevys. We don't have brown Besses. But there's 200 in the market. I'll buy the lot. Okay. Oh, fuck. I just bought the short ones. I'm such an idiot. God damn it, we, we have them now. No, we have enough muskets. 300 in storage. We have, yeah, no, enough. We don't have, there's a lot of Spanish ones there. We just don't have cash now. Let's do that. I mean, I literally have enough rifles for this entire unit. Yeah, we have enough in our arsenal, and then these guys can also go to Spanishes as well, I guess, for now. And then these guys can even start making it. So once this unit is fully stocked up again, it's like, yeah, full actual proper rifles, not hunting rifles. Yeah, money is a little bit of an issue, but we're actually not losing. Yeah, we're not losing. We're just, no, we're not losing money now. Army expenses is, is fine. Cool. Undercover officer. They're reinforcing with an extra 500 men. Again, what, what can a man do? Cutlers is fine. Yeah, Cutlers has men. I mean, it's just mainly, yeah, recruits. Uh, let's bring you guys down into Newport. Because you guys, yeah. They actually have recruits down here in Newport. So come down. Resupply. And then we push. Yeah, Boston just has too many men in. For now, there's nothing we can do about that. But they might try and push out again, and I'd be happy to take them in the open field again. Yeah, they're getting stuck in. Good, good, good. I should just have these men here for no reason. Uh, money. Yeah, we need money for sure. Uh, we have a new general now as well. So what we can do is we can build a supply wagon, which I think is important, right? Do we have enough for two? Yeah, we do. Perfect. Okay. They supply up and then we'll bring that wagon up and then, yeah, it's off to war. Map gets a lot bigger. Yeah, way bigger. The map is huge. Over 6,000 in Boston. Oh, my God. I mean, I'm happy we took Middlesbrough, though. That's a good little steal. I don't know what this means. Like, this, like... Yeah, I don't know what this, like, graying out means. Okay, perfect. And then now this unit is here. 
We're going to put them on board and send them off to, to sea. So one more tick and then our army is ready. Do we have any rifles left for these guys? No, we have enough in storage. We have like, yeah, a decent amount in general just for like resupplying, but that's it. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, I think we're ready. I think we're ready to go, right? Like, I think we're ready to push over to Salem or to the fort. Oh, it's a fort level one, so their melee is... Oh my god, we get a 70% reload speed. I think we might have to, like, go up to Portsmouth, maybe. Instead. Like, I take half the army. I probably take 2,000 men, leaving 2,000 to defend the south. And we take it up here. We go past Fort, Fort Stephanons, and we go to Portsmouth, and then down into Salem. Hey, we got 420. We got 420 viewers right now. I appreciate it, guys. Drop a like, drop a comment. It really helps. Or oh, you can't really drop a comment. Just save it now. The map opens up in June. Uh, okay. Um, YouTube stream. Uh, unless you get another general, AU sucks fighting with, yeah, player. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, we can work towards that. I do have some prestige saved up, so I could work towards, um, what's his face? Army innovation. Like, I could buy this and almost buy that for a second army. So I could just grab that. Can you bait them out of Boston? I don't think we have enough men. Like, what happens if they bring all 6,000 out? I doubt it. I mean, everybody... Okay, so this unit is still being supplied, okay? Uh, we're going to probably take the money. Because we're at 100% loyalty, so not really that important there. Uh, cool. So now we take... Yeah. We can do army innovation too. I mean, that would be nice, right? We don't have enough prestige for it. But if we, if we could grab Continental Army, that gives us actual infantry and artillery. Proper artillery we can build as well. Oh, we can also now build a barracks. So let's let's start getting a second general immediately. And we're, we're not that far off prestige-wise from just recruiting him. Uh, what does a barracks do? Let's have a look. Uh, I can't see one. Is it like an upgrade, maybe? Oh, yes, an upgrade. Okay. So it just gives us recruits, ammo capacity, and ammo storage. Nice. Okay. But I think we need another general, right? If I want to launch multiple attacks. Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess you guys said just to wait a month. I mean, we might, we might probe. Because as you guys say, the map opens up in a month, and I guess I'm going to need to send men west, right? Supply wagon is supplying. So what do we do? Do we do we do we make a push north and try and take back Portsmouth and look, or do we do we just chill? Do we just chill? We can speed it up as well, of course. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, we're doing army innovation so we can get uh, Benedict Arnold. Go north with 2,500 troops, yeah. I mean, I'm tempted to. So let's bring these guys up. We basically don't need anyone in Newport either. So we might as well, like, bring up most of our soldiers. Probably bring you into Middlesbrough. So we have 1,000 men in Middlesbrough. Don't forget they have Cav. Yeah, I mean, the Cav is fucked. <laughs> Why are you guys running as well? Just walk. I mean, you guys move into that, I think. Can you zoom out? Uh, can you zoom in in battles? Uh, so you fight the battles out. You actually fight the battles out. Um, let's join up there. So we have a thousand men in Middlesbrough. Do I take my 3,000 here? I mean, I definitely need my supply wagon, right? This supply wagon needs maybe a, a, a couple more days. Let's go, let's just go triple speed. Let's just blitz it. I mean, we have, like, a good army here, you know? Can we recruit any more men, either? Do we have any more generals? Because that's, that's the biggest thing is, like, do you have enough generals? 
Okay, so I can't add there. Can I add to Militia? Because I wonder if I can't add here because I don't actually have Fusiliers unlocked. But can I add here maybe? No, I can't even add here. Yeah, no. Uh, Boston's numbers tickling down? Don't think so. Yeah, that would also be something that I think would be quite cool as well. I mean, there is in the game though, because like you do have... So I think what would actually like... Or maybe it is, sorry, I was paused. Um, so I think that obviously... Yeah, it is. It is going down. I guess they're running out of supply. And I guess that was something I was mentioning. I was about to mention is like... These settlements, you know, do actually have a supply value. And uh, having 6,000 men in Boston should dramatically reduce it. It seems that they have a lot. I mean, I guess it is Boston, you know. And it's not like the British have a hard time supplying it by sea. Um, so we do need money. And loyalty is like whatever, right? Yeah, loyalty is whatever. We get nine ammunition as well. But yeah, like 6,000 men in Boston is quite a lot. Um, has this got enough? I think we might just go soon with this. Cav eats for two, yeah, indeed. Because our entire army is now replenished. Probably should also be keeping a close eye on Leicester as well. Just checking Newport. I mean, it's, it's burning, but I wanted just to check. Okay, the wagon is almost there. It's almost stocked up on ammunition. Provisions aren't so bad, but once it has enough ammunition, that's when we'll go. Supply wagons need wagons. Oh, we need wagons. Thank you for letting me know. Um, we need wagons. I mean, it's expensive, but yeah. Okay, boom. Is that enough? have a look um leveraging foreign sympathy using the connection network numbering reaching out foreign sympathizers who believe the american cause nice 500 gold i'll take it we still oh, we're still lacking a lot okay so then maybe let's just delete one let's just get rid of that that way they're they're, they're stocked up they'll be pretty supplied soon Okay, 10 more days and I guess we go west. Because, again, Boston isn't going down. So the French and the Spanish have also broken their alliance, which is fine. Oh, which is a really... That is a good argument, actually, to maybe work towards 17 days for that to be done as well. Um, it's a good argument as well to be made. I mean, this shouldn't be on now either. No doctrine needed there. Into mining, I guess, for now. There's no point putting a doctor in here if we're not building, right? But I guess we should be building a little bit here. Uh, officers, probably. Let's grab officers. So did you change your standard muskets? Yeah, so I only have... So we have been buying muskets as, as we've been going. Oh, there's a lot of Spanish rifles. We don't have enough money, though. Try and buy as much as we can. That's three grand. That's probably a bit too much. We need to have some money in reserve. And a few brown besses just to resupply as we lose them. We kind of just need like a stockpile more than anything else. Yeah, money's important now. I mean, taking about 10 grand early is so important. So the map should open up in, what, eight days? We're currently researching Benedict, then we can actually just force him soon as well. So we can actually have a general here and we can we can go over as well, which is nice. Yeah, and um, that's why it's quite cool, I think, when we get to play the British whenever it is, because it's gonna be such like a different feel. Like I'm like scraping together anything, rebuilding an army, doing all of this other stuff, and I wonder how it's gonna be like Change of rifles for the Spanishes. Are the Spanish is better than the so it's this one which we have. So right here we got two we got brown two brown besses, a Spanish and two Chevys. Oh nice. Well, yeah, cool. There's no point grabbing the update now. Um but thank you for letting me know, Quicksilver. I appreciate that.
Yeah, I'm not going to change now as well. Uh, discover out. Yeah, so we've got some more guns. Does it tell me... Oh, we got 200 brown besses. Nice. Black market. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Reports have arrived about panicking citizens in Newport who leave Vieira seeking safety after rumors spread that an immense British invasion. Okay. <laughs> Rally the men. Let's get... I mean, how many men is it, though? So we'll get down here of our elites and I guess one of the fatty regiments as well. So I, I'm going to send my ship out just to see if I can see it. Okay, three, oh, it's only 300 men. What am I scared about? Oh, God, run away. Back into port, please. <laughs> yeah, it's only 300 men. We're fine. Uh, Can we keep on lowering? Oh, it's 100%. Yeah, we take the money. We take the money. For the boys. I was like so scared then. Oh my god, they just they just rise up there? The hell you think you're going? Let's pursue them. I guess I'll take I want I wanna test out these new rifles, so. Let me fight it. Let me fight it. No, they're falling back, I guess. Save and reload. Oh, yeah. Is that why? Do you think? Yeah, hopefully that bug's been fixed because that's it's a bit of a pretty annoying one, right? Uh, by the way, guys, I really appreciate all the, all the viewers. 450 viewers now. It's just climbing. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, everybody's doing well. Um, so, I am going to be uploading some more. So, I'm, I'm probably going to do tomorrow. So, tomorrow's video, I think we're going to do more of this because people seem to be really be loving it at the moment. And now that I understand it a lot, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on the, the video I did yesterday. But I'm going to do a new save but get to the point where we basically I'm, I'm going to blitz through the Battle of Concord. Um, conquer and then take Providence and Newport and then probably continue on from there and then that way I can start explaining a lot more of these features so I think that's what we're going to do um, tomorrow they are just fleeing for their lives which is kind of annoying right but I mean this is the power of the British Navy right like the fact that the British can do this is is why they're so strong. Uh, yeah, silver cargo. Uh, Redcoats have raided Chelsea Creek, seeking provisions, supporting newly fresh soldiers. Where the fuck is Chelsea Creek? Why can't I take these guys? I just want to battle. I don't know where Chelsea Creek is. I don't like it. Uh, do we have any more generals? No, no more generals, which is fine. Um, whilst they're chasing them down. Oh, we can recruit more officers as well. Good. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's get our second general. Let's get bloody... What's his face? Oh, a quartermaster as well. Oh, wagons have been done as well. Perfect. Okay, so let's just grab that. That'll be done soon. Can't do that yet. Yeah, we just have the generals, right? We just do not have the generals. Let's just hang out. Um, so yeah, that should be done, right? Yeah, one more day. So the day has to play. I mean, I guess we'll send Burns back to Hartford. Um, and we'll just garrison our places. Because, as I said, the map should open up in a couple days. So let's just send Burns back to Hartford, I guess. God, Boston has 7,000 men now. Oh, yeah, just charge them. Yeah, maybe. I mean, we're garrisoned, right? Why do I care? 
Uh, and then we want to we want to get another general for sure. And there you go, Bennett Arnold. Perfect. Welcome. Where's he spawn? Oh, he's right here. Perfect. Okay. So I'm there, and then Benedict is here. What does Benedict look like? So we can grab this. Oh, we actually get to choose as well. So own speed, command radius, or spotting. I feel like command radius is just really good. They're gonna go up to. They're gonna go up to bloody Leicester, aren't they? That's funny. Oh my god! Okay, okay. The British are coming. 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 Ah, uh, okay. Rally, everybody rally. Calling the banners. Calling the goddamn banners. Um, Middlesbrough, you guys are going to have to come over as well. I'm going to leave a small garrison here. Fuck, okay, they are going. How many is that? Can we even fight that? Ah, uh, um. How, have they left Boston undefended, though? So they're going to take that. There's only 3,000 at Boston. So they've got, what, 3,000 men there. Can we even defeat that? Like, I don't know if we can even take that down with what we have. Like, with everything here. It's not like we have an infinite amount of good rifles. We should probably also change up some rifles as well. So let's get our other unit here. Yeah, maybe it is time to charge Boston. Like, we've lost Leicester. What can men do? So let's definitely give these guys good rifles. Our, our fusiliers good rifles. Um, so let's find them. We do have some more brown besses and stuff to give out. So we have one and we can do two. Yeah. We'll probably buy some more as well, honestly. I wish you owned some Spanishes as well. Okay, let's buy a, buy a few more. We have a little bit more money. Okay, so all of our fusiliers have good rifles now. So we can now give them Spanishes. So they either have brown besses or they either have... Yeah, that's good. Um, but I don't know, though. Like, I don't think we can take Boston. That's the thing. It's, it's still 3,600 men. It's just as many members here. And we don't have that much, right? To get In, in total, we have... We have about 3,400 men here. Plus the 600 there. We can raise another one soon once this is done. But until then, like, we're... Big save. Yeah, I mean... What do you guys think? One big battle? I think so, right? I think we fight this big old battle. I'll save it. And I'll, uh, this will probably be because we've been streaming for, what, like five and a half hours now? So I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll do this big battle to wrap up the stream. I don't, I don't, we can't take Boston, guys. There's no way. Again, remember, these are red coats. They're not like we need to outnumber them. We have some good, good, you guys want to see the big battle for Boston? Okay, we can do the battle for Boston instead. I'm probably going to need all of this though, right? And the supply wagon as well. Yeah, if we're going to do a battle, let's do it for Boston. Okay, that makes sense. So let's drop a save now. Because in case they kind of come back and take Hartford or something. Oh, yeah, the game opens up now as well. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, this is a lot, right? Wow. And these are our other units as well or not? Yeah, these are all our other units. Man, the map is so big. So, we also have soldiers here. Okay, so once you make it to this, I can definitely see you able to rally enough soldiers to conquer everything. That's cool, though. I like that. I like how it opens up. Oh, my God. If I fail, if I have to... I, my reputation is so low that if I don't... I have four weeks to improve, otherwise I get kicked out. Um, do we have more men that we can recruit quickly? We have no generals. That's a problem. Okay, so yeah. So your basic your goal is to take the forts. Fort Montgomery. Basically defeat up the forts here. Okay. And there's... Yeah, basically it just adds in more settlements for you to recruit from. And it adds in 
Yeah, so basically gives you more stuff to like do industry for, I guess. Like over here. And then it adds like more British forts. So you're in control of the towns, but the British own forts. I actually really like that as well. Obviously, that's very historical. The British are in control of the forts, and it's up to you to, you know, like you own the, the people's will. And remember as well, like this is a small part of the, the overall campaign map. This is a bit bigger, but still. Okay, so we're going to get burns over the supply wagons, and then, yeah, we're going to go for it. Is there a way to control click or do I have to click? Yeah. That's everybody. We need this to arrive. Anyone, any way we can recruit more men. We just don't have the general. Yeah, we just don't have the officers. Oh, but what I can do, I mean, I don't have the prestige, but we've saved it, so it's fine. Um, let's do this. Let's spam out that so we get an extra officer. That That isn't Benedict Arnold. Yeah, it is. Benedict Arnold. So we'll, we'll waste our prestige because it's funny. Um, God, Providence still isn't repaired as well. How crazy is that? That will allow us to recruit a one more division. No, we haven't got the officer yet. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. So one more day. And we get another officer. Building the ranks as well. In town squares and village halls recruiting officers. Nice. I want me to capture more land as well. Yeah, we got that. Uh, cool. So that should allow us to then recruit another general. Oh, we have two generals. Great. So we're going to probably recruit... This guy's really good as well. Wow. He's got amazing, what, endurance? Nice. My man. So, big militia groups will get an artillery cannon, infantry. I wish the army wasn't so bulked up as well, you know? I mean, I think we just actually just go. Yeah, like that. Luckily, the supply wagon is helping. Did we... Oh, we didn't click that? Okay, we didn't click that. I mean, I'd love an extra gun, but it's fine. How quickly are they going to resupply? Oh, they're actually coming out. Okay, cool. Here we go. Fuck it out. Look at it. That's insane. Oh my god, the British are rallying. I love that. Yeah, I mean, I guess forward. Okay, we need to engage before the British arrive. They actually don't have that many. They, I mean, I guess they do. They just have big 700-man blocks, whereas we have way less. Okay, so I'm going to be commanding the initial forces, and then Arnold's going to be turning up in reinforcements. Okay? Guys, can we drop a like before we before we fight this? How many likes are we on? How many likes are we on? We're on 200 likes. Or we're on 300 likes. Let's see if we can get to 420 likes for the battle. Because this is going to be big. This is going to be huge. Oh, we have cavalry, though. It's over. It's so jova. <laughs> yeah, drop a like on the video, guys. Let's see if we can get to 420, baby. And it's just fine. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All or nothing. All or nothing. Here we go. Uh, Yeah, maybe we will consolidate some units together as well. It's not a bad idea. So here we go. Outside of Boston, this is the, the battle. For freedom. For freedom. Fuck, this is insane. Are they Dragoons? I don't know what they were. We fought them in the previous campaign where we lost. And they just ripped through us. It wasn't even close. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got. So I hate that it, it spawns me like this. Okay, cool. So the British are going to be literally right in front of us. We have... Where are our professional soldiers? So we have here... And we have a supply. We have one supply wagon, which is good. And we have here. So you are the, the only guys that are good in the army. Are here and here. So basically, our, our, our center is what's really strong. Okay. Now, chances are, their infantry is going to... They're going to basically be here before we can go. 
So obviously we want we want to hold this. So I'm gonna push there. Maybe we just play like super defensive, you know? Maybe I just play super defensive. Like, you guys are you get no cover here. Okay, a little bit yeah, no cover. Get a bit more cover in the wheat fields. Okay. So maybe push up. Oh, I don't really want to push though. That's the thing. I think we honestly do just maybe fall back a little bit. Have the cannon set up like here. What do you guys think? There's forest in front of us, but I think we, I think the British will get their way before us. I think the British spawn here because they already own these two flags. So maybe we do just like form up here and see what the British do. We don't want to give up the forest either. So like maybe set up like that. You guys can reserve. And like you say, like then maybe we'll bring the cannons back. Because it seems like the wheat field gives you like a little bit of cover. Which is nice. We'll fall back to this, like, kind of light forest. And then, yeah, as you say, like, utilize the fusiliers with good... Again, these guys have good guns. Look at the how much better they are. And they have more range as well compared to the civilian muskets. Civilian muskets are 175. Oh, you guys need to form up a little bit better. Okay, so they're going to be... Yeah, they're going to be hitting hard out of the forest. Okay, good to know, good to know. Do we just keep on falling back a little bit? You guys are all set up nicely. Okay, what we're we gonna do? So Arnold, Arnold can guard the left flank, of course. Um, I will guard the center. Where am I here? Okay, so we're gonna send three of the. We're gonna send Anthony's fusiliers to the left hand side to resupply that. No, I think we send. Yeah, I think we have to send the majority of our our big group of fusiliers to the left, which will do that, and then the free man. We'll push on this flank, I think. You guys, they can flank the enemy with OP guns and melt them, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we didn't get a volley off as well. Cavalry definitely seems like they need to be balanced. Like, they really do. I mean, I imagine this is fine. Like, we didn't get a volley off here as well. Yeah, this is going to rip through my line. Like, there's literally nothing I can do. Well, there goes my units. If we can kill them here, though, that's not bad. The guns are firing as well. Oh, my God, there's a lot of cannon fire. Okay, so we're, like, ganging up enough of them. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, my God, it just ripped for us here as well. Then the rifles do fire. It's friendly fire, but we need that cavalry gun. You guys can all hold position so you can get a bit more cover. You're in, like, 50% cover, which is not bad. That cavalry is just brutal. And look at that. They lost eight men. They lost eight men. And they could hit us before we could even hit them. Yeah, these are what reserves, right? Yeah. We're going to kill that unit, but we're so clumped up now as well. And we're doing friendly fire, but I need that cavalry gone. Fusiliers are turning up, which is nice. We've routed that cavalry, you guys. Reform if you can. Okay, we're out of that cavalry as well. We took so many casualties and they're already charging us. So you guys need to fall back now. Um, and maybe we do. Maybe we do combine some divisions together, you know? Like, I think it's fine on this flank. But uh, maybe you, you, know, you guys like all just fall back now. Um, please just run. Please run. Please run. Okay, get out of there. Arnold is here now. Um... We do have a lot of extra divisions, you know. We're pushing on this left-hand side. Fusiliers are here. Yeah, Fusiliers are here, so good. You guys mount up, like, here. So you guys mount up, like, here, I guess. Because, as I said, this is our flanking force. Cavalry is back again! Piss off! Okay, you guys need to fall back for sure. Doing pretty decent here. You guys push up a little. I know you're holding, but push up a little bit. It's Mormon on that flank as well. Need to rotate a bit, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we need to put a lot of pressure here, I think, whilst they're low. So I think you guys push up there and our fusiliers push up. This is like our frontline fusiliers, so you guys push up as well. I 
I mean, luckily we do have a, a line ready to support. The cannon is getting hammered as well. It's a bit brutal. Yeah, and we got... But the nice thing is we got three of our best units here as well. I'm going to start sending maybe some of these around the flank. I obviously want men to, like, reserve. Fucking cavalry, man. Okay, left flank. This is like a very slow battle. I'm sorry, but there's a lot going on, as you guys can probably tell. Okay, we're 3v1ing here. We're 3v1ing here. Perfect. Hold. Fire. Get in position. Hold. You guys are falling back now. You guys have done your job. You guys are all in position, so kneel. Again, I know I'm firing into the front of my ranks. I don't know if, like, hold does anything or, like, counter charging does anything. I'm about to get a really good charge on my fusiliers. That sucks, man. Maybe we counter charge, like, charge with infantry in to help support them. Because you guys can all hold now, right? As well. So maybe counter charging. Fusiliers are doing a good job at repelling them as well. No, you guys keep on focusing that, please. Maybe the counter charge will help. Okay, we'll repel back cavalry again. You guys are exhausted, though. So let's fall back, you guys, and then we will push up. Who is this? Morris's? Yeah, Morris's will now take command on the front line. They've repelled cavalry. They've done their job. That's fine. You guys are doing a good job now as well. Keep on holding. We have two more units of fusiliers. I, I think we got... Okay, 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 okay. So this is, this is the plan with our fusiliers. We're going to split them in two, okay? The majority of our infantry are now running in the center. So we need... Oh, but splitting them in two doesn't work. Yeah, I mean, we need to clear up a flank. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring these fusiliers. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hold, hold, hold. No, hold, hold. Mm. I need to break them out of this forest. I need to break them out of this forest if I can. And then what my plan what I was thinking was... Is we then take these fusiliers and we wrap around and we just deal with this. We just deal with this pocket and then once we've done with that, we can then bring everybody around. But I kind of need to fight them out of this forest, really. But we've we managed to break that cavalry. Good, good, good. Okay, good job. Good job. Good job. I think that cavalry is gone now. Perfect. You guys still wrap around. It's just this sign is like not looking great, basically. I think, I think that's what we do do, though. I think that's what we go for. We've got three units versus one. This is not going to last long. This is a bit more of a troublesome act as well. But I think we start bringing these guys around. We get Arnold up a little bit more. Yeah, you guys are now back, so you guys are fine. You guys can all rest. And we've dealt with, what, three of their units of cavalry, I think? We can get one more. And again, we have this opportunity where we can really start putting the pressure on the British. Because they're, they're still reforming. You know? They're still forming. Here. Uh, you guys should probably turn and face. You guys should push up and engage, please. Is there two units there? Just one. Okay. We have a unit in reserve here as well. I'm going to leave this unit here in reserve because I think it's going to be needed. You guys are stuck up and holding. Good, good, good. Hold there. You guys engage that. We're about to break that unit right there. Will this game be on Steam? Yes, it is planned to be on Steam. However, if you buy it now, they have not confirmed... Oh my god, the cavalry is coming back again. They have not confirmed that if you buy it on... If you buy it now, that you... On their website, that you'll get it on Steam. Come on, volley, volley, volley! Bring it down! Oh, was not even a good volley? There's only 30 of them now. That can't be too bad, right? Two units are doubling up on that as well. The problem is, though, it just tires out your men. It's exhausting to do that. Okay, the Fusiliers. Oh, they're bringing loads more over now, though. Fucking, we're not in cover, and they are. I'm tempted to fall back from this position. I'm tempted, you know. Yeah, especially with that breaking. Maybe he's a fusiliers, but yeah, I think I'm gonna fall back a bit. Not run, not run, sorry, fall back. 
I think we need to, like, bring them back. Again, we have some reserve units here. I'm actually going to combine these guys together. Have a pretty... Because these are just normal units, yeah. I want to try and drag them out of the forest and the, the farms. So you guys set up there. And then you guys set up, like, here. And then you guys... Yeah, these Fusiliers then engage. Because you're actually in the forest here as well. Or not, in the, in the wheat field. You guys are fine there. You are... Yeah, you will get you in the field, though. And then you, you guys just fall back. Give me my reserve line again. Again, keep on falling back here. Fall back again. Fall back again. Hold. This is a fat old unit as well. Let's rest it up and then we'll push it forward. We're the, the center is going really well. And we're pushing here. Yeah, we're breaking the British in the center. It's that left flank that's scary. Okay, you guys need to reform again. We have reserves. Again, reserves are resting. Yeah, I think this is a good plan to fall back. We're drawing them out of the fields. And then we are in the fields as well. A mass charge obviously would be very scary. Of course. I'm actually going to combine these... I, I, do you think I should combine these Fusiliers together? But it's probably better to have a bunch of, like, groups of Fusiliers rather than... Than not. They are pushing. Okay, hammer this unit. We cannot let it charge us. We need to reduce their numbers immediately. They're going to charge. But you are Fusiliers, so you, if anyone can stop them, you can. It's a brutal volley. But we are demolishing it back. Good job. How are we doing on this side? Okay, the reserves are really arriving. Question is, do we go after the cannons or do we just push in for the battle? Do we go after the cannons? I get greedy here. Because if they were, if they weren't, if they were fusiliers, I'd bring them to the battle, but they're not. Everybody here, just hold your position. Like you get the extra cover bonus. You guys charge that cannon. We could wrap up and deal with all this cannon. Supplies are going to be needed soon, so let's start making the rounds, I think. I think we're going to go up here. We'll supply this group first, and then we'll move over. Uh, cannon is too far. Imp can't push them. Oh, we routed as well. We got cannons shotted. Yeah, I'm so stupid. You're right. The, 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 the artillery is so far away. I could have used that unit. My bad. We live and we learn, eh? Oh, our left flank is broken. Okay, reinforce. We've cleaned up this flank, though. Nice. Okay, wrap, 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 wrap. So many men. I mean, that's why we have this reserve line. This fat unit here, they're, they're breaking. Okay, re reform. Falling back against the British is just so important. I think we've got this section under our control, though. We've got three units fighting in now. A fat old 227 unit here. The center is tiring. We're doing fine. We might have to fall back in that center, though. Like going everywhere else, we're doing a great job. That unit you know, is so stupid. Uh, do we have anyone who's like routed and come back? No. Okay. Guys, just hold. Hold, hold, hold. What are you guys doing? Hold. Hold the line. Uh, and you guys replace them, please. Uh, you are my reserve line. <laughs> I guess it's charged now. You're in there, so there's something I can do about that. Yeah, this, the central line is routing, so just pull back now. But we've broken them here, so they've broken us on one flank, and we've broken them on the other. And that's fine. Like, we have soldiers here, like, to resupply us. Why these guys are here, and we're falling back. To resupply. So, guys, just come, like, come in. Come back in here. We, we need to, this left flank is like this is what's scary so we need to shuffle men over there so let's do that let's start shuffling some men and then these guys as i said i i ideally want to rest them but this is do you guys think there's any point in even bother i mean we should at least move up into this field i guess because that gives us good cover and this unit is fully rested this, oh, this is a good reserve unit okay good Okay, supplies can go over to the left-hand side now. Okay, 
You guys need to turn, please. We're breaking them in the center, which is what we kind of expected to happen. You guys just hold. Okay, act as reserves. You guys push up here as reserves. This left flank is going to crumble, though. But we are crumbling them. So the question is, do we do we reshift our focus to the left? Do we reshift this focus to the left? Like, take these two, maybe merge these two together, and then bring them over to help defend this? Or do we push? Like, the, the right flank has crumbled. The right flank is gone. There's still some stragglers, but we can push here hard. The center has really shifted over. I need to be a little careful as well. I don't overcommit. Yeah, we need to be careful. Just hold the left. Yeah, I think just hold the left flank. And then we... Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're 100% right. I think we hold this flank. So I think instead of pushing up and trying to deal with these guys, we maybe take these fusiliers. No, we have... We ha I mean, these guys are tired. I think the fusiliers need to stay in the middle. I think these guys make their way over. We have this fat old unit here shooting in here. You can focus that down as well. We have some reserves, which is just going to come over here. And then these guys just need to push. These guys just need to push. Like, get there. You guys are already coming up. We just, yeah, we just break our way in from the side. Supply wagon. Let's get a supply wagon over here now. I mean, this is a pretty scary unit to charge as well for the British, so... Yeah, just get here and just hold. Because, again, the British will be coming in. Hold there. You get there and rest in the forest. Because, again... Oh, the forest. The fucking... The wheat field. I'm tempted to do like that, though, you know? I'm tempted to do like that. Because these guys are out in the open. Yeah, I'm going to bring back my fusiliers, I think. Like there. Give them some time to rest. Give them some better cover. It does leave this very weak, but again, we have this coming on the side. Okay, the left needs to fall back. I think we're fine for now because I don't want to give up this cover. That's the thing. This is like really good cover for wheat field. 50% whilst holding. Arnold can get like in here. That's his position broken another unit which is good i'm also kind of scared about charging this cannon though as well right if they canister shot me i'm it's, oh, it's just jova the nice thing is though the center is completely fresh the center like these two units are fresh so just come up here and engage the cannon i guess can start focusing over here as well i think we have to just start pushing like here with more of this infantry yeah, let's do it. Let's keep on pushing. You guys are coming over, but you're obviously exhausted. But you are you should be resting, so that's fine. I don't think they're ballsy enough to charge a 250-man unit. This unit of fusiliers did survive, which is good to get in there. Reserves have arrived now. Good. So reserves have arrived, so they can just basically just stay here and rest. Get their breath back. British have mounted a pretty decent counteroffensive here. My men are just so tired. Yeah, okay. Just hold, just hold, just hold, just hold. Just get in, get in here and hold. You might be able to actually shoot them from here. Oh, nice. These guys are fresh as well. Get up here. Good. You guys can hold to get the extra cover bonus. Firing in there. That's the thing is, like, yeah, extra cover is brutal, man. You guys do need to turn to face that. I and mean, then these three are just going to hold. They need, they need, they need energy. They need energy back. They're too tired to push. So we just need to basically bring these guys back. Get them up to full strength. How are we looking at ammunition wise as well? Who's really lacking? The cannon is kind of lacking on ammo. It's been doing a lot of damage. 280 kills. Wow. Okay, all oh, this unit's up to full strength. Okay, push, push, push. This unit is can go. It's not exhausted. And it's a fusilier unit as well. What does it have? Spanish is nice. Again, you are fresh. You are fusiliers. Up you go. Oh, God, my supply wagon. My supply wagon. My supply wagon. Get out of there. Engage, boys. Engage. 
Yeah, that center has completely been ripped up. So we're, ba we're basically, this is hilarious. We're basically holding this left-hand side in the cornfield, being pushed back slowly. We're, we're pushing heavily, and they're, they're holding the cornfield. And then we're holding the center-ish. I think we'll win the center. But that, I think it's the cannon as well is going to do me. So maybe I ignore it. Maybe I literally ignore it and just fall back completely. I think that cannon's just going to canister shot me and it's going to kill me. This is fine. I mean, I think they Right? That's everybody. They're literally just walking up. Wow. I mean, that's what the British did. I think they're trying to capture my supply. Yeah, I, I think we just completely ignore their cannons. Like, I just can't, can't deal with it. Routing units. Have you come back from routing? You have. Okay. I mean, try and make your way back. If only we had like a unit of cavalry to clear all of this up so easily. Their numbers are dropping pretty rapidly, though. This flank this, this, this is scary, man. Okay, you guys are fully stocked up. Okay, that's going to be important. Let's bring them up. You guys are still getting conditioning back. You're at 50% push up. You're fine because we're being outflanked here, so you need to be here. Arnold, you better hold this goddamn left flank, okay? Oh my god, they're just shooting me in the side here as well. Fall back. Um, and yeah, I mean, literally all of you guys just wrap around, I think. Like, no joke. I know it's tiring and stuff, but... I think all of you guys just need to get over here now resupply the center how are we not doing more damage here come on no our actual good units are breaking now here hold here as well Okay, we've broken that unit, which is good. Um, supply wagon is supplying. We need to get over here, though. I'm actually coming back with more men now as well. Okay, so these fusiliers stay here and defeat these rabble that's coming their way. Um, okay, that's them killed. Perfect. We actually got some prisoners, I think. Get them out of the way. Don't want to friendly fire them. See, flank the middle with, yeah, I mean, we're flanking the middle with this. We also have to be a little bit careful we don't run into, like, more soldiers. Let's get in that cornfield. Yeah, I mean, the goal is to bring these guys in. It's a fresh unit here. And two non-fresh units. This is fresh as well. Good, good, good. So you, you guys come in here and help flank this, I think. You guys are getting your conditioning back. These prisoners are being thrown back. We are holding as best as we can. You guys definitely fall back. And you guys have taken his place. So you guys hold as well. I know you're not shooting, but I mean, maybe you can. Just like, oh, you're blocked, okay. You guys are fresh as well, which is nice. So maybe, where do I need these men? Don't know where I need these men. We're breaking them here. Perfect. You guys are tired. So just literally just hold here and, and rest. Our cannons are running out of ammo, though. Fuck. Um, supply wagons going over here. I mean, how are you guys looking on ammo? Pretty decent, actually. Okay, we need to get back to our cannon. Yeah, you guys are all fine on ammo. Okay. I mean, you're going to have to be because I, <laughs> I need to go the other way. Um, yeah, come this way then. Look like this, I guess. Okay, shoot this. Shoot this. What are you guys doing? Hold, 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 hold. You're fused. This is like my only good unit left. Shoot that, please. This is like my biggest good unit. Good volley. You guys push in. Yeah, I think we've basically broken this flank. Huge. 71. Trevor Noll, your unit is an absolute godsend. You're out of energy. You're out of energy. Oh, that's the unit that has cohesion, lol. <laughs> breaking us here. But, oh, you guys are back up, though. Okay, they're actually going to be pushing us at the cornfield now. 
A cornfield, man. A goddamn cornfield. Well, oh my god, this unit of 200 men broke. Is that a fucking joke? Yeah, you better come back. Fish needs to be over here, then. Fish needs to be in here to rally that unit. Hold your goddamn line, you cowards. Yeah, we're starting to get low ammo here. About to break that, though. You guys are resting. Okay, you can start coming. You guys are rested as well. Ish. Because I'm a... Oh, God. Uh, yeah, you guys need to kind of pull back there, please. Oh, my God. They're, they're literally just pushing now. I mean, what could I do? Can you charge Arnold or not? No, I think Arnold can charge. Okay, they're completely out. They're completely outflanking me now. I mean, we've completely outflanked them, but I just don't have the, the manpower. And they're in the forest as well. Do so you fall back now? Fish, be careful. You guys need to kill that unit. And you guys, I mean, I've just lost that flank as well. Oh, man. I feel like if I didn't throw away that unit, I maybe could have, like, oh, it would have been so big. I mean, we're coming now. We are on our way. Like, there's a lot of, we have a lot of units still left remaining. And a lot of these guys have ammo as well. Our cannon's basically dead. You guys held bravely in the... You guys held really bravely. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to, right? Counter charge, I guess. Ideally, I really want to take this forest line if I can. Like, I think that would be really useful. Let's form up like so. I mean, you guys just fire into that. You guys fire into that as well. Prisoners get out of there. Yeah, I mean, everything here, just fall back now. You guys did a good job. You, they, they held, they held long, they held it more than they needed to. Is our supply wagon still alive? Yeah, it is. It's coming over to the cannon, which is good. Yeah, both of you guys come over. I'll be here. Nice, we actually broke them. Good, we captured some people. That's good. This unit can now rest, this big unit. Okay, let's reopen up our lines again. I need to get in that forest, but I can't. Yeah, they, they, they've been able to take the forest, which is really annoying. If I can break this, then maybe I can get in there. You guys like reform over here, I guess. Try and draw them away so we can we can deal with these guys and rest and you guys can be here. 70 men. Oh, the 200 man unit is back as well and it's barely fresh. Good. Cannons are back as well. Good, good, good. You guys fall back. Okay, we are breaking that center a bit. I mean, if you wanted to battle for Boston, this is it, right? <laughs> I guess you guys move up there. We are dragging like a decent amount of a British force over. These are our prisoners. No, but we have a prisoner camp to take them by. Oh, look at that as well. They've literally charged me off the battle map. Some reserve lines. The problem is, though, that they're in the forest and I'm not. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hold position. Fuck. Oh, God. I did not mean to do that. Um, yeah, I mean, we're flanking this unit, which is good. We've fallen back here, which is all we can do. Again, the goal here is just to hold. Cannon is firing. We're focusing down units. We are we're resting units. We have a couple units in reserve, which are just resting. Nothing behind me, right? I'd love to be able to charge down this cannon, but I just can't. Just can't. What do we even have here? Do we have any good units? No, these are all just militia, right? Yeah, all just militia. So Arnold's flank will break. We, oh, and our flank is breaking again. It's the fact that we're not in the forest and they are. Charge? You think we charge? Definitely not. I mean, here it could be a good charge, but just, they, don't have any, they don't have any energy, so. 
But we can't really surround them, though. That's a problem. They just have too many men. Like, we can continue to focus, which is what we're doing, right? And this unit can now move up. Ideally, I want to do something like that, maybe. Get in the forest. Oh, but then they, then they just push down. Reform. Okay, we've broken that. Perfect. We've broken that. That's perfect. We have a fat old unit coming up. But maybe, maybe we fall back from here and just try and, like, rotate it around. These are our routing units, yeah. Okay, fresh units that come back. Oh, they're running. They're charging. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that was a beautiful cannon shot. You absolute beauty. Let's reform up here. Okay, we have a, we have a, like a double star unit as well. So we need to send some soldiers down here just to help cold, cold the line. And then you need to start pushing. You're exhausted, but they're charging now as well. I think that's going to be Jova on that flank. I just combine them. <laughs> I mean, Arnold can maybe continue to fight a bit of a fighting retreat. Oh, yeah, no. I mean, stay there for now for the morale bonus, but yeah. And then have we, uh, have we actually outmatched them. I think we've actually finally whittled them down on this flank. Good. Good, Anakin. Good. Wrap around. Few reserves. Like, literally the most, the fewest reserves I've ever seen. That's the problem, though, is that now they just bring in more men. Yeah. Pull back then. Pull back into this forest line. We just need to keep on bringing the British in. That cannon is hurting. But if we can get in the forest, that's good. Okay, you engage them now because you're going to get shot at. And then you keep on going around the side. If we break this flank, then we wrap in and we win. Arnold, Arnold, your job is to hold the line with 50 men. Hold the goddamn line. We don't have anyone who's come back from routing. We do. Perfect. How about you guys? You're just routing. Okay. Get your ass over here. Boston will be mine, boys. The problem is they... Oh, no. They're charging. They're charging. Uh, counter charge, I guess. I think counter charging really does help. I mean, you guys charge in there as well. Numbers. We need numbers. They routed me, but we routed them back. Yeah, good. Which now means we can now take this forest. Perfect. Okay. Wrap around. We deal with this unit with all four of these. You guys move into there and hold this forest against them. We need the cover bonus, right? You're about to be outflanked, so fall back. They're still pursuing our, our 100 men over there. That's fine. Okay, firing the flank. You guys wrap all the way around. Another 50 men here. That's a good little volley right there. I need you guys to keep on pushing as you fire so we can keep on turning them. We just have a unit of Fusiliers left as well. These guys should be in the fight. These are one of our frontal units because they win from the front. Oh my god, the brave, the brave men. They're being bombarded by artillery as well. That's crazy. Supply wagon is what? Supplying. Nice, we broke that flank. Good, good, good. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. They're charging. There's only 27 of them though, so counter charge and hope for the best. Fish can kind of come down here now. You guys are back from routing. We broke them, yes! Fusiliers need to sit up. Bands of Power Bar is not looking good. You guys are just being hit by artillery as well, you poor, poor children. They're charging us again. Fuck, they're charging Fusiliers, though. Counter charge. And we got a volley off as well. Beautiful. Okay, we should be hitting there. We have this unit as well. Yeah, we are being hit hard by artillery. How's, uh, what's his face doing? Not well. You guys are back, though. Like, we are. We are holding. Okay, we're about to break that as well. Good, good, good. Cannon is up. Another unit of infantry. We have two units of fusiliers left. Oh, we have another unit of fusiliers up here as well. Nice. The day is almost up as well. What happens? Does the day, like, run up? Jeez, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. This is the most intense battle. Oh, we're being outflanked here by fucking. They're charging. They're charging. You ready to counter charge? Counter charge. Okay, we've broken them out here. Keep on coming. Fish needs to get down here. You guys need to reinforce. You reinforce our prisoners. More men. Just keep on coming. They got more men coming here. Wow. They actually broke that as well. They were my fusiliers.
Okay, we've got them here, though. We've captured another unit, I think. Can we do some, like, Geneva war crimes and, like, start... You guys need to turn and deal with that. Deal with that. Some firing in there. The artillery. Good shots. Good shots. How's fucking Archibald doing? Yeah, he's dead. Archibald, just run. You're getting shot now as well. Get the head out of there, Archibald. Our little prisoner column here as well. This unit is back, which is nice. It's a lot of guns. Not very good guns, but it's a lot of them. We've broken back flat. What are you guys doing? I mean, I guess closing the distance to shoot. Oh my god, you char charge them, charge them, whatever. You're going to lose, but it is what it is. Push on the flank now. Push on the flank now. Yeah, we don't have any cavalry. I don't... Yeah, we don't have any cavalry. Oh, they have a gun over here as well. Yeah, I mean, these guys are just routing, bro. I don't want to charge the gun because I feel like we're just going to die if we do. I kind of want the battle to be over and then... We need to be, like, fully rested before we charge the gun, you know? I don't think we... Yeah, you know, he doesn't have a charge command. He just has a full back and a uh, thingy. We'll bring up the cannon because it's amazing at canister shot. Okay, they routed me there, which is fine. What the hell are you guys doing? Pull back, please. Let's try and break this unit quickly. The artillery can come up. I mean, we have the defensive ground as well. Like, we can take this. Come in here. Have the artillery up. With supply. What are you guys doing? Oh, we routed them. Okay, I take everything I just said back. Yeah, guys, come back. Fire. Okay, I mean, we have our generals. This, this is, I think this is all the infantry they have. It still says the balance of power is really in their favor, but... I wonder if the day ends, if they just win. You guys to shoot that, please. Focus down their units. If we can focus down this unit here, all the artillery. No, oh, hell, the artillery doing. Yeah, we're shooting these guys in the back now as well. They're charging me. We should have fusiliers here. So fusiliers probably come up and counter charge, I guess. And then fusiliers come in here as well. Wait, some units behind us as well. Canister shot, please. Counter charge. We're exhausted, but we'll counter charge. Turn here as well. Okay, we've broken everything on this flank. More prisoners. God, we don't have we don't have anywhere to keep these prisoners, just FYI, guys. Alright, these guys need to fall back, actually, I think. They're overrunning my gun as well. Fuck. You guys need to pull back as well. Oh, uh, this one unit could literally kill my entire army. I'm not going to lie. And we can't charge in. Arnold can't go in, I don't think. Yeah, Arnold can't go in. Oh, we broke them, though. Well, they're falling back, at least. Uh, give them the volleys. They fall back, please. No, just shoot. Just shoot. Just shoot. Just shoot. Hold. 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 And shoot. There we go. What the fuck are you guys doing? Yeah, okay, that was my bad. Just charge them, man. There's a hundred of you. Is that it? Is that all you can muster, Saruman? You go with the rest of the prisoners, please. Have we done it? Is that broken? I mean, we still have to deal with, like... The artillery. I think if we just go capture the points, we should be maybe okay. That's like everything I see left remaining.
Okay, so now I think that's everything they have infantry wise. So I guess we maybe make our way through the forest. Maybe you know over there as well. Can we do some war crimes and like, I don't know. Just like throw these guys forward. Can they charge? They can scout for me, so we can do some war crimes. Oh, we have some more guns there as well. Fuck me. They have so many guns. What the hell? Yeah, they're literally just going to round me with their artillery. I mean, that was stupid of me to push up like that, but I was maybe just a bit too cocky. I literally think they just win with artillery now. Canister shot at me as I got in there as well. That's brutal. Yeah, that was my battle. We're literally going to lose this battle. We're literally going to lose this battle because I was stupid and didn't really think that cannons would do that much damage, but of course they did. Oh, we're literally going to lose this battle, man. I mean, this unit has to charge now because they just shot. Oh, they got another canister shot off. My lord. It's literally cannons, and we have a general there as well. Hopefully they please come back from that. Arnold, try and rally the boys, please. Try and rally the men. Okay, and we actually need to kind of sit back. Let the fighting continue. If we charge, we all die. Please just win that. Get over here, fish, as well. You're fighting artillery crew. Come on. Look how many, like, prisoners we have as well. It's crazy. Our line of prisoners. Archibald, rally something. Bring the men back from routing. Oh my god, we have another cannon line back here as well. Okay, please say you're shooting something else, right? Yeah, you have to be shooting this. You can't be shooting this unit. You dive your charge back, but you can still push. Supplies, any of this coming back doesn't look like it. So Archibald might as well. I mean, just run after them, Archibald. Okay, that's two cannons down, I guess. Annoyingly, we can't charge the uh, routing units forward, you know? Oh my god, they failed! <laughs> you absolute cretins! I guess we should put everyone together. They're off the cannons for now, though. Artillery, man. Please, any of you guys come back. Archibald, rally them. Rally them. Yeah, it's, it's Jova, boys. We have, what, two units left? Okay, we've broken that. Okay, we've bro I think we think we're going to break this. There's so much artillery. Who the hell is Archibald? He's a rather general. Uh, uh, Benedict Arnold. Benedict Arnold. I don't know why I'm calling him Archibald. Okay, we've routed that gun. If we can route these two guns, then I think we just hide. I, I can't let that gun come back, though. So we need to come back. We need to run away from this artillery, basically. Oh my god, we got a unit of rifles there as well. Fuck. No, what the hell are you guys doing? Oh, you're here. Okay, we basically need these guys just to get full conditioning back. And then maybe we just capture the objectives, maybe? Or oh, please come back. But Archibald is getting hammered. We still have a decent amount of guns. What happens when it gets, like, nighttime as well? They must be, like, out of ammo as well soon. Surely. Surely. 
Okay, boys, get all your energy back. God, they're still coming as well. Oh my god, they're just ranked. No, it's other units. Okay, don't worry. Okay, that's another unit shattered. So I think we, we hold here. I mean, we just have to worry about the unit coming in my flank as well. Can we, like, fall back enough that they can't see us? Because these guys are hidden. So can we fall back with everybody? Or not? It's not working like that. Okay. Yeah, take the point. Yeah, I, I want to, but I also want to be very careful as well with, like, obviously units coming. Oh, they actually have quite a bit of infantry still left. Yeah, I mean, you guys take the point, I guess. We're killing infantry. Um, we've taken that point, at least, I guess. Yeah, I, I shouldn't have lost. Oh, it's for reclaimed prisoners. Oh, fuck. Okay, we should run them away, then. I was just using them as scouting, but yeah, you're right. Uh, hold here, then. Fuck, they just get these soldiers back? Oh my god, that was so stupid of me. I just thought, like, they were out. I was just using them, using them as scouts. Fuck. I mean, I still don't see how we kill the cannons, though. Yeah. Well, I didn't think we'd be able to capture them with cannons, you know? So I was just using them as scouts. My bad. Run away! That's the first time I've interacted with that feature. I mean, it makes sense. Of course it does. Oh, we fought so well for this as well. We deserve to win this. Oh my god, we're even routing to, like, artillerymen as well. Yeah, I mean, that was an nail in the coffin, but I just don't see how we would have ever have beaten the artillery. The gen generals can't charge, otherwise uh, my generals would be going in a long time ago. Ugh. You would have won if you had charged earlier? No, because the cannons kill you. The cannons, like, slaughter you as you charge. No way. I should... Well, I shouldn't have sent the fucking prisoners back. I was using them as scouts to see where the enemy was. That was so brain dead. <laughs> that was that was a my bad. Charging both... We're Americans. Like, we can't charge the British. We will lose. Like, look at that. We charged a unit. We, we died. Yeah. And I, I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have tried to attack the cannons to begin with. No, because my units just break. My units don't win them engagements. I mean, at least from my experience. Even when I have numbers, I could I could charge a 150 unit into a 50-man unit of theirs and they'll, they'll still win. But yeah, I don't think we would have won because I don't have a way of really killing that artillery. The artillery, yeah, we just don't win that either. Can we just take these objectives like this? I'm interested to see... Oh, your generals can take objectives. Oh, I if I would have known that, that's a whole different story. Boom, we just win the day. I'm interested to see what happens if like the game just ends, you know? Because they can't charge, right? We've tried it many times, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't think we would have ever been able to kill that, that artillery. They have so many. Oh, yeah, don't worry, Limar. I saved it. I saved it. So, um, like, we only fought this because we're wrapping up the stream. Yeah, we could have won this. I think the cannons would have been difficult. But, yeah. 
I guess maybe I was a bit too scared. Like, I, I've just been pretty scared of the British in general when it comes to... Uh, oh, my God, I'm dead. Uh, pretty scary. But we saved it. So we'll continue on from the other save when we stream next. So, um, And we'll probably not assault Boston. Just charge more. Yeah. I guess I'm just very scared. Like, even, even with my militiamen, you think we should charge more? Or is it just, like, fusiliers? Because fusiliers can hold their own. Because, like, if you look at it, like... Even the fucking supply infantry have better stats than a militia. Yeah, but once again, it's hard to get into effective range with militia because they don't have the morale to stand. Like, I have to stay in my defensive cover, otherwise I'm just going to get slaughtered. Yeah, that, that was really... I think we still could have won. One, if I didn't send my prisoners in. Um, yeah, if I didn't send my prisoners in. And two, if I didn't just charge that cannon head on. Yeah, I didn't realize as well that the generals... Because the generals obviously don't shoot, they don't charge. So I, I didn't think that they'd be able to capture objectives, but I guess it makes sense. I'm just speeding up because I'm, I'm wondering what's happening. Like, will the battle end? Yeah, that was an unfortunate victory for sure. Um, I definitely misplayed it. But we're learning the game, so it's all good. Yeah, okay. I was just wondering if the battle would actually end. Um, so yeah, so we just go back to the campaign. I mean, again, it's annoying as well because the battle didn't end, like, end-end because we lost it. We don't actually get to see, like, an end of battle screen. Do we just go back, boys? Do we just go back? Do we just go back and win? We literally could. That's funny. Oh, uh, cool. That was a sick battle, though. Uh, yeah, this game is so much fun. It really is. I've learned a lot from today's stream as well. So tomorrow's video, we're going to basically continue on our video series I did uh, where we basically have taken Providence and Newport and I'll take everything I've learned from today's stream and all your advice and we'll be pushing on. Um, the stats of uh, the basic rifles. Uh, I can look here, right? Yeah, I mean, they suck, right? They suck. They're, they're awful. They're actually not awful, awful. They're actually, actually pretty decent in melee. But the main problem is in melee is, like, the morale. That, that's, that's my point. Like, that's my point I'm getting at. Is like, the morale of the units when they charge it, it, it is what breaks. Where the British can, like, fire a volley and then do it. But, yeah, I, I do see, like, if we can outnumber them and surround them, it's probably better to charge. It's just our morale just drops so fast that it just makes me a little bit scared, you know? But I will take that in advance. Um, Streaming-wise, I'm depending on how much you guys want to see it, uh, I, might, I might stream this again on Friday um, and continue on from where we were. Um, so, yeah, do you guys want to see this again on Friday, like this campaign? I don't really want to just, like, bombard you guys all the time with, like, all this content of this game. You guys got bored of it on the channel, but... So, yeah, tomorrow will be a video, again, of this, and then... And we've, we've learned so much as well, so... I think it will do good. The government structure... What the fuck is this? Oh, yeah, and taxation as well. Yeah, we're making way more money now. Uh, yeah, how's it going, Ben? Welcome. Uh, we are just wrapping up the stream now. I am just calling. We just fought an insane battle of Boston, which I kind of threw. We were so close to winning, and I just I, I messed it up at the end. Um, but yeah, the game the game is really good. The game is really really good for what for its current stage. It's yeah, really impressive. Uh, with what they've managed to do and there's like so many different mechanics to dive into and mess around with 
Um, I think, yeah, definitely if you have like 920 hours in Civil War, you'll love this game for sure. It obviously needs more time um, to develop and, you know, other stuff. But yeah, the fact that there's actually a campaign map with all these different mechanics is great. It really is. Really impressive as well. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll probably put up a poll whether or not you guys want me to stream again on Friday more of this content. Uh, tomorrow, as I said, will just be a video on this still. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please do drop a like. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for everybody who watched. Again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I upload Total War. I upload Bannerlord. I upload Paradox Games. Um, I upload... Obviously, you know, going to be covering this game as, as well. Um, I do a lot of modded stuff as well. So if you're interested in mods or just like watching them, um, definitely do check that out. Um, and yeah, there's lots of other content. If you want to go back and check them out, uh, it's really good. Yeah, fusing is early is important, but it's very hard to get because it's 72 days. But I guess if you rush like army innovation and then you just don't go with Arnold, I mean, you could just start recruiting that and spend all your prestige on it. Fusiliers would be, yeah, pretty decent, I think. Because it's just, yeah, they're just such a better unit. Basically, they just replace your main army. We get grenadiers down here, skirmishing units, new generals all down here. So cool, yeah. Game's great. And the fact that this is like nine months, like nine months out of coming to Steam and it's this good, it's just awesome. Um, but yeah, hopefully everybody has a great rest of your week. Thank you guys so much for the support today. I really do appreciate it. Uh, well, the Ironclad's Crisis will be under the Chief of the Navy. Because all of these are different, right? All of these are unique and different. Um, so, it'll be under that. Uh, yeah, guys, drop a like, drop a comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah, fish out. Everyone have a good rest of your day.